meteorologists or astron astronomers or what the hell. The zone of totality. The zone of totality. and they made a big deal with the sunglasses and everything like that and um, this is so much more hyped than that so much over that mm. and it comes on the heels of the earthquake on Friday all right James Flippin you study this stuff are what is the zone of totality what the zone of totality will occur at what time uh, that's at three around three thirty this afternoon. The zone of totality. Now, what is the zone of totality? So, the zone of totality refers to that one hundred percent coverage, basically, of the sun being blocked out by the moon. Well, <laughs> why is he getting cut off? Why is he getting cut off? Hey, you don't want to see that? Upstate New York, yeah. <laughs> All right. For so New York, it's like 91%. What I didn't say anything. I didn't say New York City was in the path. The zone no, we're not. We're not gonna get the totality. Right, you know what the hell it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're not gonna so, get the totality. Really, you know, it's so funny. This is like, I guess, such a news story. To there you go. That's my. There's that many like random average people that care that much about it. And there, and really, there's some people that really are into. People are gonna look up and they're gonna see it. They're somewhat into it. Yeah, I mean, travel that our newest uh, collectible. Example, some people, if they're in California, how can I put it at safely? We won't fall. To see the zone of totality or whatever, okay. you know. So I mean, some people are really into this. We put them here for now. I need to make a show for these. Uh, I'm not particularly into it. Running out of space. It's always there's always one right around the corner. Running out of it space. Like, um, is there something you wanted to tell me? No, we're good. All right. The other thing is, Sorry this. About that. wow, what, what waiting time? already. Anyone trying to talk to me there? You Let me go press some buttons. All right. Um, I guess I'm more worried about uh, our country than the planet. All right. Why is my phone blowing up now? Why my phone is blowing up already? What happened? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, let me turn this off. Still pumping out water, believe it or not. Leave the country. Not threatening to go to Canada, but I'm definitely going to geographically diversify. You know. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything so she texts me now. If the Democrats are able to um, stay in power, give me a minute. Know. Sorry, Keegan. Live stream. It's gonna. I think uh, I'll, I'll go into high after I don't know, I don't know how to explain to all this stuff. After three, he has the greatest timing when it comes to texting me. She does this every time with different things, Keegan. If I'm doing if I'm busy doing something with my hands, she'll call me and text me when I can't pick up the phone. She's like the worst timing when it comes to sending me messages. My wife. I just checked the time. No, it's three. It's three. You just said it right now. And hello, Keegan DX, sir. Good afternoon, Northwest Arkansas. 77 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Well, over here, the sun is out. I don't even have a cloudy day, but the sun is out. It's nice and clear. I'm gonna watch it anyway. I'm gonna go outside in a bit. And I we bought a 10 pack of these. Uh Medical King. Medical King. Uh we bought a 10 pack of these uh a few weeks ago. I already tested it. I could you could look directly with the sun with these. Forget about the eclipse. I'm talking about the full sun. I, I put them on. I looked at the sun. I see a big orange ball. I said it works, and then I take them off. That's all you do. You don't look at the sun and put them on. <laughs> don't do that. I tell, I tell everybody because <laughs> I see people go like this. They look at the sun and they put them on. Don't do that. Put them on first. Make sure. Make sure there's no um. There's no uh, scratches on there. Or any, don't even touch it with your fingers. Uh, try not to put fingerprints on it either. 
Make sure there's no nicks, no scratches, nothing like that. Um, you know, because you don't want the, and make sure is, and these are certified, of course. When I bought these, these are certified. Okay. So certified. Um, so 10 pack, we bought them on Amazon. These are the, you know, could it be, we'll be careful because there's cheap, uh, there's cheap counterfeits out there. This, what, how you do is you, of course, they certify and everything. This came with a certificate. Uh, it was a 10 pack. What up a few weeks ago? Very cheap. Yeah, uh, Medical King. That's the brand for this one, Medical King. And uh, I tested it earlier. The sun was over the horizon, sunrise. Um, I put them on. Put them on. You put them on first. Don't look at the sun and put them on. <laughs> put them on first. And then look, and then when you're done, look away and then take them off. Don't take them off while you're looking at the sun. And and the way you can tell also is um, if you put them on now, I can't see anything. See, right now I can't see anything. It's black. That's the way it should be. If you put them on and if you like sunglasses and you can still see through it, then don't use them. Make sure when you put them on, pitch black. You can't see nothing. The only thing you can see, if, if I look at a, a real bright LED light, you can see it. Like, for example, this one behind me, if I do a stare at it right now, it'll blind me. But if I put this on, I'll show you. I'll show you. Of course, I'm going to look at it yet. And now I'm looking at the LED light. I can see glowing orange ball. And it's not blinding me right now. The LED light is not blinding me. If I were to take these off, that light will blind the hell out of me. And you look away, and you take them off. That light is bright. That's a bright LED light. So that's how you can tell if they're good or not. Oh, and of course, when you look at the sun, you know, uh, like I said, make sure people put them on first. And then look at the object. And don't stare at it too long. Just look at it for a few seconds, whatever. And then they go in and look at it like that. You know, I mean, I, I know in your path, I know you're going to have those hotels. We're not going to have that here. In New York City, it's going to be about 92% coverage. So we're going to have a partial in New York City. I still want to see it. My son I, I, my son didn't go to school today because they're not, they're not allowing early dismissal. Let me lower this thing. I'm screaming now. I'm ready. I'm sorry, I'm here yelling over. I'm used to having a microphone right here, but my microphone's on the laptop. It's the one I'm using for the laptop. Yeah, so make sure um, there's no nicks in there, no scratches, nothing like that. Because, you know, I mean, if everybody wants to see it, but it's not worth, you know, damaging your eyesight. But let me turn off this light. So that's how... Um, Plus, I have a welding mask. That's when uh, we had a clip a few years ago. I used a welding mask, and it worked fine. I have welding mask that you can use also. Because when you're welding, the spark the, the the is very bright. It can blind you, and that's why you wear that welding mask. Because it's like this. It's dark. You can't see through this. There's no way you can see through it. Let me see. There's no way you can see through it. See, it's very dark. Let me turn this one on. So, yeah, so definitely um, check your glasses. Make sure. Okay, I'm going to put that light up because it's good. It's close. So, yeah, so let me point it away from me. I just want a little bit of lighting, but not overwhelmingly bright. And of course, I got with the cover right now out there. But um, so right now it's going to be, it's 117 in 1.17 p.m. here on the East Coast, Yonkers, New York. Um, they saying about three, three o'clock or so. So by two thirty ish, um, you know, I'll take my son out to the backyard because I didn't take him to school today because they they didn't they didn't want to allow early dismissal for that, which I don't blame them. So. 
And I'm actually, I'm going to open up the browser here. Unlike when I stream with the uh, SDR, I can open, I, this is a browser, of course. So I could open up another browser. Let me drag and drop it over here. I should have put my glasses on too, so. Let me drag it over here. Let me drag it over here. Yeah, I know, say me, I'm gonna be in and out. I'm gonna leave the stream on, but when it happens, I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna look at it with this. And also, and also um, with, the, with these uh, med Medical King glasses, um, you can cut one in half and put it on your smartphone, which I already did. So this is my smartphone, right? So what you do is you cut it, because you can't put a smartphone. Don't point the smartphone directly to the clips. You're gonna damage your, you're gonna damage your phone. You have to put this over the lens, like that. Okay, like that. Then, of course, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna have my glasses on too, but I'm gonna also, I also want to make a video of it too. While I'm looking at it with my glasses, you know, it's gonna be hard to do both because this is this is dark. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to uh, improvise here. I'm probably gonna put this on a tripod. I'm probably gonna put this on a tripod and just point it at it and let it, and then I'll look at it too. Okay, I'll be looking at it and let that record on a tripod. I'll set that up first then I'll. I want to record it also. So you cut it, you cut it in half, and you put it over the, the lens. Maybe I'll put a piece of tape here so it doesn't move. Put a piece of tape here. And that's it. That's all you have to do for the smartphone. Do not point this directly at the eclipse. You're going to damage your phone. Okay? Do not do that. Okay, and also once again, when you're gonna view the eclipse, put them on first, then go view it. And you'll see that you you know I already tested it this morning with, the, with directly to the sun. Right now, if I look at the sun, it's gonna be an orange ball. It's an orange ball. Of course, with the eclipse, it's gonna be you know you're gonna see the corona. It's gonna look really nice. Of course, a partial eclipse in New York City and Yonkers. So it's gonna be a partial. It's not gonna be a full. Yeah, I, I, you know, I had to go for, you know, like, uh, you go to Syracuse, up to the Canadian border, you'll get to, uh, total. It's not gonna happen here. It's only gonna be a partial here in Yonkers, just like you, Tasso. You live in. It's gonna be same thing, partial. And same thing with TV Radio 1972. You're in uh, Clifton. It's gonna be partial. But at least, you know, at least, you know, you know, you see it. You know, you look at it. You know, it's only gonna last a few minutes. Uh, we'll get partial darkness. Um, they, I think the most is three minutes. I, I think it's ninety-two percent. That's what they say, up to ninety-two percent. So we're gonna get a crescent. We're gonna get a small, like we're gonna get a thin crescent. A, a crescent. It's gonna be a crescent. Yeah. So I, you know, my son, um, I didn't send him to school today. I said, you know what? He, he let him, let him, let him, let him do this today. I, I, I bought a 10 pack of these a few weeks ago. And of course, you know, check them, you know, before you put them on, look at them, check to see if there's any scratches on them. If they, if there's any blemishes or scratches, don't use them. Make sure they, they're good. All right. So I got to, you know, I got this one and this is the one I cut. This is the other half of it that I cut. <laughs> so, but I'm going to use this, this, this part for my smartphone. And I'm going to put on a tripod and I'm going to let that one, and hopefully I get a nice, a good shot of it. And, and then my son is going to have the other pair on, but I'm going to make sure that I, he wants to see it from the window. He doesn't want to go outside. So. No, I'm gonna get a clear view here. I, I'm, I'm in my backyard. I can just walk outside. It'll be right there. So I'll be okay. Uh, let me. I'll be right back. Let me get a tissue. I gotta blow my nose. My God.
Yeah. So where's my water? I got a water bottle here. Watch I'm gonna take my beats. <laughs> T ready next to say I'll just watch it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh well people watching one like, please give me another like. Thank you. All right, let me go back up here. So Kika say he's gonna watch the eclipse at home. Yeah, I'm, I'm we're all gonna watch. Most of us are gonna my, my, we thought about traveling to Niagara Falls, but it is it's crazy. It's booked. Even the dimwit governor actually called a state of emergency. Because of what would you call a state of emergency for because there's a lot of people in Niagara Falls? That's she's a dim way. Same thing with the with the earthquake, the tremor. It wasn't even I, I didn't want to call it an earthquake, it was a tremor. You know, yeah, 4.8 is uh yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't feel it. We were on the highway, we were going to Walmart, and all suddenly my phone blows up. No, no, all of a sudden I heard on the news. No, actually, what happened was her friend called her and said, you know, we just had an earthquake in New York City. And I'm like, so they're talking. So I, I, then I put on the radio and then I hear on the radio that we had a tremor. I don't want to call it earthquake. Especially after those people in Taiwan went through a 7.8, whatever it was, 7.4. You know, exaggerate. Oh, my God, the world is going to end. It's ridiculous. Uh, Keegan, yes, uh, my dad and I were planning to travel to Russellville, uh, Arkansas, or Fort Smith, Arkansas, for the eclipse, but he decided to stay home due to, yeah, I know, heavy traffic, exactly. I, I already seen, I already witnessed a few of them in my lifetime. Uh, the last one was, I think, uh, was it five years ago? I forgot. That one, I used the welding mask. I used the welding mask, and uh, I made a video with it, too. I had it behind the welding glass. It didn't look that good. It went on, so I was like, nah, whatever. And Keegan said we have similar glasses. Yeah, these are um, Medical King. These you can get on Amazon. I bought a, we bought a 10-pack a few weeks ago. It comes with this. It comes with a booklet. This is the booklet that it comes with, and it tells you the path. So it gives you the, the path. You zoom in there. Excuse me, sorry. Anyway, focus there. Anyway, this is the book that tells you all that. And uh, there's a 10 pack. So they even have instructions on how to put it on a smartphone. So, of course, these are certified. You know, they certified. They have the uh, ISO certified and all that. Because, you know, you got to be careful because they're selling these knockoff ones. Again, these, if you put them on now, you won't be able to see a thing. It's pitch black. If you put these on now and you can see through them, they're not good. Don't use those because you'll, you'll damage your eyes. They have to be pitch black when you put them on. Only if I look at an LED light, a real bright LED light, and I and it does, and it, you can see it like it almost looks like the sun. I just did it right here. I just showed you guys earlier on that bright LED light. And of course, when you want to look at it, put them on first, and then look. Don't look at it and then put them on. <laughs> You're defeating the purpose. You know. Uh, I wish I had one for my telescope, but I, I didn't occur to me to buy one. Because you cannot just point the telescope. You can't. That's another thing people are, don't, don't understand. Um, you cannot put these on and then go put a telescope without nothing. Just put the telescope and look at it. You'll burn them. You'll burn it. You'll burn it. You need a filter on the telescope. 
Because uh, my wife was talking about that. I said, no, no, you can't do that. If you put a telescope without no sun filter or nothing, and you put this, it'll burn this thing like, a, you know, it's, it's a magnifying glass. It will burn right through this. It'll magnify and melt this thing right here. And that's your eye. It'll burn your eye. So if you're going to use a telescope, you have to get the filter for the telescope. Or if you use an SLR camera, there's a filter for that. You put it over the lens, a dark filter. You put it right over the lens. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it occurred to me to buy one because I have a, I have a DSLR. I should have bought the filter for that. I'm gonna buy one anyway because I want to take pictures of the sun. Eventually, I'm gonna buy the filter just for that, just to sun photography. Even if we never see another eclipse in our lifetime, I'm still gonna get it just for the sun. And one for the telescope. I need one for the telescope for my. National Geographic Telescope. I don't have one. Otherwise, I would have had the telescope out there. I could have put the smartphone with the telescope, and I could have done even a better shot. Really close. But it's okay. Uh, Keegan, local ABC affiliate, 40 slash 29. Uh, KHBS, KHOG, Fort Smith, Fayetteville. Respectively, 29 local here. We have live coverage of the eclipse from Russellville. Okay. And hello, Tassel. Good afternoon. I have a couple of more uh, uh, icons since I got five members now. I put new one. I put a, a Yankee baseball cap and a New York pretzel. So I got two more uh, new icons for members. So I got because I got five members, I can add two more icons. Every time the more members you get, the more icons I can put in things like that. So I added two more icons. So now we have a total of six, I believe. Six, right? Well, we have the Guggenheim, the Empire State Building, the Guggenheim, the Statue of Liberty, the subway car, the Yankee hat, and now and the pretzel. So it's six. Okay. So oh, Tasso, hello, and uh, you just got home and about to have lunch. Yeah, I just had lunch. And T Ray, T Ray, next time you say he's gonna be in and out. Yeah, but I'm gonna be out in a bit. I'm gonna go in and out. Of course, I want to see it too. More for my son. I want my son to see it. I, like I said, I've already seen a few of them, and this one is not gonna be a total, so it's not a big deal. What I'm gonna do is when is after I come back in here and it's still kind of going on the other side. I may just tune a couple of stations here, see if I could pick up a medium wave DX in the middle of the day, like one of the nighttime ones. But it's a partial too, so I don't think it's gonna. That's why I have the radio on too. Yeah. Yeah, air reception can get interesting. So right now I have it on WABC, but I'm gonna put it on a station. Right now, 740 is, uh, you know, the one from Long Island, Huntington. Is right. I just put, put it right now. I don't think uh, Zoom or radio is going to go over it and at this time. I don't think it's going to happen. But I want to I want to try. I want to see if I can pick up something. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting, yeah. Uh, yeah, Keegan, uh, that's what Lloyd uh, DX Central said and was mentioned about AM, yeah. And Lloyd did a video on it earlier. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, maybe WBZ. I could try WBZ. Ah, right, see, you got the pretzel. Oh, but that's that's not my pretzel. That's Keegan. That's not the membership pretzel. I was just more New Yorker. It's very thin. There you go. Tasso's got the pretzel. That's a New York pretzel. <laughs> that's the New York pretzel, baby. No, you New York pretzel. It's the burnt pretzel. <laughs> it's the burnt pretzel. When you go to one of those hot dog carts, like, hey, let me get a pretzel. They burn it for you. And I put mustard on mine because it, otherwise it tastes like cardboard. <laughs> so I put, my, I put mustard on mine. <laughs> otherwise it's just eating cardboard. So, yeah, and I add more as, as we get more members. I add more, 
and then I'll do uh yeah. <laughs> you have the Yankee hat now. Yeah, I got the Yankee cap. I was looking for a Met cap, but they don't. But I, where I go to the icons, they don't have the Met cap. So that one I will have to. Uh, but I don't know. If I, I'm a I'm a Yankee. I bet you I'll get one for the Met guys. For the Met fans, I guess. It's a safer way. No, it's this is safe. This is safe. This is safe. But you know, um, what I do is I, I I put it on. You know, put it on first, and then you know, when something like you look at it, you look at it, you know, and uh, admire it, you know. But and then, but then as soon as you're done looking at it, look away from it and take them off. Like I said, make sure they're certified. Make sure you're okay. You know, it's, it's, these are safe. You know, then you're going to feel is the heat. <laughs> when you start the sun, with those, even with those, I did it earlier, you're going to feel warm. Your face is getting warm. But I, I tested this in full sun. These are these are certifiable. You know, but like I said, make sure you, if you get these, they got to be certified. Make sure... Make sure there's no scratch in it. There's no holes in it. You know? And by the way, these last up to three years. Then they, that's it. So three years. And then they, then you throw, throw them out. Get a, get a new. So three year lifespan on these. So I'm going to use them there. And that's it. Maybe, you know, once in a while I want to uh, for my phone. But after three years, they, they're no longer... I guess the uh, the polymer or whatever chem whatever they put on it it wears out or whatever. Yeah, T radiation. I was asleep during the earthquake. Yeah, I didn't feel a thing, and we had like forty aftershocks. I have not felt one, not one aftershock. I felt we had up to forty so far. I have not felt any of them. So I don't know. I don't you know. Uh, and I'm in the basement. I sleep in the basement. My son, you know, my son and my wife. I sleep here, and I'm at the ground level. You would think I would feel it, you know. No, I cleared out my phone. I did that a couple of days ago. I, 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 I cleaned out. I backed up everything. I wiped out everything. I took all the videos that I, I put on my computer upstairs. That one has a bigger hard drive. I cleaned out my phone, so I, my phone is clean. I, I got I got 128 gig of storage internally, 128 SD card. I got more than enough storage, bro. so I'm good, Keegan. <clears throat> Keegan, our uh, last one was in August. That's the one I'm talking about. August 2017. My dad. Okay, that's the one I, I that I, I used the. Uh, yeah, it was in the summertime. I remember. Okay, so that was the one. So now when I use the welding mask. And then I put on my son, and my son looked at it, and he's and then my brother also he I put it on, you know, because the welding mask or he just got the little has a window. Yeah, so okay, we we tried getting pictures on the camera, but to find out that there was no memory. I like, yeah, that, that blows. Uh okay, in Seinfeld and so if you end credits themes moment, okay. On the plus side, I have my first New Jersey FMDX skip that evening, 90.3 WNJZ Cape May Courthouse at 1,086 miles. So next eclipse is 20 or so years. Yeah, and I'll be pushing whatever. I don't I I hope I'll be I'll be around by then. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be around. You know. Yeah, pretzels are making me thirsty. So yeah, I have the Yankee hat. Let's go, Yankees. They're starting out good right now. And they're in the eight and two. So maybe W W B Z, yeah. Yeah, um, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, eBay. I was looking at something, but anyway, I ordered another uh, on my diecast channel. I ordered another, but then apparently it's stuck in Baltimore. It's stuck at that bridge. Cause that was shipped. That, that one was shipped out. February, I ordered it February twenty seventh from AliExpress. I, I ordered three uh, diecast metal planes. I got two of them. I'm waiting on that one, and I guess that one is stuck in Baltimore on a boat. He's on that ship. Or something I don't know. It's just uh, I even tried getting my refund on AliExpress, and they said no. It's already been shipped out. It's been shipped out, but there's no tracking info. So I'm gonna have feeling stuck on that boat. <clears throat> yeah. WBZ. Yeah, it was also oh, oh, you got the Yankee cap right there. Okay, Yankee cap, the pretzel. Okay, cool. I couldn't make out the Yankee cap. Okay, it is a Yankee cap. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, for the New Yorkers. Yeah, I, that's why I'm making a New York theme. It's gonna be New York theme for members. You know, the members gonna be because I want to put like I want to incorporate a few. I want to incorporate some New York stuff, landmarks and things like that. You know, it fits perfectly. It fits me perfect being a New Yorker. New Yorker. <laughs> Yeah, T Radio 922 W uh, WTIC and WPHC make, but I I get those kind of early sometimes. Um, I don't know about now. I'm gonna try them anyway. I'll try them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hello, Namaste. Uh, no, I'm stay with you. I'm not, I'm in Yonkers, New York. Alpesh Ingle. I hope I pronounced that right. Alpesh. Yeah. I, oh, you're in India. Okay. Namaste. So let me skip back up here. Okay. So there you go. From India. Cool. Six people watching. Four likes. Thank you for watching. 32 minutes in the books. I'm going to keep track of the time here. It's 1.40, so. I'm, actually, I'm going to take out this thing out the way so I can see the. Uh... Uh, let me take this uh, right here for a minute. You mentioned about radio, so I'm thinking. Anyway, let's see. Um, There might be a chance where I might get the. The world's greatest radio. Um, kind of contacted them, and they they might be interested in me in sending me one. I don't know yet. We'll see. And now the sun is coming in. Yeah, I took out the. Uh, I had a piece of uh, something. So now it's wide open. See. So now I know the sun is bright out there. Let's see. So King India said, I uh I did have a recording of WNJZRDS last year from Parent Station W Y W H Y Y Pens Philadelphia 90.3. Okay. Oh, you saw the tassel. Why am I reading? Anyway. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So yeah. Oh, you live in New York. Or live from okay, never mind. I'm, I'm live from New York. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in New York. <laughs> so I am watching India, Mumbai, Mah Maharashtra city. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so you're in Mumbai, Mumbai. Okay, Mumbai. Excuse me. Uh, let me go back up here. I wonder how mail delivery is going to be during the eclipse. And I don't think it's going to affect that. It's not going to affect much. 
I'm supposed to get a radio from eBay today. Hint is yellow, and but not the HD data. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully the mail won't be affected. I'm expecting some bird food. I got bird feed. I got a big sack. I gotta start putting it out there. I already got the little bird feeder out there, and I got a little bird bath thing out there in the tree. Um, but I'm gonna build a raised bed and uh, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be 70. So tomorrow I may make that video on the on DIY. I planted a few ferns. I planted a couple of shrubs the other day. DIY Danny channel. I planted some ferns, a couple of ferns. I planted a juniper shrub and I planted a grape, grape and the raspberry. I planted them. I just watered them earlier. But I'm gonna build a raised bed probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be 70. I'm gonna be out there all day. So I'm gonna I might do a few videos out there. Also, I may fix the antenna tomorrow out there. The hen fed. Right now it's covered in I have a plastic bag covering it. Tomorrow I may mm, fix that one tomorrow. So I may make a video on that too. Fix the end fair, get that thing up and running. I have a couple ideas on how to fix it. I was gonna have originally I was gonna take it off and put a new ballon, but I'm gonna fix that one. I could fix it. I have a couple of things I'm gonna do. I don't want to say now because it's gonna spoil the video, but I, I'm gonna fix it. And then um I'm I'll post a video on that because I need to fix that end fed. And then, of course, the uh, raised bed I'm going to build. And tomorrow's going to be... Uh, that's why I went to do the live stream today. I think we'll go back and forth, do this today. I didn't do it over the weekend because I know Saturday, of course, I was there too. Just did his live stream. And then yesterday, um, I, I was I caught, up, I got caught up doing some other stuff yesterday. So I figured today be a... You know, because the eclipse, we'll go talk about it and then... I'll let it roll. My son, I have to pick up my son. My son is upstairs. So I could let it roll. I could be out for a few hours today. So, yeah, so bird food. Okay. Oh, bird food for your birds. Okay, that type of bird food. But I'm talking about uh, wild bird feed. You know, I the big. I, I buy a big bag. Uh, I think I have it down here. Let me see if I have it down here. This is the one I use for the, for outside. I put it on my bird feeder. Oh, it is here. It's right here. See? It's about bird feed. So I use that one for the bird feeder. I put it out there because you know I got a whole bunch of birds. Uh my, you know, my wife is trying to make videos on them. We have like Orioles, Blue Jays, Cardinal, the red cardinal, you know, the cardinal, uh, sparrows, all types of beautiful birds. Them. So my wife throws bread out there and all that. So I put the bird feeder out there. So Live from New York. It's Saturday. <laughs> it's Monday afternoon. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or Sunday night football. Yeah. Hello, Bobby. Uh, Morgan City, Louisiana. Hope you're doing well. And hey, hello, Mary to the Exer. Good afternoon. Or yeah, good afternoon. It's good afternoon or whatever. Right? Or it might be early evening. And hello, Mary to the Exer. So yeah, so here we go. This is the medical king. So I'll be uh setting up my smart. I should I should take my smartphone. I should do that thing. I need to put tape on this thing. I need to tape it so it doesn't come out. Like that. And then I'll put on a tripod. I'm going to do this way, but I, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it as a short. And I'll film that. And then while I'm watching it too, I'll be uh, 
I'm going to put this on a tripod. So I need to get some tape. So, yeah. So there's going to be a partial here in, in uh, I'm near New York City. I'm in Yonkers. So we're not going to get the total, like, 92%. Coverage. It's gonna be like a crescent. It's not gonna be a hundred percent. And it's sponsored by Total Beat. <laughs> let me take. Some, let me take my beats. I just bought these. I need to start taking some. I used to drink the beet powder, but they didn't have it, so I said, let me just get the beet. You gotta take four a day. Uh, I'm gonna take four. Yeah, I know they moved the Yankee game to six o'clock. Uh, that was a good move. I know. You know why? I, I was thinking about that, but my, you know, my wife just uh, throws bread out there and they eat it. Oops. But I like the seeds better. So she's been doing it for a while with the with the bread. I, I, I don't like to feed them bread because I think bread is just sucks. I like the seeds better. Because I like to put them on the bird feeder. And then of course they fly on it and they sit on it and they eat. And then sometimes they shake the bird feeder. And some of it falls on the floor, and they all have it running around on the floor. And uh, yeah, my wife is the one that does the bread. So I was like, you know, whatever. I I I, I just I like the, the seeds better. And then I have a bird, uh, like a it's like a bird bath. It's hanging on one of the branches on the apple tree, and they go in there and they actually the even the puddles on my backyard. I see them in there bathing. <laughs> I had a foil pan out there with a little bit of water. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm going to tell her to stop feeding them bread. Because that's what the man does down the block. There's a man that he does that down the block. He does every day for, for, for the last few years. Every day that whole corner down there is full of breadcrumbs. Like bread, pieces of bread. And he wets it. And there's a whole bunch of pigeons down there. And they eat that. And I'm like, that. you know, I have a feeling that's not good for them, the bread. You know, I'm not, I, I, I like the seeds better. But, you know. And then, you know, I can't argue with her. She, 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 you can't argue with her. I can't argue with her about it. Because they, they eat bread. Uh, they, like, um. Years ago, we went to Atlantic City, right? This is way, this is before my son was born. Me and her were in Atlantic City. We went to the boardwalk. We went to the boardwalk in Atlantic City. And we had a loaf of bread. We had a loaf of bread, a small loaf of bread. It was, you know, uh, I think we, I forgot if we picked it up somewhere locally. We put the loaf of bread down in the middle of the boardwalk. And these seagulls came obliterated the loaf of bread within seconds. It was a whole bunch of seagulls. They, they cleaned up the whole loaf of bread in a matter of seconds. Not minutes, seconds. Like maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds tops. And they cleaned up the whole bread. The whole loaf of bread was gone. Seagulls. <clears throat> and I was like, wow. And we had it on video. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I ain't doing all that. I just leave water for them out there. Or sometimes when it's really hot, um, I have a sprinkler for my yard. I usually do the sprinkler. I have a sprinkler system thingy. You know, because I like to water the plants sometimes. I water the whole yard. Like, I haven't done that lately because we've been having a lot of rain. But there was a time that it was really uh, hot and it was dry for a while. I would put the sprinkler. 
and it just goes back and forth the whole yard spray it sprays water and it cools up the whole <clears throat> yeah so okay and we have black uh sunflower seeds for the cardinal jays chickadees and tin mice we see oreos on occasion okay yeah, so they moved the in game. Uh, that's a good move they did that time. So that's a good move. So best, uh, Mary Lee said best not to give them bread to the birds and make us think salt that slowly killed them. Okay, I didn't know that. So, but my wife is the one that likes to give them bread. She's been doing that for mm, last couple of years. I don't like doing that <clears throat> because I I don't want to just throw everything, everything in the grass. I don't want, I don't because they 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 ruin the grass. You know, there's like scratches all over. Like my, that area of the grass is worn. Cause the squirrels too, they fight and all that. The squirrels be bullying them, scaring them away sometimes. And of course we have cats. A couple of na the neighbor's cat, the other one, they chase all the birds away sometimes. Sometimes I gotta go like this, like, hey, get out of here. Cause they scare the birds. I know Katasa's not gonna like that. Why are you scaring the cat away? Because they go after the birds. And I'm, my wife is like, why did... I said, because the cat's right there. The cat wants to play with the birds. Because they be chasing the birds. And then the cat, sometimes I feed them. Um, I have like... Uh, I'll make a plate. Like sometimes I have... Um, which I have. I have tuna. I have tuna. I put some in a, in a plate, in a paper plate. And they'll come and eat that. And you know, because I don't have cat food and all that. Sorry, I don't have all that. So I get all oh, chicken. I have the the chicken, uh, the can. It's like chicken breast. I usually break it up and put it in a in a in a. In a I have a, a paper, a, you know, paper plate, whatever. I put it out there, so they don't bother the birds. Like you go eat over here. Cause I don't mind them either, cause you know I like to look at them too. I like you know, you know they're not my cats, but you know, but they they love my yard. They all come to my yard. You see my yard on videos. They, all the nooks and crannies, they, they sit. Sometimes they go under the tree. They, they lay there for shade. Or, you know, I have one that's right here in, in my, uh, when I open it in the basement, I have some wooden boards there, old wooden. He he goes in there, tries to, you know, a couple of times I open the back door and he's, he's running away. I feel bad, but I can't take the mimic of my wife. My wife just says she, she has serious allergies. I would like to take one in or two or whatever, but I just can't. Then I'll be out there. Then she'll put me on the street. <laughs> yes, seeds are better, I know. Uh, I give, uh, Meredith, I give bread to the ducks at the local pond. They encourage giving them brown bread, which is good for them. Okay. Mm. So there you go. I got total beats. When you take beets, you feel it. When I said drink the beet powder. It takes about an hour after you drink the beet powder. You feel your blood flowing. Like you energize. You get energized. It opens up your blood vessels. Why is it? Whatever. It's like a natural blood thinner, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I don't have no heart issues or anything like that. Thank God. Knock on wood. But I take I I I used to take the beet powder. So I want to try this one. Uh, I took it yesterday first time, and I right away within an hour, so I felt the energy. I was energized. I need I need to get energized. I have a lot of. I I've been finished. Sometimes I feel sluggish for a couple of days, and then I need you know it's the it's the weather. Now that it's sunny like this, I, I'm energized. I want to go outside and work on. But I want to wait for after the eclipse thing, then I'll be out there for the rest of the day. Well, well tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be seven. Yeah. Uh, Tasso, I bought a bird bath for my budgies. Budgies, how do you pronounce that? Bud, budgies. 
a couple of months ago when they when we start getting 90 degree plus weather yeah yeah they cool off yeah you can also use a spray a fill bottle yeah spray them down yeah yeah that too and yeah my reader say oh yeah the seagulls there they're bullies they're bullies they go after all the other birds in Niagara Falls, same thing. We were we were eating at a at a. I remember was eating. I was eating buffalo wings, and my wife was eating something, and they're right there, right there, waiting for me to you know eat the wing and throw the. So I'm throwing French fries, <laughs> and they're fighting for the French fries, and they bully the small ones. <clears throat> Seagulls, they chase the small ones away. Yeah, they are bullies. Uh, King and said we also see also see finches here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know all this all the birds. Uh, I think that's why uh my wife said. Oh, uh, because we got a we got a DSLR, uh a Nikon D 5100 We haven't used it in a couple of years. I haven't used it in a while. So I put it upstairs for her. We're gonna put that we, we have a 300 millimeter uh zoom lens with it. So I'm going to start shooting videos. I'm thinking about making a channel just for the bird watching. Believe it or not. Yeah, just you know, zoom in and get some nice shots. Because with the phone, is okay. But I, I, I that 300 millimeter, oh, my God, that thing is. And that's optical zoom, not digital zoom. I think it's really good. So right now, uh, let's see. It's 2 o'clock, right? Yeah, 159. Okay, we're getting there. So yeah, because I know we Keegan, you talked about it. I know. No, I was thinking about it because my wife was we were talking about it the other day. She said, Where's the Nikon? I said, honey, it's upstairs in the room. It's just in the bag. All right, I'm gonna bring it down. Let me show you. I'll show you the uh the uh See, this is our D5100. I think we're using this one for the real close up shots. But this one, the highest it can shoot now is 1080p. So of course, you got your charger for the battery. I have two of these. Uh, microphone. The last time I used this for my for this channel was when I was doing the Sony. This radio right here. I was doing it uh, a few summers ago. I was making videos outside with this one, and I use this camera. Yeah. So let me check out the. Uh, So D5100, this is a 300 millimeter. So I'm going to be using this one. This one is not going to do 4K. It only could go up to 1080. That's the highest this one can go up to. But the reason why I like this one, because I can get really close-up shots of the bird. Because, you know, birds, they don't want you to get near them. Over here. Uh, so I would have to use this and zoom in real close to the bird. Like they're right there. Like I'm literally right there. So I, I, I'm going to try to use this one for that. Take really close-up shots. You know, my wife's phone, she can zoom in, but it's it's not the same. This is much better. But I'm going to have it on a tripod, of course. And then I, once I, of course, I got a viewfinder. You got the, you the viewfinder and... 
Budgie. Okay. Yeah, Budgie. Okay, that's how it's pronounced. Okay. So you said it for, okay, Budgie. Yeah, so. So this one. Now, I was I would I I would have used this for uh this shoots videos too. But uh yeah, you I mean you, you know you don't need super duper. I I am gonna make videos with this one and pictures, but the pictures are a lot more. They're more than they're like 4K the pictures. The video is 1080p with this one. Because this camera is like 10 years old. Actually, more than that now. It's about, uh, you know, when I bought, oh, no, no, it's over 12 years old now, this camera. This camera's old. It's like 15 years old. But I think we own, I think we had, a, we bought this in a Sam's Club. It was a, it was a hope with the bag and everything. And it came with this lens and this, the stock lens and this 300 millimeter it came with. You know, so it's still good. This camera's still good. It can still do 1080 for video. And then, of course, for pictures, you can go, like, very high. The raw format is, like, 8 and 4K. So I need to charge a battery. And this one, I think the most, I think the most video, the, the, I think the 64 gig is the biggest video card you can, I mean, the SD card, excuse me, I said video card. SD card. So if I do any bird 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 videos, I'll do it with this one. Is I really gonna get up close? Because you can't walk up to them and take a picture, they won't let you they'll fly away so fast. My wife got me into these things now with the bird. I, I just like watching them, but she wants to make videos. I said, okay, I, maybe I'll make a channel for that. Because I, I watch sometimes. Have you seen those channels where they have a live stream? Have you seen those uh, live stream? There's one of the falcon. Is a falcon. I guess somebody built a bird, uh, like some kind of house. It's a you know, some university in, uh, I forgot where it was at. It's in Europe. Somewhere. I think it's Finland or somewhere. It's a live 24-hour uh, live stream. And they fly in there, and you see them. <laughs> Sometimes they fight, <laughs> and one of them flies away. And <laughs> Yeah, I know I need to work on my man. I, I know I've been busy. I'm disappointed because I, I really want to make those contacts too. Yeah, I know. So wow. So you got a 20 meter. So Mary and yes, uh, wow, just did an FTA contact with China on 20 meters. Not the first time I did an FTA contact with it, but is the but it is the first time at home. Okay. The increase in, in 20 watts is really help, helpful. Yeah, it is. I know. I need to. Uh... Yeah. Oh, you seen those tassel, right? Those are cool, right? Uh, I seen those. They're pretty cool. There's one that the owl's laying in the nest over the egg, and she takes turns. Yeah, I, I seen that one too. The owls. There's another one with the owls. Yeah, they, there was one that they were taking turns, laying the uh, laying on the egg, keeping the egg warm. Yeah, so I like those. I, I, I feel like I put it on there. I'll put it on there and I'll watch it for a while. You know, it's kind of relaxing. Yeah. So Keegan, may, I'm thinking about doing a channel for that stuff. Just like, you know, for bird watching and for other stuff too. Sometimes I run across like, uh, you know, raccoon or skunk or whatever. or And I could, you know, get close. Things like that, you know. It's just you know fun, you know. It's not it's not to get views or anything like that. It's just you know, like I have these other smaller channels now. I'm having fun with them too, you know. Uh, they're fun, you know. They're not they're not to they're not to get like uh you know if they get views they get views or when they get you know. Cause sometimes I want to take a break from this channel for a couple of days. But I want to post something else, you know. Like I can't put that here in this channel because this is a radio-related channel. But I can go there. You see what I'm saying? That's why I tell people it's good to have more than one channel. You know, like Mario Jesse has his gaming channel, his gamer channel. Uh, you know, Tasso has his uh. Well, he does both on his main channel anyway. 
I don't know what's the difference. He has radio and cat. Radio and cat chicken. And, but, you know, my thing is, as long as you enjoy the channel, enjoy it, you know? So I, I want to do one for the uh, birthday. I never thought I would say that, but now I'm thinking because my wife wants to do one. You know? Because she's, she's doing that channel with my son. But my son lately doesn't even want to bother. He's like, ah, leave me alone. Let me. He doesn't. So she, 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 keep, she keeps uploading stuff. So. And I say, yeah, I know. Sometimes you run into the, one of those. Uh, what, like a wall. You know, creative wall. I know. Sometimes you get into the creative brick wall. And you say, ah, what else can I put up? But it's doing well. It's just that, you know, sometimes, you know. Yeah, when you have enough videos, then you start making playlists. You know. So, Tasha, I will soon be making videos of the bird on my Linda the Bird's channel. Okay. Yeah, so 20 months is a, yeah, so that's good, though, uh, Married to the Extra, that's good. King and the Extra, i seen Robbins on occasion, okay. Uh, Married to the Extra, no contacts from USA today, but plenty of my signals received on your side in the past two hours, okay. Yeah, I'm going to see tomorrow, because tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day out there, so... I'm probably gonna do the. I'm gonna repair my NFED first. I'll make a video on that first because that's not gonna take that long. You know, I just don't want to give away what I want to do. It's pretty simple the way I'm gonna fix it. And then I'll seal it up and that's it. Then I'll put it back. It's still there. It's just I got a plastic bag over it because I don't want water to go in through that opening. So I haven't fixed it yet. I can't be, I can't be mid busy. <coughs> Once I fix it, I'll be good to go. I'll start. Uh, FTA, I'll be back up since doing FTA. I'm even thinking about bringing it down here because I could be here all day doing that. <coughs> oh my God, I'm not coughing like you. My, my, also, my throat is dry. And gross, 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 gross beaks. Okay. So right now it's in Mexico. Mazatlan, yeah, okay. So I'm looking at my chart. Let's see. Yeah, because it's, it's estimated and Buffalo is going to be 318. So right now, it's, like I said, it's just 2 o'clock, so it's 2.10 right now, so I'm going to be around 2. Well, I need to get my tripod, too. Let me get my tripod ready, actually. I think about it. I forgot about the tripod. I need to get a piece of tape to fix this. And then so I'll be, I'm will be. i going to start going upstairs at around 2.45-ish. I'll be go upstairs, and then I'll be up there until I'm going to leave this rolling. I'm going to put the radio on. I'm going to leave it rolling. You see the daylight right now? I'll probably point it at the window and see if it gets dark. And I'll probably wave at you with the window. <laughs> I'm going to walk through the window and wave. So, yeah, so right now the sun is coming in through that window. It's bright outside. Right? That's bright. It's gonna be more of a perfect day. I thought it was gonna be cloudy. Yeah, I'm gonna be out there gonna wave and then I'm gonna go back. That's that's the alley. That's the alley of my house. And I'm gonna be outside with my son for a few minutes. He doesn't want to be out there, but I said, no, I just go out there, and look at it for a few minutes, and he could go back in. Then I'm gonna try to um, record it. I'll look at it for a few minutes and that's it, and then I'll come back in. And that's it. I'm not gonna be out there. It's not a full, it's not gonna be full. Uh, it's gonna be a partial anyway. Here, 
<clears throat> right here, sunny. I know the sun is out bright. So, uh, Keegan, I see squirrels, chipmunks, and raccoons at the bird feeder on occasion. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to take my bird feeder up there. But I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to, because I need to clean it. I need to clean my, the, the bird. I need to clean it. I need to hose it. The power, not power washer, but I need to clean it because it was in the garage. It's just dusty. I'm going to clean it up real good for them. <clears throat> uh, Ty, so I posted one of the uh, one of the Linda on my pet channel, but I'm thinking of making playlists on my main channel. I don't know. No, you can. I mean, it's your channel. You do whatever you want with your channel. I noticed, though, that your uh, – was it yesterday, the day before? I think it was the day before yesterday night. And I went to your channel. I saw – because I put the most popular, and the most popular, I think, is the is the is uh, one of the uh, cat videos. I think it went over 1,000 views. I forgot. I can check it. Let me see. I can check it. Let's see. Why is my thing loading so slow now? <clears throat> okay, let me do this. I'm going this thing because my laptop is uh, I forgot this thing is a memory hog, these browsers. If I go to videos. So you got 52 subs, Tassel. So that's pretty good. So your most popular video right now is the cat. It's 1.6K. Yeah, so it's the cat. Linda just wants to play. So it's 1.6K video. The others are the Texan PL 330. It's 449. And that was in eight days. You got 1,600 views in eight days on that video. So, hey, if it, yeah, if it works, you know, mix them up. You got 52 subs, so you're, you're, half, you're more than halfway already to 100. That's good. Just keep, keep doing what you're doing. <clears throat> No, when you had enough videos, then you can make playlists of, uh, you make a playlist of this one and a playlist of this one, you know. When you have enough that you can organize, you can say Texan PL330, uh, SH Data, D608, uh, Linda, the cat, <laughs> you know. You know, and then that way if they want to see more, they, go, they just do the playlist. Because <clears throat> some people save the playlist or they add to their own playlist, which is nice. I like when they add my videos to their own playlist. They make a playlist and they include my video in there. I like those. <clears throat> King and are going outside. Yeah, I know. It's already, I know. He, yeah. All right. So I'll see you in a bit. Keegan. Going outside with the glasses to check. Okay. Uh, Tasso, uh, let's see. Uh, I saw you posted a video earlier on of 720 kilohertz from the thumbnail. Going. Oh, okay. I was just talking about Ready with the X. I think so. Yeah, Ready with the X. Okay. Yes, Danny. I have one video that got 1.6. Yeah, in eight days. So that's good. And then, uh, let me see. That's probably my wife. It started. No, oh, it start yet. Did it start yet? It didn't start yet. My wife's saying that it started already. I may go says in a few minutes, actually. I think it's here. Let me see. They didn't say it started. It's supposed to be three o'clock. Anyway, hello, Mickey. Popping in, just say hey. 
Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, hello, everyone. Papa need to say it. enjoy the uh, clips. Yeah, I'm gonna be out there in a few minutes. Actually, I'm gonna go out there in a few minutes. I'm gonna let it roll. I'm a. I'm a. I don't know. My wife is saying that it started already. I'm like, really? I don't want to. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go in a few minutes and just be out there, and then I'll come back. Uh, I'll check up. Yeah, I know the full one is in Mexico. Because it's estimated to be uh, B Buffalo 318. In Buffalo, New York. But of course, I'm not in Buffalo. I'm in Yonkers. So I figure I I'll be out there by 3 o'clock or so. Probably right before. I, I'm gonna, I want to be out there in about a quarter to 3 just to get everything set up. I got my tripod. I need to just set up everything. I'm going to be out of here soon. I'll be up there. I'll be out there for a few minutes. It looks like the color's changing the the right here. Wow, maybe it's maybe yeah, sometimes it it it, it, it isn't accurate. About 40% now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go outside. Hey, hello, radio ID scan, uh solar eclipse. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside then. Let me go outside. I'm gonna put the camera like this because you know, uh in case the, the sky turns dark in about 20 minutes, who knows why? I don't know. I'm gonna put the radio on. A, a celestial event. You know what I mean? It is. I saw it in 2017. I remember I was in a meeting at 30 Rockefeller Center. The meeting started. A Let little me. Bit uh, I'm not gonna be we able to read everything. It. Uh huh. And then we yeah, right I will go in the way by you guys. We went right back to the. Let me uh, take my glasses. Let, Let me take my phone. It can be beautiful, but uh, no, Joe. I don't think that's gonna happen. I just don't. Bill, real quick. Hey Greg, so on your uh, eclipse thing, so in our area, we're going to take my keys. I wouldn't want to be locked out of my own house. 25, start to get dark a little after three. Uh, but to explain the zone of no, I know what it means. House. I know what it means. I just don't like the way. I don't like the way people have been using it. I know it's zone. I mean, I know I, one can infer, right? It's 100% coverage instead of a less than, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I know, but I just don't like, we never called it a zone of totality before. I hate it when things get updated and we don't know why. All of a sudden, Kabul, Afghanistan became Kabul. Things like that bother me. Get, get what? Clicks. It gets clicks. It gets clicks. I don't know if it's that. I don't know if it's that. I've never even clicked on it. I just heard people saying it on TV. All right. You got those uh, funny glasses? But I, I'm not gonna look at it. I'm, I'm not pruning my bushes. I'm like James Flippin. I'm working in the garden. Okay. Okay. All right. By the way, he, he's, a, he's a real addition to your show. I think he's great. Nah, uh, he's not really. It's not working out. He won't be hearing much of him in the come in the coming days. I'm sorry to tell you. No, I'm only kidding. He's great. Uh, thank you, Bill. Goodbye. Greg Kelly on 77 WABC. We all know what UV rays can do to our skin, but they can also do damage to your car. Keep that from happening with 303 Protectant. 303 Protectant keeps the sun's harmful rays from causing fading and cracking in rubber, plastic, or vinyl surfaces. From the dashboard to the tires, 303 Protectant keeps your car looking new longer. Get 303 Protectant today at Advanced Auto Parts. Visit 303radio.com for more information. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! And call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line, one, five, and 10 gig data plans with a limited talk and text compared to lower cost single line, postpaid, unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon in January 2024. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy. Through HIMSS, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, and the process is 100% online. To start your free online visit, go to hymns.com slash joy. 
That's H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can bring anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your bid purchase of 150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And six one visit staples.com slash print for details. It's never worked. When that special time comes, it's never worked. I can confirm it's never worked. When it's time to make it work, elevate the situation. Call Elevate Wellness, 973-354-2276. With a 96% success rate, treating men with low T or ED, 973-354-2276. Offering private telemed appointments. Elevate your situation. To ensure that it works. 973-354. 2276. Listen to Rudy Giuliani every weekday at 3.55 p.m. for the Tunnel of Towers Foundation. Mayor's final thoughts. Rudy gives his insightful, most candid, and important final thought of the day on topics affecting our community, our nation, and you. The Mayor of New York City, Rudy Giuliani. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation, Mayor's Final Thoughts, weekdays at 3.55 p.m. on 77 WABC. In 2024, you get more at Ramsey Mazda. More selection, over 750 new vehicles available, and more savings on their entire Mazda lineup. Like a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 starting at just $29,942. Or the Mazda CX-30 starting at just $25,745. Or drive the all-new 2024 Mazda CX-90 starting at just $38,274. With third-row seating and expansive cargo space, the Mazda CX-90 is the SUV that gives you more in 2024. Ramsey Mazda is the proud recipient of the 2023 President's Club Award and the 2024 Cars.com Consumer Satisfaction Award. Visit RamseyMazda.com and let them make shopping for your new Mazda fast, easy, and convenient with their modern state-of-the-art showroom. On Route 17 North in scenic Ramsey, New Jersey. Get more in 2024 in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. normal outside totally normal this thing has been a big bust uh i know it's gonna happen and uh so what we got a country to save there's a lot more going on and oh by the way uh one week from today i can't believe it's gonna happen isn't somebody gonna step in and say enough is enough for donald trump and these phony cases especially judge juan mercheron i mean his daughter is like <laughs> is a leftist full-time political agent uh, and and she will make money she does make money off of the defeat of republicans the defeat of donald trump and the victory of democrats and they're tight they're chummy they're million pictures of these guys together not scandalous of course his father and daughter there should be pictures of them together and he's giving interviews to the media the court is actually speaking out about uh about mm, social media postings and stuff like that. So here is a character. Now, I'm not a fan of Judge Shira Shinland at all. 
She's a retired judge. She had to resign in disgrace because of her stop and frisk antics. Oh, people are going outside and putting the glasses on. But they're... Can you see anything? It still looks normal to me. I'll let you know. Uh, let me hear from the Judge Shinlin. Even Judge Liberal Wacko Communist Nutjob Shira Shinlin says that there's too much of a conflict of interest for Judge Mershon to sit in judgment of Donald Trump. Go ahead with that, please. And they put together a composite of issues that would cause me a little bit of pause. And I can explain all the various things that they've put together. The main focus of this motion, as opposed to the previous one a year ago, which the judge denied, is on the daughter's line of work. As you already said, the daughter does work with many, many high profile Democratic candidates. She works on their social media. They put out a post, they get contributions. She as an owner gets a percentage of those contributions. So there is a statute in New York which says a judge must disqualify himself if a person known uh, by the judge to be within the sixth degree of relationship and the daughter is the first degree has an interest that could be substantially affected by the outcome of the proceeding. So the question here is, is this daughter likely to profit, to benefit from the outcome of this proceeding? And you have to understand, it's not actual conduct that's worrisome, it's the appearance, the appearance to a reasonable person that this judge cannot be fair and impartial given that relationship. So ordinarily, I would think that a benefit financially would be to a spouse because they share the income. This is an independent adult daughter. They don't share income. But according to this, according to this statute, according to this statute, the judge must recuse if she was. You to must speak. recuse, Judge Mershon. There's a law. All right, it's getting a little bit darker outside, but here's the deal: it's cloudy, so you can't see the eclipse anyway. At least in my hood. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes fees and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Want to keep your gas-powered engines running like new? Staples' proprietary formulas are proven by third-party testing to outperform the competition in keeping fuel fresh, preventing corrosion, and cleaning the entire fuel system. With Stable, you can have confidence you are doing the right thing for your engine's long-term health. Just pour into your gas can or fuel tank. Then top off with fresh fuel at every fill-up or when you store. Start with Stable. Available where fuel additives are sold. Here comes the sun. The next total solar eclipse happens today at 3.20 p.m. It's the last total solar eclipse in North America until March 30th, 2033. And you don't want to be... 77 WABC reminds you to make sure to protect your eyes looking at the eclipse and you can be thanks to science and 77 WABC this is Greg Kelly to my friends in the construction business if you've been injured on the job make just one call to the construction accident lawyers at the law offices of Darren T. Moore with hundreds of five star reviews they fight for more justice for every client and have secured millions of dollars in compensation for New York construction workers call 888-444-ATTY that's 888-444-2889 for a free consultation more diligence more persistence and more justice guarantee more prior results don't guarantee similar outcomes thank you to crystal springs resort for donating to help the family of fallen nypd officer jonathan diller golf for good is sponsored by crystal springs resort crystal springs resort is the northeast largest golf destination and features six premier courses Highlighted by New Jersey's number one rated Valley Owen Golf Course, CrystalGolfResort.com. Players of all skill levels are invited to experience an extraordinary variety of top rated golf set amidst stunning mountain scenery. Visit CrystalGolfResort.com. It's the 77 WABC Big Basketball Bracket Challenge. 
Now just two teams remain. UConn versus Purdue. Tonight's the night. A champion will be crowned. How are you doing against the WABC staff? Grand prize is five hundred dollars. Sponsored by Fearless Boilers. Go to fearlessboilers.com or pavilionpencils.com. Fearless Boilers, the world's best built boilers. Attention. If you have Medicaid and live in New York and need assistance with daily living, you can receive a 100% free service and get help in the comfort of your own home by a loved one. Call Freedom Care now so you can receive daily help, preparing meals, bathing, doing laundry, receiving transportation, and more. All done by a family member or friend that gets paid to be your caregiver. You get to decide who provides your care, and your caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. It's all funded by Medicaid, so it's 100% free to you. Call in the next 10 minutes to see if you qualify. The Freedom Care family will explain the process, making it stress-free for patients and caregivers. Freedom Care is number one in New York and has received over 4,000 five-star reviews. They've been helping families for years. This service is 100% free to you through Medicaid. So call right now and see how fast you can get started with Freedom Care. Call 516-447-2106. 516-447-2106. This is 77 WABC Newsroom Extra. Donald Trump slamming President Biden's handling of the U.S.-Mexico border during the recent campaign stop in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Trump claimed Biden is allowing a bloodbath to occur at the southern border and vowed to crack down on illegal immigration if he's elected president. He blasted policies from Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and President Biden. When a president, instead of asking you to cram illegal aliens into your homes, I'll tell you that the illegal alien trespassers, they must go back to their homes. Trump says the crisis at the U.S.-Mexican border cannot continue for the sake of the U.S. There's no country in the world who will stand the cost of this and maybe more important than actual dollar cost, the cost that it's doing. It's wrecking our civilization. It's destroying our country. Trump also spoke on the murder of 25-year-old Ruby Garcia. Authorities say Garcia was shot to death in Grand Rapids by her partner who was in the country illegally. I'm Bob Brown for 77 WABC News. <laughs> You're listening to The Greg Kelly Show. All right, I'm weighing in as cable news loses their mind over uh, a little bit of shade. I have posted on Twitter. I took a picture of the of the sky, partly cloudy sky. And uh, this eclipse, this quote-unquote eclipse is a total bust. Not impressed. At best, I'd call it partly sunny. I prefer volcanoes. And don't you? Seriously, volcanoes, they, they're not subtle. They just, you know it when they erupt. This is, um, this is not as cool. It just isn't as cool. Now, they tell me it really is going to get better in an hour or so. Uh, they're just making too big a deal about it, I think. That's part of the, uh, that's part of why I'm not liking it right now. All right, we'll see what happens. Um, the other thing is this. Oh, boy. I thought that this was coming from Yemen or, I don't know, like a radical part of Iran or some guy with a TV show in uh, Azerbaijan. It turns out that this jerk that you're about to hear is speaking to throngs of supporters in Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn, Michigan. They're saying this stuff out in the open, death to America. You know, this is uh, this is now cool and fashionable. Let's do it here. Um, you got that all ready to go? All right, let me hear it. We've been asked in the past, why are our protests on the International Day of Quds, why are they so anti-America? Why don't we just focus more on Israel and not talk so much about America? Gaza has shown the entire world why these protests are so anti-America. Because it's the United States government that provides the funds for all of the atrocities that we just heard about. And this is why Imam Khomeini, who declared the International Day of Quds, this is why he would say to pour all of your, cha all of your chants and all of your shouts upon the head of America. They're saying Malcolm X said, and I quote, 
We live in one of the rottenest countries that has ever, that has ever existed on this earth. It's not genocide Joe that has to go. It's the entire system that has to go. All right, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, just remember that every time some jerk tells you that they love Malcolm X, right? Oh, the the autobiography of Malcolm X had such a profound effect on me. Guess who says that? Barack Obama, baby. Yeah, he was so into uh, Malcolm X, who was really a degenerate in so many ways. Well, what about he renounced violence? No, not really, actually. Mm -mm. Um, Let me hear the rest of this uh, maniac. This is happening in America, by the way, in America. Hey. You have your, it's funny, I can't post what I want to post about the 2020 election, but this guy can mouth off like this in the public square. Keep going. That would allow such atrocities and such devilry to to happen and would support it. Such a system does not deserve to exist on God's earth. And so when these fools ask us if Israel has the right to exist, the chant death to Israel has become the most logical chant Showed it across the world today. Israel. 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 Imam Khomeini recognized that Israel is an evil settler colonialist project. He realized it is a cancer and he established this day. Israel, before this, brothers and sisters, was a sacred cow. Nobody could criticize Israel. You know, Everybody the F- I wonder if the FBI is going to knock on this door. You put F. Joe Biden or Let's Go Brandon up on your Facebook page. <laughs> you may getting a knock at the door. Is this guy? Keep going. Instead of being anti-Semitic. Everybody was afraid of them. But now the people of conscience very openly will criticize Israel. They recognize Israel for what it is. Israel is ISIS. Israel are, they are Nazis, they are fascists, they are racist. The people of the world now know this. Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea. Oh, that's a genocidal uh, chant. Palestine will be free. All right, uh, that river to the sea thing, you think it's benign? It's not. It's a declaration of war on the Jewish people. And they got kids. They got kids chanting it up there in Dearborn, Michigan, and Joe Biden bending over backwards to signal to these people, these America haters, these anti-Semites, that somehow Joe is on their side. Now, I don't think that's going to work, but even that he's attempting to do it, that he is worried about where these people fall politically, I mean, there's some support you really don't want, right? You don't want. Hey, now it's really sunny outside, so what the hell's going on? I mean, all right, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it? Um, all right, we have this. Hey, Ashley Babbitt is still in prison. I'm sorry, she's still dead, of course, but I forgive me on that one. Um, what I'm realizing, though, and somebody sent me an email about all of the discrepancies between people who were sentenced uh, to jail for Black Lives Matter offenses, and there were so few of them, and people who were sentenced to prison for January 6th related uh, offenses. There are so many of them and they're being punished so much more severely. You know that there were Molotov cocktails thrown during Black Lives Matter, right? There were fires all over the place. Um, There were two incidents where radicals threw uh, Molotov cocktails at police vehicles, NYPD police vans. Uh, Two lawyers, a man and a woman, both in their 20s, uh, blew up an NYPD vehicle. They were sentenced to one year in jail, just one year. And the same for two transgender maniacs. Uh, They firebombed a police truck and they were uh, sentenced after about three years, by the way, it took a long time. And they finally got sentenced to a year, a year in prison. Do you know that there was a guy on January 6th who brought a Molotov cocktail to the Capitol, but he thought better of it and he left it in his trunk. He just said, I'm not throwing this thing. I'm not doing that. And all he did was hang around the Capitol. He didn't even go inside. They gave that guy four years for even thinking about it. Those people actually did it. They got a year in jail. This poor guy got four years. Big O Barnett with his feet up on the desk. I think he's got 24 months. Is that the late 24 months? Um, There are people who punched out cops. And the idea that 
one of the worst things about all of this is that that cop was actually on duty that day. Uh, Michael Byrd. The more I find out about that guy, he never should have been employed by the federal government. And if he was employed, he should have been fired. They have given him a medal. He was losing his gun all over the place. One time he came out and shot at a car as it was being driven away. Uh, somebody came by, made a disturbance in his neighborhood. So he takes out his car and starts shooting at the car. Now you can't... <laughs> I don't think Clint Eastwood ever did that in the Dirty Harry movies. You can't do that. All right, everybody is now out. I'm telling you, folks. Well, it's not as cloudy as it used to be. It's not quite as cloudy as it used to be. Can you guys see anything out there? Rick, uh, where are you? I'm in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. I don't see anything but a bunch of clouds and a little bit of sunlight. Right, right. Yeah. I, must, I wanted to tell you how, just without the glasses, uh, you can take a mirror and you can reflect the image. If the sunlight is coming through a window, you can reflect the image on your wall. If not, you can go outside and you can hang a sheet from your laundry line. And you can reflect the image off the mirror onto the sheet. Oh, my God. This sounds like way too much trouble. This sounds like arts and crafts and all that kind of stuff. I can't do that. I, those little, excuse me, those boxes that people make. Same difference. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, are you doing that? No, I'm not wasting my time. I also want to tell you, though, anytime you want any questions answered about the climate scam, I'm the guy to talk to. What makes you so qualified? I studied climate science for eight years independently. Uh, all right, so what's the bottom line? Uh, CO2 doesn't control the temperature of the Earth. I could give you a graph that proves that easily. Even if it did, the greenhouse effect doesn't control the temperature of the Earth. I can prove that, too. Uh, less than 4% of CO2 comes from man. Over 96% comes from nature. All right, good so, enough for me. You sound like you know your stuff. So uh, climate change is a, is, is a myth? It's complete false. The only thing that's true is CO2 does create some warming, but it's very little bit. It's 400 parts per million. That's 0.04% of the atmosphere. It's almost nothing. So where did this kind of stuff came out of left field, right? No, well, let me ask you this. Let's face it. Um, you know, it's not snowing like it used to snow. We used to get like three snowstorms, serious snowstorms. We're lucky if we get one or unlucky if we get one. I don't think we got barely much of anything. Uh, you know, you do have these uh, hurricanes and stuff that seem to be a bit more intense. Maybe they're not. I mean, what do you make of all that stuff? Drought. What? We just had a record. We just had a record-breaking hurricane drought. We actually have less hurricanes recently. What about the snow? What about the snow thing? This is natural climate change. I can actually give you uh, global warming and climate change stories in newspaper articles back to 1846, if you're interested. Yeah, look, I, uh, I, I, I'm uh, on the side of the climate change skeptics. I am, but I don't have the time to really uh, do it. It's not my passion issue. It's just not. And um, I, I basically don't like, <laughs> I've chosen it via personality, which I know is the wrong thing to do. Um, so why is it, why is there so much momentum on this issue? Why are they pushing it so relentlessly now? NATO controls CO2 controls everything on the planet. All the land, all the air, all the water, all your minerals, all your resources. You notice they're looking to take away your gas car now. Do you think they're going to let you keep the electric car? That's going to be taken away next. All right. All right. Um, well, I'm glad you did your homework, and right. let's stay in touch on that one. Thank you, thank you. Um, hey, the animals are going nuts at the zoo in Dallas. They actually the animals are going animals. nuts! They got a camera set up looking at the animals, and they're running in circles in the Dallas Zoo. They don't know what to do, because they know basically <laughs> when it's supposed to And be I'm waiting until it goes half. It's not even half yet. It's like, it's uh... Not on schedule. It's partial, but it's like one... Getting a little bit... Uh, no, one third. I if I looked out the mirror, if I looked out the window, one right fourth. Now, it's about a uh, uh, actually, it's, a, it's, it's like a third now. It's still a little bit cloudy. So and then the cloud hit it for a few for a few seconds, um, but it broke the clouds down. Brooklyn, do you see anything? I'm in the Benson Harris Graves End area, and now I'm seeing the same. Happy birthday, uh, Chicken B Radio. Uh, Sunlight behind the clouds, and that's about it. You think this is all fake? I made videos on it, but it's not that good. The videos are not that good. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna work. So, I'm waiting for you. I'm gonna go back out there. I want to get it. I want to wait till it goes to the other side. 
So I'll stay here for like 10 minutes and then I'll go back. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, actually, uh, something in regard to um, President Trump's statement on abortion. Devo, whip it good. You know, I watch a lot of Catholic television. And there was an interview last night. Whip it good. There was a deacon that was interviewed. He's an author. He's a, a professor. Devo. African American. The deacons are like not real priests, right? They're like, no, they didn't go they, all the way. Yeah, no. Yo, yo, marry, yo. Um, but they have to marry before they become a deacon. And, uh, you know, they can't perform weddings. They can't. My son is enjoying that. He didn't want to go outside. Now he. Right, so what happened? And I said, he put the glass on. He looked at it. He's like, oh my God. I said, yeah, you see? Mother Teresa made a statement. And she said, once individuals feel free to kill unborn babies, they will then feel free to kill one another. And this deacon wrote a book about uh, crime and the correlation between abortion. So let me go back up here real quick. American communities. And we know that the statistics are higher among African Americans and other people of color for committing such violence and crimes and violent crimes. And he's, he's saying that there seems to be a correlation between the high rate of violence and crime in the U.S. And to 48 statistics in New York. I found it to be very interesting. Eastern time right now. York is New York. I'm going to wait a few more minutes. I'm going to go back out there. I want to see when it's more like half. Children are aborted. It's not there yet. I, I got about a third. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. No. 60%. And I was shocked. No, it can't be 60%. Yeah, the same is true. No, it can't be true. I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't, this is so hard. Look, what's the bottom line here, Jacqueline? Give me the bottom line. Look it up, okay? Well, just give me the bottom line. What is the bottom line right now? There, there seems to be a yeah, correlation between, between the high rates of abortion and violence and crimes. And all right, I will, scary. all right, thank you very much. Wow, yeah, no, she was, um, yikes, I don't want to. So, Team Radio 922, the new radio oh, is for National oh, Yellow. Hey, radio, they're company. coming up on June 1st. Okay. Uh, from Garter World. That's the same company that got hit in Los Angeles. Did you hear about Ooh. that? They had a, uh, oh. a great big robbery of a cash, um, of an of a, of a armored car kind of cash depository. And they think it might have been this. Let me read some of the comments. Wow. Well, I wait a few more minutes. I go back out there. And it hasn't been solved yet. I'll be right back. I wanted to get more <laughs> closer. <laughs> I've already seen this before, but my son, you know. We all know what UV rays can He's enjoying it. But they can also do damage to your car. Keep that from happening with 303 Protectant. 303 Protectant keeps the sun's harmful rays from causing uh, fading and cracking in rubber, plastic, or vinyl surfaces. From the dashboard to the tires, 303 Protectant keeps your car looking <laughs> new longer get 303 protected today at auto zone visit three well he's already starting he says 3 p.m but it, yeah, he's already um hey everyone it's he's about a third the already the guy in the orange sweater and this is your wake-up call so right now it's already a third wireless service you don't have to keep having that nightmare right now this, this, it was a little bit of clouds covered it for a second in my yard, I couldn't. I had to go out to the street, to the sidewalk. But I got trees here, so the trees was blocking the view. So I had to go to the front of my house, and then there we got a clear view of the sun, and we were able to see the. Uh, right now, it's, a, it's partial, about one third. About one third covered. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room. I want to wait for a little more cover. I think about maybe 10 minutes or so. Age-related macular degeneration. And then um, I'll, well, we'll stay out there until we see the rest of it. I learned this in advanced form of dry AMD. But well, we're not going to get the full here. We're going to get a uh, part. We're going to get the, uh, like, a crescent. About 90% covered. Maybe 92% estimated. colors appear dull or washed out. For others, so radio ID scan is a new channel. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're talking about. Print on price tags. Many have trouble uh, seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. Uh, my radio X, sir, I will be watching the national stream of the full one in Mexico. Yeah, I'm, I'll watch replays later on. Wait, treatments are available. I'll watch other videos later on. Specialist about FDA approved treatments. Uh, maybe. Uh, oh, that 1103 was a digital one. I bought it from Cato. Canadian Prepper has the analog one. Yeah, it is an analog one, I believe. That was less than take just 10 minutes a day. 
Difference I've seen afterwards, that, after that, that the one Canadian prepper is selling is Adelaide. So King, you got about 40% now, okay? Yeah, because you're an hour behind where I'm at. You're like in the middle of the country. So yeah, you're, 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 you're I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for about 50%. About travel, business, relationships, and more. Oh, yeah, I would say a third, about 33%. Lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? The analog version uses three double A, whereas the digital version uses four. Okay. And wait, what's that? And to carry on conversations with confidence. Yeah. Learning a language with Babel doesn't take long. And with Babel, it is. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Why not? Yeah, subscribe to my channel. Why not? Go to Babel.com to try for free. That's Babel. Marity, I said no chance of seeing a partial clip for me, cloudy, and it's sunset. Yeah, I know. Well, this is gonna be the last one here through the U.S. I think the next one is about uh, 20, uh, 2041. So I forgot what year. Almost like 20 years. Not 20 years, but 18 years from now or something like that. So, Tasso says, I'm watching coverage on ABC News. Okay. Uh, Miggy, my radio, weather app, shows the clips lines, where the moon is at travel, so you can prepare as it opposed to, yeah. Brian Jackson, hello. He's your friend, Brian, yeah, from Mount Vernon, greetings. Yeah, I work right now, okay. Watching you live, take care, you too, my brother. And hello, Chico, Chico P Radio, happy birthday to you. Kelly show from day one, my has been committed. Yeah, this is like my fourth one in my lifetime. And making sure this is actually my fifth problem. Class, I don't remember, but I, I first one I saw when I was a little boy, I was probably seven years old, eight years old. I remember we had totality, we got dark for a few minutes. And then uh, it was another couple of them. So this is like my fourth in my so lifetime. To find out how these plans may impact you, visit yeah. studentaid.gov. You know the way to cancel debt is to pay it back, to pay it off. Yeah, we got a radio day. Maybe I'll pick one up myself. I don't know. That dopey website. I don't know. Sign up. And somehow the government is going to take away. So Keith says darker now. Currently 1:53 p.m. I Central Daylight Time. You know, uh, it really reminds me of a. Uh, all right, it's 255. Old Soviet leader. Remember the Soviet Union? Leonid Brezhnev, Konstantin Chernenko, Yuri, and. So this is like my fourth one. They had these really ancient guys running the Soviet Union. This is my second one in uh, recent history. Gorbachev. This is my so second one in this millennium. He actually has the look and matter. In the 2000s, so in this is my way, second one. The resume of a my third, actually my third one. Uh, I know my first one was when I was a little boy. Apparatchik, I was. You know, and I remember that one vividly because they from, really got dark. From the city to the state to the. And then the, my the second the one might have been. Zero, and they just hang around long enough, and uh, maybe the nineties. It's, it's so interesting. Actually, I don't remember what exactly. His about. mannerisms. I'm gonna make a video. And about then, this, uh, for later. yeah, and then I think it was 2017, very, very and then this one. So this, I the probably corrupt my to the thoroughly corrupt Leonid Brezhnev. Although I don't know everybody. Was and then lunar eclipse. We had a few of those. Uh, still looks uh, lunar eclipse. We had a few of those. I'm being a bit of a stick in the mud when it comes to this stuff, but what are you gonna do? All right, Sandra, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Hi, Blake. I'm fine. I'm looking out the window. It's the same. Um, I just wanted to tell you that in my hand, I have the memory book from Harry Lorraine, thanks to you. So I have it. And uh, I, say, I heard that. I heard his tapes. Harry, Harry Lorraine. That's a memory power, I think. It's all about memory power. Who's, uh, who's uh, President 20? Let me remember. I got up saying it's uh, James Garfield. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm impressed, Sandra. Keep it up. Uh, Barbara's next. Hello, Barbara. 
Hi, Greg. I was glad to see that President Trump came out with his statement so that people know where he stands and how he is looking at the question of abortion and in vitro fertilization. Vivo! On the pro-life side, who are very critical Ain't you what of I what cup? he said. That, 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 that had a cup. He is firmly opposed in vitro fertilization, and he strongly supports that. Yeah, my weapon! Um, many pro-life yeah, yeah, weapon. also realize and have stated and already have said that what he said takes us in the right direction insofar as abortion goes. And okay, left, so uh, saying, oh, look, at the doctor's office, don't want to miss my call. See you soon, okay? Well, yeah, you don't want to miss your. Uh, and you're going to have to wait another three hours. The federal government has yeah, no I, 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 the I hate going, I hate waiting for that. I just. The federal government has no business. I need to go to the doctor's. I haven't went to the doctor in a while. Last time I went to the doctor was to get my ears cleaned out. Those politicians who are saying my ears, they cleaned clean down my ears, and I was like, "Wow, I can hear again." Federal guarantees on abortions for all women. I was like, "In the uh, using that line." Wow, that's been a while now, almost a year now. And vote because they do not have it in their power. To yeah, it was last the spring. Federal government does not. I went to the doctor, cleaned out my ear. Came out with a very because I had trouble hearing on one side. It was really I thought I had water in my ear or something. The exceptions that he is in. He cleaned it out. Us and my hair came back, boom! Children from these abortions, from these late term abortions, we must win elections. We must. I'm gonna wait till three o'clock on the dot, and I'm so glad go to use that word. I'll leave the Rudy Giuliani Christian sure. culture that protects life, and he made that point. And so pro-lifers looking at him have to remember we had him in office for four years. Look okay, Chow. I mean, you meant Chow. You said Chow. Look what he did to protect Chow. religious freedom and rights of conscience. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, I, I agree. My... Stephen was beautiful. Well, the video is not and coming out that good. It's perfect as well. I don't like this um, method. Is that so, the best? Wow, he's done so much. I need to. Hey, the, I, I, well, the lifers are not giving him the credit he deserves. To, to not this, not here, but another clip somewhere else. Maybe I'm gonna get the sun filter for my camera. It's better. Much better than this. Talk radio. This is not good. News first at 59 past the hour. 77 WABC News starts now. 77 WABC News first at 59 past the hour. 65 degrees, sunny skies on this. Nice, that's awesome. 65 degrees. Good yeah, afternoon. Monday. I'm James Flippin. Well, the total solar eclipse is expected to visit New York. Beginning at 3.16 this afternoon, so we're just about 15 minutes away. And then at around 3.30, the final exit of the moon's shadow from the Empire State will take place. Again, that is about 15 minutes from now. You want to have those safety glasses ready if you want to look up and see that total solar eclipse. Former President Trump planning yeah, to sue the judge in his alleged hush money case here in New York. The New York Times uh, says this is targeted at the judge's gag order as Trump has been charged with falsifying business records in an effort to cover up what prosecutors say was an alleged sexual encounter with porn actress Stormy Daniels. And prosecutors say that basically it should have been classified as a campaign expense since this took place back in 2016. Also today, Trump released a video representing his position on abortion and IVF ahead of the election. Yeah, I'm going to go outside now. This has been something Democrats have been attacking Trump on, including President I'm going to put it back on the window. Argued, a vote for Trump is a vote for a nationwide ban on abortion following the overturn of Roe v. Wade. But Trump's statement did not indicate he supports a nationwide ban. He said it should be a state's rights issue. But he did throw his support behind IVF and vitro fertilization. Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. And he went on to support Alabama's state Supreme Court and their decision to keep IVF available for families. Trump hit back against Democrats for their position on abortion. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth, and that's exactly what it is. The baby is born, the baby is executed after birth. 
Back in the tri-state, the aftershocks keep coming after Friday's earthquake. The MTA says workers searched subway tracks, walked bridges and tunnels all weekend, searching for any quake damage. And there was literally no impacts, no discernible impacts. None of those, those investigations continue with engineering professionals. Bridges and tunnels are designed for a much higher level of seismic activity than we received. Scientists say millions across the tri-state could build aftershocks for a few more days. I don't want to scare anyone, but it is possible there could be a, a Roger aftershock. The properties are just much lower. New Jersey has experienced nearly 40 aftershocks since Friday. Noam Layden, WEBC News. Nope, felt one of those aftershocks myself on Friday afternoon. Down in Maryland, following the bridge collapse, Governor Wes Moore says maritime operations in the port of Baltimore could resume as early as May. It is an aggressive timeline, but we are going to work around the clock to make sure that we hit this timeline. He's speaking there on CBS's Face the Nation. Moore said he doesn't know yet what the cost will be to rebuild the bridge and reopen the port. The bridge collapsed after being hit by a massive cargo ship late last month. One of its support pillars struck. The governor plans to visit Capitol Hill this week to discuss funding for the reconstruction of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And Moore has called for a collective and bipartisan response to the disaster from Congress. It's been just over six months as of yesterday since Hamas launched its terrorist attacks and took hostages in Israel. Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen wants the White House to lay out possible repercussions for Israel if it continues to fail to protect civilian lives in Gaza. The president has made requests to the Netanyahu government. They have ignored those requests and yeah. we've sent more 2,000 pound bombs. We cannot revert back to that. We have to make sure that when the president requests something that we have a means to enforce it. Van Hollem is also speaking there on CBS's Face the Nation. What's the best decade for music? Well, that depends. Music historians say the 60s were the best decade for popular music, although 40% of all Americans say the 80s were best. Psychology Today says the best music comes down to when you were in high school. They say music bonds to teenage brains differently than other times, and while high school might not have been the best for you, the music was. I'm Bree Tennis. WABC News Time 304, Sports, Weather and Wall Street, next. My garage is stacked to the rafters. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Is this going to cost a lot? The average garage clean-out is just $197. $197? No, no, no. I've got way more junk than that. Our trucks can haul off seven times as much as a pickup truck. If your garage fills up our entire truck, it could be as much as $497. Come and make this junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOD-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOD-JUNK.com. It's the 77 WABC Big Basketball Bracket Challenge. Now just two teams remain. UConn versus Purdue. Tonight's the night. A champion will be crowned. How are you doing against the WABC staff? Grand prize is $500. Sponsored by Ramsey Mazda. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. 77 WABC News, continuing the tradition of delivering the best radio news. 77 WABC, Chime Time 305 in sports, delayed a little bit by the Eclipse. The Yankees will host the Marlins tonight at 6.05. It was supposed to be uh, played around 2 o'clock this afternoon, but club officials worried people would damage their eyes while looking up at the Eclipse. For the Mets... Catcher Jerry Brody of the 1969 World Championship squad is dead at the age of 81. And tonight, down in Atlanta, this year's Mets will continue their road trip. Julio Tehran taking the mound for the first time for New York. That's a 720 first pitch. South Carolina's Gamecocks are the champions in women's college basketball. And John Calipari leaving the Kentucky Wildcats to take over the Arkansas Razorbacks in men's college basketball. On Wall Street, stocks are in positive territory. The Dow up. Eight points, and from the Ramsey Mazda weather desk, mostly sunny this afternoon. A high near 63. Calm winds overnight, mostly cloudy, falling to 49. WABC News Time 306. The Rudy Giuliani Show next. 64 degrees, skies clear in Midtown. I'm James Flippin, and the news never stops at WABCRadio.com. <laughs> Giuliani coming to you live from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. 
So what am I doing in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire? What I'm doing in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire is waiting for totality. It's not going to happen again in this neck of the woods until 2075. Um, anywhere close. Uh, all you people in New York are going through a partial uh, eclipse, which you're going to, which is going to reach its zenith about three, about three fifty. About 3.35. Here, it's going to get totally dark at about 3.28 and then remain that way until about 3.31. Right now, right now we're in a partial eclipse. And when I look up with the glasses on or with um, binoculars, basically I'm looking at uh, – Less than half of the sun. It looks, it looks like a. It looks through the binoculars and through all the different equipment we have here. It looks a bit like the moon, you know, at night when you have a half moon or a a, a, a quarter moon, or and it it is getting uh, much chillier. You know, temperature has gone down. It's it's a, it's a fairly warm and very sunny day here today, and it's gone. Temperature has gone down about. Uh, well, I'd say about probably 10 degrees with a wind it's, when it goes dark it's going to get even worse and um i don't know what's going to happen there are some there's a we've got a couple of dogs around and uh we'll see see how they react although i'm afraid to, uh, it might, um uh, ted might react more we've got we've got ted is putting wires in and stuff like that and and everybody's being very careful, you know, not to not to look up at the moon unless you have your glasses on. Uh, so I understand, unfortunately, in Texas, people were very disappointed because it was overcast. And if it's overcast, you can't really see it. You know, you don't you don't really you don't really see the con the tremendous contrast because right now, it's, even though we're just about twenty minutes away, right from total blackout it's still very sunny would you say ted is getting a little bit darker oh yes yes mayor i would say you know we're here in northern new hampshire the sun it's getting a lot colder it's getting darker but not in your typical uh set right in a typical sundown right. Right. way uh the lighting it almost appears it's a strange to light. Be, yeah, yes, take my glasses yes. off and look at you know usually dusk it's uh it is more of an orange tint right as so you're going unless you look at the That's sun, the case here. unless you look at the sun, uh, you wouldn't know yet. Because I was listening to Greg before, and he was getting all annoyed because that people were looking out the window and it was still sunny. Of course, of course, New York. I think you, you're experiencing about ninety or ninety-five percent partial uh, eclipse, meaning not the entire sun. Is going to be cut out just a, a big portion of it, um, but you will experience a, a darkening at about three, probably after we do. Where I'm going to experience total blackout at 3:28. Um, I think on Sunday, uh, Pete, uh, a little Pete Buttigieg uh, had a total blackout. I mean, it's, it's remarkable how. That administration or regime in Washington, it's remarkable to me, astounding how much they lie. This little nitwit went on TV and said, oh, he doesn't have any problem with crime in the, in the district. He walks his, he goes around walking his dog all the time, and there's a lot of funding, and he's, and that, it's, it's just the news out, outlets and Look, he doesn't know a damn thing about transportation. He was a horrible mayor of Green Bay. How the hell he became a candidate for president shocked the hell out of me. Because, you know, gosh, I know something about being a mayor, and Green Bay is not exactly the most challenging place to be a mayor. And he wasn't a particularly good mayor. No accomplishments of any kind. He spent missing mostly. I was in East Palestine. The day that he finally came and the mayor of East Palestine didn't even want to meet with him. He kept him waiting. He, he spent the next 45 minutes with me saying at least he learned something. 
I mean, he's a complete, complete idiot. And I guess they all feel empowered by Biden to just lie and lie. It's he feels very safe in the District of Columbia. You, you know, um, uh, <laughs> crime is going through the roof in the District of Columbia. While he was making the comments, Fox reports that a quadruple shooting uh, took place about six uh, miles away from the Capitol building. And um, he, he was probably doing the interview around around that area. About, so six mile, miles away, four people are getting shot. And he's telling people, oh, my goodness, it's really, it's really okay. Um the, the 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 oversight the house oversight committee uh, is um, uh, in a in a in a, in a uh, emergency status about what to do about the, the should they you know can they really govern themselves okay let's look at the stats you know I'm a Comstat person right homicides are up um, by 35 percent robberies by 67 percent violent crime uh, almost 40 percent in 2023 compared to the previous year. And now, um, as of April 8th, crime is up again this year. A 35% increase in homicide, a 67% increase in robbery. In a city as small as, you know, it's less than a million people, I think. Uh, my gosh, you feel it. So why is this? It's the same thing with Biden. The economy is fabulous. As you, uh, as you, you know, have to take out a mortgage to buy groceries. What? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the the border, uh, the border really is secure, according to liar Mayorkas and liar Biden, and uh, the, the, the Biden's mouthpiece, who, gosh Almighty, lies every day. So. Uh, we're getting closer. It's 3:13. It's going to be about 3:28 when we get um, when we get into um, total uh, uh, dark, darkness, and um, and and we'll let you know uh, what it's uh, what it's like. Uh, well, Mayor, we have a dog here, and of course the dog is now uh, crying. Yeah, and his head is down. So it is interesting. I think this is definitely impacting uh, the animals around us right now. Raleigh, our friend Raleigh, Raleigh, the, the beagle, and Raleigh, Raleigh and, me. and our the dog here has been Just whimpering and crying. Called him Raleigh, and appears to be Hi, definitely boy. confused as it gets darker and He's darker. His tail. Hi, good boy. Hi, good boy, so, Raleigh. So, Mayor, we're just about twelve minutes from totality, and it is definitely getting darker. No, no I'm cold, and much colder. I got a nice warm sweater on, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but. Uh, it's definitely getting colder. So I thought uh, President Trump, uh, I thought I, 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 his position on um, abortion has always, that's pretty much was his position in 2016 and pretty much his position in 2020, uh, which is states should decide. He is, uh, he is uh, pro-life with m modest exceptions. Uh, and his real focus is um, making sure that the barbaric uh, six, uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth months, you know, uh, of course, states have to decide that, but still, I, it really, I, I don't know, I guess people are afraid to say, how can you, how can you, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to speak for Trump, though, let me speak for me. I don't know how you can uh, deal with this seventh, eighth, and ninth month or a party that's in favor of that and encouraging it. That, that, I mean, think about it. To do an abortion of an eighth month old, what do you want to call it? An embryo? My cow, it's a baby. It's a human being. I mean, it, it used to always be double homicide. God forbid if a woman was killed with a, a, a baby that age in her womb. But, you know, you got to crush its skull. So I think his position, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand the backlash about this. Um, 
when there are so many more important issues uh, facing us. You know, um, if the Chinese want to attack us, there's no, you have no control over that. You got control over abortion. It's in your hands, you know. Uh, the, sa the same thing with the economy. When, when prices go up because you have a totally irresponsible government that's spending money, uh, like John McCain used to say, a drunken sailor, in this case, a drunken perverted crook. Um, you can't control that either. The only way you can control it is at the ballot box. So, um, so I don't, I don't see how this is going to be the major issue that turns around uh, this, this campaign, given the very moderate uh, position that Trump has on, on it. And let me see, Ra Raleigh's, come here, Raleigh. He wants to give me a little lick. What a good boy. He's still he's still doing all right, and we're at three sixteen. Uh, Ted, I can't I can't find Ted now. He may be under a table or Raleigh's I'm, doing well. Ted Raleigh appears uh, to be doing better. It's getting darker now, but again, as we said earlier, it's not the same as a usual sunset, isn't it? Uh, isn't it kind of odd that we're according to uh, the calendar, we're about uh, ten minutes away. And it's still kind of light out, really, at 10 minutes away. Don't you think, Ted? I do, and maybe that just – and now it's darker, even more significant. I'd say every 20 seconds, it's, you, it's kind of like, you know, if you have one of those lights that dim, yeah. it's getting dimmer and dimmer. But, again, I'm like a sunset. Yeah, I have my regular glasses on because I'm not looking at the sun. And the uh, and this is true even where you're in areas of partial eclipse. The, uh, the fact is that you can um, – just looking around is fine, but if I were to look up now at the sun, I would do serious damage to my eyes. Or if I were to take my camera and point it to the sun, I could do damage to both my eyes and the camera. So you have to, you have to put a, you have to put a uh, sort of a filter on both before you can do it. Well, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll I hope we still have some light. We'll see. The Rudy Giuliani Show. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Okay, we've got an hour to clean both cars. Grab the buckets. Cool. I picked up some 303. Their aerospace protectant is awesome, so we're going to try some of their other stuff. Grab me that bottle of wash. Whoa, that smells amazing. Yeah, that citrus is nice. Okay, now hand me the hose. Hey! <laughs> I don't see a bucket yet. 303 Car Care, driven by quality. Available at most auto retailers and Amazon. If you came across the... Attention, if you have Medicaid and live in New York and need assistance with daily living, you can receive a 100% free service and get help in the comfort of your own home by a loved one. Call Freedom Care now so you can receive daily help preparing meals, bathing, doing laundry, receiving transportation, and more. 
all done by a family member or friend that gets paid to be your caregiver. You get to decide who provides your care, and your caregiver gets paid instantly after their shift. It's all funded by Medicaid, so it's 100% free to you. Call in the next 10 minutes to see if you qualify. The Freedom Care family will explain the process, making it stress-free for patients and caregivers. Freedom Care is number one in New York and has received over 4,000 five-star reviews. They've been helping families for years. This service is 100% free to you through Medicaid. So call right now and see how fast you can get started with Freedom Care. Call 516-447-2106. 516-447-2106. Coming up at 3.55 p.m., listen to Rudy Giuliani for the Tunnel Towers Foundation Mayor's Final Thoughts on 77 WABC. In 2024, you get more. And Ramsey Mazda. More selection and more savings. Like a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 starting at just $29,942. Ramsey Mazda is the proud recipient of the 2023 President Club Award and the 2024 Cars.com Consumer Satisfaction Award. Visit RamseyMazda.com. Get more in a new Mazda from Ramsey Mazda. Choose wisely. Choose Ramsey Mazda. The views and opinions expressed by the individual hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the policies or positions of WABC Radio, its management, or its sponsors. Hey, folks, ready to wow your dinner? Say hello to Goya Yellow Rice. Your dinner's a new secret hero, ready in minutes, and bursting with an authentic blend of onion, garlic, and other flavorful Latin spices. Spanish style Goya Yellow Rice is the perfect match for your meat, fish, or chicken. Or try just the star ingredient to prepare a tasty shrimp paella. Find it in the Goya section of your local grocery store. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Every day you don't even know, but your privacy faces countless threats. Introducing Privacy from Connect to Mobile, your encrypted mobile phone fortress. With state-of-the-art end-to-end encryption, your data and phone calls are shielded. Plans start at only $35. Connect to Mobile servers keep no records of your calls or messages, and you can remotely lock or wipe your device for ultimate confidentiality. Call 844-903-0246. That's 844-903-0246. Visit phone123.com. You talk. We listen. Talk to me. Talk to me. Well, I am back uh, live uh, from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. It's 3.23 at approximately 3.28. The lights are going to go out. The moon is down to a sliver, a crescent-shaped sliver. And it is uh, uh, much colder. I'd say down 15 degrees now, maybe 10, 15 degrees. Uh, Intermittent wind. And our little dog, Raleigh, uh, who was fine up until now, is now uh, whimpering. And uh, he, he's being petted and taken care of and reinforced. But there's something about this. There's something about this that, uh, of course, this is a fairly mild reaction that Raleigh is having. And some, someplace one zoo, the animals went nuts. And, of course, this has been happening uh, for, for centuries, uh, way back in the early days when people didn't know what this was. Uh, I mean, there were all kinds of mythology about it and religious. Uh, one, one theory was that um, uh, an, uh, an evil spirit uh, swallows the moon, um, uh, that um, that it, it create a, swallows the sun rather and then they they create a new sun. And you can imagine back when no one all of a sudden it's sunny out. And even though it's gotten darker, you still wouldn't think the lights are going to go out. Uh, right now, it's getting even darker. It's very dark now. And it's getting very dark now. And and Raleigh is reacting appropriately. Is reacting appropriately oh. to it. He's upset. He's upset. The poor guy is upset. He's not. Uh, he's not. He's not happy about the, about the con, about the condition here. So. Um, I have a very, very hard time 
imagining that in New York, we actually passed a law allowing non-citizens to vote. I find it hard to imagine because right in the Constitution of the state of New York, they lay out the qualifications or, or, or the requirements to vote. One of the requirements is that you're a citizen. Number two, what's a country about if people who are not citizens vote? It loses all definition. And that's, isn't that, I mean, please understand that's what they want. This is what they're trying to do. Uh, we're at, the, 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 this is what the, 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 the um, whole Marxist uh, um, approach and the whole Marxist uh, uh, way of bringing down a government or bring out a form of government uh, takes place. They get, they get you in all ma manner and form to hate, hate, hate your culture, hate your history, hate your statues, hate your baseball and football teams, uh, hate, hate everything about America. What, what is American? And Soros, uh, you know, hates uh, American nationalism. Well, that's just that's just a, another that's just another part of it, and uh, all, all of these um, all of these uh, pr uh, protests are all focused on hating America, and the president himself, of course, plays a big role in this by saying that America is almost all racist. Well, right now we are we are about a minute away, and it is becoming extremely dark. Uh, in a very different way than it usually does, you know, it's getting, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like the lights are slowly going, it's like the lights are dimming, and they're dimming quite fast, yeah, I guess nobody paid the electric bill, that's what it looks like, I'm going to take a look at it one more time with the glasses, oh, this is great. very slow. There's almost no uh, no sun left now. It's a little teeny little pimple now, and pretty soon I'll be able to take these glasses off because it's going to be very dark. And while uh, when I come back, uh, maybe the lights will be on again. So we're going to take a short break while I take a little nap. Oh, listen to that behind me. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. We all know what UV rays can do to our skin, but they can also do damage to your car. Keep that from happening with 303 Protectant. 303 Protectant keeps the sun's harmful rays from causing fading and cracking in rubber, plastic, or vinyl surfaces. From the dashboard to the tires, 303 Protectant keeps your car looking new longer. Get 303 Protected today at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Visit 303radio.com for more information. This is Positively Ernie. Now, here's Ernie and Estes. And I'm here following stories in the news and what people are talking about with a positive viewpoint. You know, the sound of music, a lot of people love it. And music has been used to help a lot of people with anxiety and depression, chronic pain, and other disorders. Joseph Kuypers is a music expert. You've seen the power of music with so many people in the work that you do. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I'm a performing cellist, and I also teach and I organize various music events. Mm. Um, and, you know, dedicating your life to music and the performance of it, yeah. um, forces you to really get in touch first with yourself mm -hmm. and your own both body and emotions and the interconnections there, um, as well as uh, getting to know people and working mostly with people. Yeah, it's a powerful force. And, and, and now I understand there's a real demand for services from physicians and families and looking for more help. Tell us about that. And so I think All right, in the second it dark. really affects us on a very primal, uh, vulnerable core uh, level. Uh, and um, because yes. of that, it really goes to speak into the soul. Because of that, a lot of you know, large hospitals, so 
I grew up in Rochester, Minnesota. <laughs> WBZ, let me see if I can back up WBZ. WBZ. Nah, it's not much coming in right now. Because I got, you know, it's not going to be total darkness here. I just, it just passed. That's it. It, only get, it was only a tiny little crescent left. Tiny little crescent. Now it's lighting up again. It's getting brighter on the other side. So that's that. I don't want to see the other side. I got clouded out. Oh, that sucks, bro. Oh, man, that's not good. No, I got a couple of clouds, but I, I got to see it. So I, I got over here, I'm not going to get total. So I, I got the crest. It was a small crescent. It got dark enough out there. It felt like early evening. Now it's getting brighter here. It's getting brighter again. So, so it's just a crescent, and it's just gonna get bigger and bigger, and it's that's it. So he already, he already, he already did the totality of in Buffalo. Yeah, it was interesting. WBZ. I'm trying to see if I can listen to anything, but nothing. Let me try. Uh, 1020. Nah. 66 under mainly clear skies with some high clouds overhead, humidity 15%, and the wind southeast at 10. Yeah, crescent. Going down to 53 in midtown. Yeah, it's a uh, crescent of the sun. That's it. That's all I got. That's all we're going to get here, Tasso, is the crescent. So it's a, uh, yeah. Yeah, crescent. My son called it a croissant. <laughs> The croissant. <laughs> Let's see if our Julia Papa is doing a moon dance. She is standing by for us at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden where there is a... So two hours and 27 minutes in the book, seven people watching. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, at least you got to see it, you know? At least you can say, yeah, I saw... 2024, I was out there and I saw it. I looked out the window, whatever. My son got to see it. My neighbors are right there. They got to stay with watching it. My all my neighbors were outside. All my neighbors were out there watching it. It's a, it is amazing to watch it though. How the moon just passes by it. You know? That's cool, you know. That. So this is the moon, this is the sun. So it was a, it's, I guess it's a from the from west, so it's going from west to east. So the moon is going from west to east. What did you make of that? And now that it's sort of regressing, what's going on here? Pretty cool, though. It is cool, though. Now it's getting bright again. See, I'm done with it. Let's just let's just carry on. And now it's brighter out there. It's like one single petal, you know. That is cool, though. It is cool, though. I've been getting these great descriptions of petals. Somebody described it as an apple slice. Let me get my glass. I left them upstairs. Orange wine. That was Gary. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> and now people are at least, maybe so like else I just said, okay, game over. Let's go. But people, some people here are obviously still sort of enraptured. And as Susan said, listening to the birds and smelling this fresh grass. And just sort of commuting with nature here, Lori. <laughs> you know, really, that, that was yeah. peak, peak New York there a moment ago. She's done with the eclipse. She's that's it. <laughs> no, earlier you were looking for the plant lady. Did you find the plant lady to explain what happens when it gets dark and the plants get confused, or do they get confused? 
and I find the plant lady. I don't know where she went, but uh, we were hot on her trail, but never found her. But I think we found some great New Yorkers here instead. Laurie. <laughs> In, indeed. We hope the plants don't get too confused today. Our team coverage will continue in just a moment. Wins News Time 337. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet delivering fast and reliable speeds for just $39.99 a month. Plus free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G. Ask how you can get a Visa Rewards card up to $500 when you add more mobile lines. Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and mobile. Get it all with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com for full details. Offer subject change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Restrictions apply. Want to keep your gas-powered engines running like new? Staples proprietary formulas are proven by third-party testing to outperform the competition is keeping fuel fresh, preventing corrosion, and cleaning the entire fuel system. With Stable, you can have confidence you are doing the right thing for your engine's long-term health. Just pour into your gas can or fuel tank, then top off with fresh fuel. At every fill-up or when you store it, Starting with Stable. Available where fuel additives are sold. Hey, Mark, remember, getting help from Progressive is so easy. You can use the mobile app, chat with us online, or call us. And you pick now to tell me. I couldn't miss my race's ballet recital. Oh, thanks for reminding me, by the way. Did I? Because you know I'm always here for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can use the mobile app if I need help. Sorry, you're in my wife's seat, though. Oh, yeah, I gotta go anyway. <laughs> tell Grace, she nailed her chasse. Get the help you need from Progressive with our mobile app, online chat, or over the phone. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Wednesday time, 338. Now, 1010 wins entertainment. <laughs> She's got an Oscar, Grammys, and now Billie Eilish is getting ready to launch her new album called Hit Me Hard and Soft. It drops May 17th. She posted to social media, not doing singles. I want to give it to you all at once. John Mulaney has a new Netflix series on the way. John Mulaney presents Everybody's in L.A. Six live installments of the program. We're John Mulaney. Mulaney. He'll be exploring the city of Los Angeles with the first episode debuting May 3rd. Wednesday's time, 3.39. <laughs> Honey, is our car still under warranty? Uh, no, not anymore. My sister just got an extended service plan from Ox Car Care. Ox Car Care? Yeah, Ox will cover our repair bills if anything happens to our car, new brakes, a transmission, AC, or engine problems. Plus, Ox Car Care offers free oil changes, tire rotation, and roadside assistance. Wait a minute, we pay nothing on the repairs? Ox gets it fixed for us? Free oil changes, free tire rotation, and free roadside assistance? <laughs> What's the number? 800-230-3989. Ox has a 30-day money-back guarantee and an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They handle their claims from start to finish, unlike other warranty companies. We should call now. 800-230-3989. The last thing we need is an unexpected car repair bill. I'm calling Ox Car Care now. Call Ox Car Care. I'm sorry. I had to heat up a burrito for him real quick. Ask about senior and military. All department. right. Uh, major car repair bill. Call Ox Car Care. All right. Two three zero three nine eight nine or OxCarCare.com. All news, all the time. Now on ninety two three and the news watch never stops. This is ten ten with. Yeah, it's getting brighter again. Yeah. Three FM. You give us twenty two minutes. We'll give you the world. My TV though, but this TV, the one that I found, this one, that's a 42 inch. The tuner is not that good. Yeah, we got 90%. That's what we got 90%. We have another 18 minutes or so of a yeah, my son wanted to come inside. I said, okay, let's go. All right. Uh, that's where it started in the Cook Islands. Uh, let me turn this off for a bit. So I started in the Cook Islands in the Pacific. And then it worked up to Mexico and then, of course, here. Now it's going out to uh, Maine and in New England. And I forgot where else it goes. Yeah. Then that's it. Maine and New Finland. 
and that's it. And then basically to uh, Greenland, I guess, Greenland. So let me read these comments here. Okay, you're talking about the yellow radio day coming up in June. You're talking about Discord here? Okay. Uh, maybe I already went through all this. Okay. So King and DS are just tuned around medium wave. Uh, my C Crane CC Skywave SSB 1070 WD IA Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, that's a new catch. Wow. Nice. But you got totality. So that's your thing. And so that's why over here, I, we didn't get total. We only got partial. We didn't get 100% uh, coverage. It didn't get dark. We didn't get that. So I guess that's why it's not going to affect us. Uh, the, you know, I tried, the, I tried a couple of stations. Now. And Bobby said he got clouded out. Oh, that sucks. That blows. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, that was nice. It was nice. It was nice. It's brighter. Yeah, it's brighter now. It's, it's getting brighter here. This, so a crescent shape, the shape of a crescent moon, but it was a sun. Yeah, Tassel. <laughs> crescent like a smile. Yeah. So. And uh, watching, Tassel says he's watching. Uh, King said their graphic says Max Eclipse 329. Coverage ninety two point four. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think we got. Well, she said we got now. Now we got about ninety percent. Uh, Tasha is watching coverage on WABC TV channel seven. That's a local affiliate. Yeah, ten people watching. Thank you for watching. Two hours and thirty six minutes in the books. So we're now we're on the other end of uh, the moon going by the sun. It's actually getting brighter now. So, but it was fun to go out there with my son, especially with my son, you know, because uh, you know, as a kid, I didn't get to do all these things, you know. So it's good to share that with my son. My my wife is at work, so she's over there with her coworkers. They were uh, doing, you know. King this on my local WABC affiliate KHOG Channel 29 Fayetteville, Arkansas. They have uh, ABC News coverage. Okay. I uh, got WTAM briefly. Heard talk about the Guardians, which are in Cleveland. Okay. Oh, so you got you got DX too. Okay. T Ray. Wow, nice. Heard talk about the Guardian, which is in Cleveland. Recorded 1110, but I don't know if that's WBT. I don't know if I got W. It could be WB, uh, BT. Uh, Charlotte. Also got CJBC A60 during the eclipse. Okay, cool. Wow. Yeah, I was out there. So by the time I came back here, plus this receiver, the uh, HD receiver is a little wide. There's no, there's no bandwidth filters to make it narrow, so I didn't really try, you know. But that's cool. Even at 92%, you got something. Okay, cool. Well, okay, so uh, that's cool. Wow, nice. Oh, oh, you're welcome, Keegan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And uh, WCVB coverage from Woodstock, New Hampshire. Cool. Uh, Mary Dears, I am still here. Been watching the Nassau live stream. Who has, uh, who have, who have great coverage? Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice catch. Even at ninety-two percent, that's pretty good. Can you hear me? Earlier, I heard a station under my local ten thirty K F A Y Favor Arkansas, but two each identify. Yeah. I heard a couple of it here, but it's not much. I, you know. Because I was out. I said, let me just be out. I want and I wanted to spend it with him and watch it out there. But I was thinking about originally, I was thinking about putting the SDR. I was thinking about doing this live stream with the SDR. 
And I would have left it on a station, on an open station where I know, because SDR is better than the HD tuner in terms of, you know, meeting with the, X, the Xer. So I probably would have better luck with the SDR than that. But I, you know, it's okay. But I'm glad people, I, I, got, I got, I got, I'm glad people, I got a couple of people got some, some catches. That's cool. So like daytime DX. Daytime medium wave DX. The solar eclipse edition. <laughs> yeah. So right now, right now, Boston, it should be. Let's see. I can get a version of it. I can try it. Your thoughts on this and being here? Yeah. You're up in Boston. Denver dropped the ball. Anyway. But that was cool, though. That was bright. Now the sun is out there. That was bright. Group of descriptions, what a great group of people they were enjoying the day out here at Brooklyn Botanical Garden. That was cool. That was cool. Tomorrow gonna be 70 here. This afternoon during the eclipse. I'm gonna be working out there. I was thinking about putting up that antenna tomorrow. This one. But I'm not going to have time to go to the roof. The, uh, FM antenna. <laughs> AliExpress $10 antenna. So this is going to be my uh, one of my FM antennas. So I'm going to put this one and the uh, FM loop. I'm going to have these. Uh, yeah. The $10 antenna. I put it together. Yeah, it's, it's, it came in a bag. It comes with uh, with some RG174. You know, how many feet? It's about 30, 30 feet of it. So it comes with the coax too. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna but I wanna point this one south. I'm gonna point this south. Because I'm not gonna have I don't have a rotor for this stuff. I'm gonna have this one fixed pointing south just to see what I pick up. And then the folded dipole, I'm gonna point that one. Toward the city, but I want to point this one south. See what happens. So, and I'm going to hook this one up to the uh, the folded dipole is going to go to the receiver, but this one is going to go to my SDR. I want to add this one to my SDR, and because I'm because you know I'm, I'm gonna leave it on. A, I, I, I may I may do live stream where I'm gonna leave it on an open. FM station and leave it on there for, for a couple of hours or so, see if it picks up anything. I'm going to try that too. So I want this one dedicated to the SDR. Just to see what happens, you know? So I want to put it right above the roof here, but I want to get it closest to the windows possible. I don't want to run too long of a line. So maybe 50 feet. If possible, straight into the SDR. 50 feet. So, yeah. Yeah, my buddy, this is the $10 Yagi Television FM. 
Uh, it's aluminum. It, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Actually, I can use it for parts. If this one falls apart, I can still use this uh, this part. Maybe I can make a. Uh, there's some parts to it that I can probably salvage if it doesn't. If it has the mount. Yeah, something in South. See if I get Cuba or something, you know? Mexico, Florida, Puerto Rico, who knows, you know? Dominican Republic, Haiti. <laughs> With the SDR, though. I mean, this one is for the SDR. So there you go, $10, bro. AliExpress, ten dollars. You can't go wrong. It's, it's kind of small though. And they said it was amplified. It's not amplified. I knew it was amplified. He's not amplified. There goes the uh, seventy-five ohm connectors right there. So he's not amplified. So I got this one, and then of course, you know. And then there's going to be the other one, the folded dipole. So I'm going to have them both on the same pole, more like the same pole. Then I'll point this one to uh, New York City over there, whatever, or, you know, some. Or maybe the opposite. Or point it west. There's a folded knife. So I think I point it. And then. So this one will be the top hat. And then that one will be. And they share the same pole. I'm going to share the same pole on both of them. I'm going to be like. Space them apart. I have a pole in, in, in the border room. So. Uh, uh, galvanized uh, steel pole. Put them both in. And of course, it's the TV antenna that they say not to buy. <laughs> it's like a laser gun, right? <laughs> Starship Troopers. <laughs> so, uh, 1030 WBC coming in pretty good, but I get that. Yeah, me too. I get that pretty good. Yeah, I get that often. Yeah. 53 degrees tonight. We've got everything you need to know uh, about the solar eclipse in our area. And we'd love to hear from you. Make sure you share your photos and stories with us at 1010winds.com. Yeah. News time 355. Attention 9 11 cancer victims. All downtown workers, residents, and students who spent any time in lower Manhattan between. Yeah, this TV out there, I'm going to hook that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of those Linux boxes. I have one upstairs. I should just bring that one down and hook it up here. I got all this mess here because I, I I got a little water the other day and I pumped it out. I had a little bit of I had a little puddle here the other day. So that's the TV that I found in the trash uh, a few weeks ago. It's a 42 inch RCA. So right now I hooked up my security camera to that. Let me um. Let me put this back over there since now the uh, eclipse is over. Down three. S&P 500 down three. 
A showdown in the luxury business is happening at the corner of Fifth Avenue and Fifth Avenue. My security system is hooked up to this now. The rival LVMH has been in talks to a client. Like the one I found in the trash. Owner Caring and 42 inch. Have recently bought buildings nearby. Rolex is building a headquarters. RCA. And Tiffany's new renovated store is at Fifth. So I got four cameras on that one. So I think I'm going to hook up a, 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 either. I, I got one of says, but I'm thinking about getting a newer Linux box. Maybe I got one of those O&M boxes and hook it up there. That way you can watch those feeds there. So when I do live stream down here, I can just point it there. You know? For right now, local channels on this is not that good. Remember, I, I can show you. Let me switch the uh, the tuna that's built in here is not good. Yeah, yeah. All right, disconnected it. No say no. One simple phone call can resolve your tax problem and save you thousands of dollars. To see if you qualify and to get this important free information. Oh, I got the wrong antenna. Okay. No, man, I got the wrong antenna hooked up to it. Yeah, I got the wrong. I, 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 give it a few minutes. I'll fix it. I had the. Uh... No, that's not a TV stand. That's a coffee table. That glass table, that's a coffee table. That's an old coffee table. That's not a TV stand. So that's, that's a coffee table. Yeah, I had that for 20 years. Well, my wife, I mean, my wife had that. That That's a, that's a coffee table. That's not even a TV stand. Yeah, it looks like a TV, but it's not. It's a coffee table. It has a big glass. The, other, the reason why I like it, it has thick glass on the top. It can hold that TV. I had a 55 inch on top of that table and it held it. Oh, see, oh, oh it is working. So this is the only time I pick up clearly right now. That tuner is not the best tuner though. Yeah, that that's not the best tuner though for that. Yeah, it's hooked up with the uh, over over the air, but the tuner that's built in there is not the most sensitive tuner. I did channel scan and I only got a few channels on it. So I'm I I'm thinking about bringing it to you. Know, maybe I should bring the other box down and hook it up right now. See it. Hmm. I'll be right back. Let me see if I do that. I, I I'll go. Let me go get the other um the tuner, the one that I use for the Super Bowl. That's my best tuner. Maybe I'm gonna hook it up and see what happens. This is Andrew Bloomberg split finish for the market today. Closing down 10 points as that closing up five. This is 10 10 wins at 923 SF. New York. Welcome, Bell. He's a wake up call. 63 degrees and sunny at 4 o'clock. I'm Larry Mullins. And here's what's happening this afternoon.
hours, you took photos, and we'd love to see them. Drop a few off on our social media so we can enjoy them too, and particularly those of us who were inside doing the news and couldn't get out in every way. Since uh, we're we'll exactly with a clear and mild tonight with a low of 53 degrees here in Central Park. Christmas time, Carl Warren, and from your Mercedes Benz event at the .com traffic center. Now I have expanded traffic, and here is Greg Wright. Now we have had our problems in Portland all afternoon during the day. All right, I got this one. Let me try this one. See, this is a better one. The View TV AT model AT163. This is the best. This is the best tuner that I have. Over the air. This is the best one. It's the most sensitive one out of all of them. I'm going to hook it up and do a channel scan with this one. So let me. um. HDMI, let me hook it in. Let me disconnect this co-op from here. From the Meadowbrook to the Wontaw L line or Southern, they won't be perfect, but they will be at least a little bit better for you right now. And that's not nothing for New Jersey. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is not even the co-op. Major issues at this point. Nobody needs a bit slower right away than it should. Nah, I don't want to use that one. I don't want to use this one. The single draw operation. And subway delays in the 245A and Rockaway shuttle lines. I'm Greg Wright. Yeah, yeah, I want to use this one. Well, that was an indoor antenna. That chat, that channel was with the indoor antenna, with the flat antenna. That wasn't even the one on the roof. Wow. Let me um. I need a I need a coax cable. Damn, I need a coax cable. Hold on. And I got a mess here, man. I need to fix this up. I've been getting the puddly here. That's why I have it. Until I fix that issue, I'm going to be like. Island, it could be a little bit cooler in the low 60s, but some New Jersey suburbs could actually approach 80. Back here, Terry, this was truly a once in a lifetime event. The eclipse that is, and our team was able to catch it all with two or three thousand of their closest friends. They began this hour at the Brooklyn. Let me try this cable first. And when reporter Julia Pop is standing by live, what are they saying and what's the reaction? They give it to us. Oh, well, you know, Y'all want to watch me do this? Okay. Sorry, excuse the mess here. So let me hook up this here first. Actually, what am I doing? That's going to be the AC line. Uh, so originally it was hooked up with this one. It's a flat antenna. Remember that one? But now I want the one from the roof. It goes here. How do you like that orange peel, apple slice, half man? Somebody described it as a little mini body bell. And then this goes to the the receiver. Um, I've been darker here, Larry, and it did get chillier, uh, but still just gorgeous, surrounded by the flowers. And Larry Mullins, oh, yeah, uh, so 10 10 wins. Thousands of people here. Okay, now the AZMI gonna go in the AZMI gonna go in. Um, let me see which one I'm gonna do. Oh, sure. I don't want to hit the screen.
right there you go. Ugh. It's Stevie weighs a ton. It's 57 pounds. All right, now I plug this on outlet. Uh, okay. I got to get the extension right here. You say my bacon, baby. Us nerds, we make messes. This is a nerd mess. Okay, so I got the extension right here. So let me hook that up. There we go. And then now we got electricity, baby. All right, let me put my glass in. Let me change the input. Yeah, when you do that thing again, do it. Go ahead. All right, Sarah, sing it with me. The party is over. The party is over. Woo! Is what she said. I tell you what, thank you, Marla Diamond. Hey, see my two, okay. Listen, everybody. So the path of totality. So let's go. Oh, so that's WCB. Okay. Yes, pixelate already. WCBS. Let me talk the TV toward. I'll do a scan, but it's not that good right now. All right, careful. I don't want to put too much pressure on the glass and glass blows up and it's holding a lot of weight. So let me do a new scan. Let me go to a menu. Uh, let's see. Menu. Let me go to. Uh, yeah, I know that wouldn't be good. We're gonna do auto search. Okay, again, auto search. So now we're gonna do a scan. Let me try. I found a whole bunch of channels already. Okay, let me. I gotta get closer there. Let me. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Yeah, I need to pick up this. But I follow me. I had so I had a couple of flooding here recently, and that's why I had I had all this thing nice set up. But now. I can get closer. So I got 25 channels so far. I'm trying to get this thing closer. Let me um oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to get this table closer that way you can get a better. And let me do some housekeeping here. So you can see it better. There we go. That looks better, right? Bear with me. I gotta they got radius. I gotta take all these radius back upstairs. All right, so I got 60. What? 63. 69 channels? Nah, bro. <laughs> but they're not going to be clear, though. That's the problem. So 69 channels and two audio channels. But a lot of them are going to be um, pixelated. That's the problem. I might do another scan, see if we get all <clears throat> the one by the window? No, that's a, that's a that's a Protron. I, that's another garbage find. No, this is with the outdoor antenna. This is outdoor antenna. It's not an indoor antenna. This is with the outdoor antenna.
So it's going to be 69 channels and two audio channels. So that's what the outdoor antenna found. Yeah, no, no, the indoor channel wouldn't find that many, no. But of course, they're going to be pixelating a lot of them. Look, this is going to start with CBS, you see? It's not going to be that good. I'm going to go through the, I'm going to do a channel scan. So you see, it's already, uh, that's not good. So let's go through them. Let's see how, um, yeah, you see? It picks it up, but they're not strong enough to keep the picture. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but it recognizes that. So it is a good tuner, I told you. It's a good tuner. I think if I had a better antenna, you know, and I can't put it, I can't put it any more higher. You see? A lot of them are, plus I have, I have also, I have, uh, they're combined. I have four antennas combined. So I think the multi-path is messing it up. That's why I want to, I want to have one good antenna now. I think it'll be better. I think a lot of this is multi-path too. Because I, I gotten them before. And I think also maybe instead of using 75 feet, I may use 50 feet because I'm losing the signal with the with the cable line. Remember that with the the long cable, uh, the long coax, you lose signal strength. And I have a preamp, so you know that's the problem. This is my dilemma. So it's it recognized the. I, I get the carrier, you know, I get the signal, but it's not strong enough to 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 to, to stay, you know? Let me see. Catchy. What the I, I all these channels I haven't heard. I haven't done a scan in a while of catchy. That's a new channel. Catchy. <laughs> catchy TV. So this is WABC. WABC looks good. Uh, let me go get some water. Oh my God, what happened here? Who? What the hell was that? So that's ABC Seven. Uh, let me get my water. I don't want to get hit with a copyright, so let me do this back. Yeah, let me move fast. Oh shoot, let me go. No, 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 no. I don't want to get hit with a copyright, and they shut down my stream. I can't keep it on one channel for too long. Okay. Uh, this TV looks good, though. The picture is good on the TV. Right? I mean, even it's pixelated, but I thought the TV's not bad. Oh, okay, so catchy comedy is formerly known as Decades. So it's classic comedy like I Love Lucy. Okay, t thank you, uh, Michael. All right. HSN. Oh, okay. WOR. WWOR. Yeah, see, I'm getting that in and out. See? It's, uh, yeah. Not the best signal there. Let me move on. Pix 11. Yeah, Pix 11, sometimes I get it. Okay. Pix 11. Oh, these people, look, everybody was looking at that. That's the, that, I think it's crowded. That's that building with the glass. What's the name of that building with the glass uh, that sticks out of the building? You saw how crowded it was? Wow. Three hours and eight minutes in the books. Eight people watching, 11 likes. Thank you for watching. I'm just doing a TV scan. I found this TV of, uh, a uh, little about three weeks ago, I made a video on this TV on my Danny's dumpster dive. It's a 42 inch RCA TV, it's in good condition. Of course, I don't have the remote for this, so I got it hooked up to uh, 
the UTV tuner right now. I'm just going through the channels. I'm you know seeing the but the picture is good on this TV. Okay, uh next channel. So I, so I skip. So it didn't pick up channel 13. So I'm still missing channels. Okay. So channel 13 is not picked up at all. Okay, so 15 is uh this channel. W E P T. 21, create, of course, uh, 21, this is, so I'm missing the 21.1, and uh, yeah, I'm missing, a, and then, of course, 24, Wasa, this is uh, a Spanish, Wasa, and they also have a Chinese channel, I think, is it? Well, anyway, there's a whole bunch of Wasa, 25, of course, is uh, NYC. Uh, New York Life, whatever it's called. And white gov. Yeah, um, I need I, I need to upgrade my antenna. I think the antenna and the cable cable is degraded. Yeah, the MYE, yeah. Then it goes to Me TV. Me TV is okay. And see uh, Yeah, I'm definitely gonna upgrade my antenna. Grit. Laugh. The world according to Jim. Yeah, it's funny. I I, I still like watching this one. <laughs> this one is funny though. <laughs> she was from Mad TV, right? Yeah, I remember her from Mad TV. Yeah, I remember her. I forgot her name. That's what she was on Mad TV. Yeah, she's funny. <laughs> mystery. I am mystery. Okay. Nest. What is Nest? American Justice. So I guess it's some crime stuff. Uh, story TV. I remember that. I like Story TV. That's what the History Channel used to be like. All right? It's story TV. So this one, it's not bad. The TV, the picture's good on this one. The signal's not that bad. A little pixel in here and there, but it's not that bad. Kimberly Williams Paisley. Okay. He was on Mad TV, right? Yeah, I remember her. As Dana on According to Jim. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Keegan. Yeah, that's me. I need to unclog my liver. <laughs> I need to flush out that crap. <laughs> me TV Plus. Okay. Uh, Story TV again. 37.1. This one is actually better. This is one of my better signals. This one. See, this one, the signal is pretty good on this one, as you can see. Yeah, Mad TV. That's why that's why I recognized her from Mad TV. Yeah, Mad TV. I remember that's when I, when I saw her right away, I remember Mad TV. Uh, 41, of course, it's Spanish. This is, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Univision? Yeah, Univision. Univision. Forty-one point two is bounce. Uh, N V S N. What is that? I don't know what that is. What is that? What is this channel? Nuestra, oh, okay, that's, that's probably religious. Nuestra Vision. Okay. So that's what NV stands for. So it looks like a Mex uh, Spanish, probably from Mexico, uh, you know. Yeah, Spanish. WKOB. 
This is a uh, Latina kids. Okay, this is Spanish. Spanish. And this is what? What is this one? What is this one? Uh, this one is really pixelated. Yeah, this one is really struggling. Another WKOB. This is a. Uh, what is this one? Yeah, see, a lot of them are really bad with the signal, see? So it picks up the carry up, but it doesn't mean it's going to get a story TV again. So I got three, three story TVs, 43-1 against story TV on this one. And then Me TV Plus again. And then Me TV again. And then uh, retro, retro TV. Yeah, I, I I'm definitely gonna get a bigger Yagi directional for this. I think that will really get me over the hump. Forty-three point, uh, forty-three nine is heart. Forty-three twelve is E M L W. I think this is a. Uh, is this religious? I can't make out this one. I don't know what this one is. Forty-seven, of course, is uh Telemundo. Telemundo. And then forty-seven point uh, forty-seven that's two is Teleexitos. Spanish. Then we have WRNN 48. Then we got 48-2. Uh, That's, uh, you know, the T T TBD. They have, like, Wipeout. You know, they have all these. Uh, see, Wipeout. It was, it was, see, the signal strength is not the best. He's, like, halfway. You can see the signal strength right here. It's like the bars are like halfway. When it, you'll see it when it pops up. See the signal strength. So it's not like fifty percent. You you really need about seventy percent, give or take. So this one is not the forty-eight dash three. The three hundred and sixty-five. That one has a better signal strength right now. But I think, uh, yeah, I think that's. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's a very weak. 48.4 is outlaw. Forty-eight five is QVC two. They see that uh, you know. I I need a I need a bigger. I think the antenna and the and the line. 49.1 is W-E-D-W. So that one is, uh, is that Connecticut? Connecticut Public. Is that Connecticut Public uh, Television or something like that? I think so. 63. So you got Merit, uh, whatever the hell it is. And I never heard of these channels in the merit, whatever. Scripts. 632 is scripts. So that's like a news channel. And then uh 634 is Chinese, Sinovision. 635 is another Chinese channel. Okay, so that's Kinetic Public, uh, Connecticut, Kinetic. <laughs> that's wrong with me. Yeah, Connecticut Public Television. Okay, thank you, Michael. Yeah, because I, I, I know the radio station had the same call sign that I picked up, that I picked up with my uh, tuna. So this is Chinese, uh, to, to Chinese. This is, uh, what is this? 63.1, what is this? Shop HQ. Then I have Aliento, 
So that is a religious, Spanish religious, or family oriented programming. And then Telefutura or WFUT, is Spanish. Now, the signal on this one is not that bad. This one, I usually get it okay. And then, of course, the Crime Network. The Crime Network, or the uh, True Crime Network, excuse me. And then, last but not least, Get TV. And that's it. Then I go back to CBS. So I picked up quite a few, 79, I mean, 69 channels. But of course, uh, you know, when they're, they're like this, you know, because now the trees are getting foliage on there, so it's really blocking the signal. But I need a, I need a better. Uh, I need a better. I need a better antenna. So, but I don't, I, I don't want to pull the trigger on the television. It's too expensive. It's out of my budget right now. I saw one that looks like the Televis. And it's uh, like $65 on eBay. It looks like the, the Televis one. It's called That Boss. But it's a clone. I don't know if I should get that one. Or well, I should get the RCA one. The... Uh, the Yagi. All right now I have a mess up there. I have a whole I have a few I have four antennas up there. They're all omnidirectional. They're useless. They all the omnidirectional is useless for here. Because I I'm what I'm what we call two edge. If I go to TV Fool or Rabbit Ears or Merritt Street, that's right. Oh, okay, Merritt Merritt Street Media, okay. Um, oh, so that's Dr. Phil's that okay. Wow, okay. So, so right now I have four omnidirectional antennas, and you know, and they, they're hooked up to a combiner, then it goes to a preamp. It's a mess. I think that's too, too, too much. By the time the signal gets here, it's already, it's already even with the preamp. I'm already working on a signal. It's quite a bit of a signal loss. Enough for this to happen. Because I remember years ago when I only had the RCA. I had RCA, but it was damaged. You know, it was from where I used to live at before. You know, I, I went back and I went, you know, and I, I brought everybody. That one is, is kind of damaged. I just had a pointing to New York City, and that one I did pretty good. You know, because the problem with digital... Either you get it or you don't get it, and if and if when it, and if you don't get it 100, percent you're gonna get pixelated. That's it. It's unwatchable. So it does pick up the signal, but in terms of you know giving me the the station, but you can't watch it. So I'm thinking a more directional antenna with more gain. Uh, get rid of the preamp. No preamp, just the antenna. Shorter cable line, maybe, and because the problem is I have interruptions right here with the preamp power up there with the preamp itself. So I already have. I think if I just put a good directional antenna straight into this box, I think it'll be a lot better. And maybe even quad shield, uh, coax. I don't know the one that I have up there. I don't think that one is quad shield, but I have to check. But that's already been up there a few years, so I'll just get a new cable. So maybe I'll do that. I'll get 50. Yeah, it's all or nothing. So maybe I'll get a 50 feet of uh, 50 feet. The antenna all the way here through the window. Because before I had to go around and all that. No, I have a hole over here. I what else did I bring it through? The window. I'll use the window pass through. Or if I can, if I take out the old one, I can get it through there straight into the box. I may have to try that and see if that works. You know, I 
Like I, I can try the Amazon thing. Y'all want to see the y'all want to see the fire stick with this? Say yes if you want to see the fire stick. It's right there. Just plug in the fire stick, and I could. I'll show you what apps I have in there. If you want to see, if y'all want to see that, I'll, I'll do it right now. The Amazon Fire Stick with a couple of the uh, <clears throat> apps. That way you can see the apps. But I'm not gonna mention them by name. I'll just show you. I want to see how the picture is here. So let me know if you guys want to see it. Because <laughs> if, you know, uh, I, I, I don't have the, uh, oh, yeah, I do have that one. Do I have one, right? Let's see. Because there will be a couple of, uh, Amazon Fire Steak right here, and a couple of these guys are going to be in there. And uh, you see what they are. If my live stream gets cut off for any purpose, that means they shut me down. So let me go get it. I need, I need a power source because it needs USB power. And okay, be right back. I want to see the picture quality on it. That's why I want to see that. Okay. So this is the Amazon Fire Stick. No, and I shut down the stream. Get shut. But I don't know. This is a Fire Stick. So this is the HDMI. HDMI. Fire Stick. And, of course, uh, you need power. USB. Um, that TV is older. It has a USB in it, but I don't want to trust that with the power. I'm going to use the external power. I'm going to hook it up, then I'm going to put that input and see what we get. No, I'm not going to put nothing, uh, you know, it's not going to be nothing like that. But I just want to show you, I want to see the picture on it. I want to see a clear picture on this thing. With uh... So first thing is first, let me, uh... I want to do it without moving it. I don't want to move this thing too much. All right, there you go. That was pretty. That was pretty quick. Okay. Let me plug this in. All right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, sorry about that. Man, I'm, stre I'm stretching this cord to the limit. That's why. All right. Let it boot up. <laughs> let me get the remote for the uh, fire stick. No, I'm stretching the cord out to the limit. That's why. So there's the remote for the fire stick. So right now I'm booting it up. I just plugged it in. So what the hell happened here? This. So this is a fire stick. Um, the, my, my 55 inch in the next room is a Roku TV. So it's booting up right now. So this is the uh, Fire Stick. Of course, you got a YouTube. Uh, you got a YouTube app, of course, on there. So I can you can watch YouTube on this, whatever. Um, let me go down here. So this is one of the apps that I use.
I'm not going to say the name of them. You can see the name on top, right? That's the name of the app. Okay? I'm not going to say the name of them because I don't want to risk, but I'll show you them. This is uh, another one. This is YouTube, of course. I can say that one. These are just players. All right. <laughs> the one I use a lot is these two. I use this one. When I want to watch something. <laughs> I use this one when I want to watch some TV. So let's go to this one. It's loading right now, so that's why you see it like that. Okay, let's see. So you got um, all these countries. I'm not going to I'm not going to say any names just you know you can look at them I might go to one but uh, let me see So this has tabs on the top see entertainment 24/7 news it has all sorted by countries too uh, Arabic These are all entertainment channels Okay, these are channels. Okay, you know, these are channels. So this is one of my go-to ones. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. This is, it takes a while. Okay, slowing down now. Okay, that's the bottom for entertainment. So let me go back up top. Uh, Bobby, are you familiar with this? So on ONN, you can use these. They have these uh, apps for ONN, and the, the Linux box. You can. 24-7 uh, channels are here. Let's see what's there. So you have this stuff. I'm not going to scroll down. On, yeah. So this is, I'm not going to scroll down this one. Uh, news, sports. Yeah, UK TV. Um, you can let's see. You want to see? Let's see what's on. No, 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 sorry, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, sports. Let's see what sports. Uh, from what countries? Of course, you have these. Uh, you know. I'm not gonna go in them because I I will get shut down. So, believe me. <laughs> so this is sports, okay? Um, you know, I'll go a step. Let me let me go down here. Let me do the sports. 
Okay, so United Kingdom sports right there. That's the sports of United Kingdom. Uh, Arabic. Turkish. Okay, so there you go. I don't want to go in them because uh, I will get the uh, proverbial hammer. So you get the you get the the gist of this. Um, they don't always work. Uh, I'll show you. Well, I'm not gonna go. For example, if I go here, right? I click on that. Sometimes they give you multiple links. Right? Uh, you know, link one, link two. Sometimes they have more than sometimes they have a whole bunch of them. You go in there, then you gotta pick the player. So let's pick this one. Then you gotta pick what player you have. Our most common one is the MX. Let me, let me put it closer. Can I get I can't get any closer? I'm trying to focus on this one. Okay, looks better there. MX player. Android player, you got all these other players, okay? There's a whole bunch of them. VLC player, you see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not going to select them because I don't want to go in that one. So let me back out. You understand? Some of them have multiple links. And uh, sometimes they work. Sometimes they work for a few minutes. Sometimes they work for a couple of hours. Sometimes they don't work. Okay? Uh, you understand what I'm saying, right? Uh, let's go to... Uh, let me see. I see something. Uh, anyway, let's go back to... Uh, so entertainment is your, you know, your network channels. Okay, entertainment, for example. Uh, you know, my wife, she watches a lot of... Uh, my wife watches these channels a lot. Like, she'll watch this one. show is all about that not about drama okay so <laughs> i'll just show that clip that's it so she sometimes she'll watch that one she'll watch the, uh this one those are the channels that she watches okay and of course you know i'm not going to put any of the u.s ones uh but they're there you can see they're all there you know, you have like, uh, you know, these are, of course, these are like the uh, ABC. This is not the local. This is the national. So you, you know, sometimes it's on one particular market. I don't want to name the market sometimes. This is not going to, sometimes it's not going to be New York. Sometimes it's going to be another ABC affiliate and so on. You understand? NASA TVs right here. I think that one we can, uh, I can put that one. NASA, because that's a public, uh, that's a free public domain one that people. So that's uh yeah. So this one doesn't doesn't have the link right now. See. Uh, let me try the second one. Maybe I'll get the second NASA. Sometimes I don't get it. Yeah. So NASA. But of course, this one you can watch it on YouTube and all. That. Yeah. So this one is uh. So this one the the they're not working right now. Okay. So you as you can see, sometimes they. They do, sometimes they don't. <laughs> All right? So there you go for that. If you go to news, of course, you have... Uh, let's see what we have for news. Yeah, this is all Pakistan, Pakistan. Pakistan seems to have a lot of stuff. Of course, India. India. International is, uh, you know, RT, France 24, 
Of course, USA is these. Uh, let me see. I can do Bloomberg. Let me see Bloomberg. I can do Bloomberg. I think Bloomberg is. Well, Bloomberg is on Pluto and all that. So let's see if it does Bloomberg. It might not do Bloomberg. It might not. China is now simply too large. Yeah, I know. To the rest of the world. To okay, so Bloomberg. There you go. That's Bloomberg. Okay, so you got the Bloomberg here. And uh, of course, Sky News. Uh, you can see that on the. Uh, let me see if I can see it here. Yeah, Sky News not working here, but Sky News I can see it on Pluto. So I don't, you know, I don't need this for Sky News. I could I watch Sky News on Pluto. RT, uh, let me see. Yeah, RT is RT. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah. Anyway. Exactly, and they also have their own YouTube stream. Yeah, so you know, the, a lot of them you can watch them on you on YouTube and all that. You don't really, you know, you don't, you know. Uh, what's that? Because it's Arabic. Arabic. VOA Persian, BBC Persian, uh, Turkey. Okay, so. You get the gist of it here. Al Arabia or Al no not Arabia Al, Al, yeah let's see Al Arab. Let's see if I can. Enough. مثل اللي هي باكستان ومثل الهند ما يقبلون الرؤية بشاهدين يقبلونها ب ب. Alright, so there you go. BBC News. <clears throat> the cost of college is insanely high. I so just took my daughter to, uh, she's a senior in high school. All right, so there you go, see? You got that. Okay. Of course, Canadian. I like to. I watch Canadians. Uh, I, I some of Canadian programming I like to watch. I watch like the local. These are audio though. These all these audio. I think the CBC Canadian Broadcasting that's audio. CBC Yellow Knife that's Radio One. These are audio. These is audio. Audio. Sometimes I watch uh, CP Twenty Four. Especially during the pandemic, I used to I used to watch a lot of CP24. Let's see if I if I can even get CP24. Yeah. So that's CP24. Okay. So this is Canada. Australia, let's see what's in Australia. So this is Australia. Australia. Australia, okay. Let me see. Uh, cricket. I see, I see some cricket. All right, there you go, some cricket. And cricket from Australia, there you go. Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad. And what about uh, uh, Thailand? Let me see. Uh, I don't know what's in Thailand. I don't know. Let me see. Money Channel. 
I don't know what Thai Money Channel. Maybe a Thailand stock market. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I can't play it. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is... Uh, I have no idea what these are. Ribbit? Yeah, so these are not working. These are Ribbit at. There's no Ribbit here. Indonesia. I news. I don't know why I news this. Indonesia news. I don't know what this is. Yep. Yeah, I don't mean I'm gonna see them at times. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so let's back up. So I oh yeah, so that is the one of my apps that I use. Uh, what's the other one? I don't think this one is working anymore. Anyway, let's go to. You might need an update, actually. Let's see. <laughs> Time to update. Uh, no, I'm not going to update. I'm not going to update Anna because, uh, anyway. So, as you can see, they have quite a few. Uh, this is television. So I can watch all this television stuff. And then they also have. This guy. Ooh. You know, Bobby, that looks familiar to you. So, yeah, so, you know, uh, let's see. You have the trailer, or you can watch it. I'm not going to do that because uh, I'm not. Plus, these things pop up with ads. But you can. Uh, yeah, you can. So, there you go. So, that's that uh, app. Let me get out of this. Yes, I want to leave this app. All right. And you got YouTube. They got YouTube. No, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to skip. I don't want to set it up with this right now. Try Old Spice Total Body with 24 7 freshness from pits to toes. Of course, you get the ads. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, squirrel, you are in the pumpkin. Yeah, it's fuck. It's like rotten. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's eating the, He's inside that pumpkin. That thing's gotta be fermented. Look at him. His, his ears are all tucked back. He's all wet. <laughs> okay, it's safe to say that I can watch YouTube on I can watch YouTube on the YouTube, right? Is that safe? Can I watch YouTube on the YouTube? All right, there you go. All right. So there you go. So that is a preview of the uh, fire stick. Of course, if you go, if you go out here, let me go. Let me get out of YouTube. Of course, uh, yes. So of course, this is uh, Amazon Fire Stick. You know, you, you you know you have whatever movies are included. You know, they're all in here. But some of these, uh, you need to. Uh, I don't want to say here, but you know, there's plenty of videos on that and how to put that. And you need a program like this first. You need to use this program first. 
to add these. Actually, you need this one. Actually, you need this one first. And then you add this one to find all of these. All right. So there you go. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, you got a lot of entertainment. You know, you, you cut the cord. There's a lot of entertainment you can get. You know, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to be at the mercy at the. Uh, you don't have to be at the mercy of the cable companies. You know, I mean that's that's enough programming there for. Uh, I I like watching, especially the international channels. I enjoy them. I enjoy the international channels. You know, uh, I watch like uh, there's other ones that I have on my on my Linux one. I'm gonna put that one. I think I'm gonna bring down the Linux box. Hook it up here, and then that one because that one I have the little keyboard. I have a little keyboard for that, and that one um. No, but a fire stick looks good here. It looks good there. But I have that one, I have it on my 55 inch. That one. Or maybe I'll get another fire stick. I like them. I like the fire sticks. They're pretty good. So, yeah, you get the fire stick, and then you have to. Uh, there's a couple of things you do. Uh, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want those keywords to. And then you get the, the hammer. <laughs> And it's not it's not rocket science. It's not. Uh, it's just that um, and I know people say you don't use a VPN. No, because first of all, um, I don't use them often. Um, I don't use them often. Plus, I don't do. I only um, I, I don't use this often. Believe it or not, I don't. As much as much stuff as I can see, I just don't. I just don't. But you, if you want, if you feel like you need to. Use a VPN, you can. You can also use a VPN. Take care, Michael. And enjoy your rest of the, the day. What time is it now? I've been out for three hours and 51 minutes. Wow. Yeah. I figured let me get my... Let me put in the hours today. I said I was going to be out for a while anyway. Plus, I went outside a couple of times. So, yeah, I see all the emojis. I see the cricket. Yeah, cricket, not cricket, the the, the sport, cricket. <laughs> Ribbit. Rhymes Ray, cricket. I actually got into cricket. I actually started watching it. Because, you know, my wife, of course, uh, her relatives, you know, Indian, they all watch that stuff, you know, cricket. That's like a big, it's a big deal. In, in the UK, too, cricket is pretty big in England. Cricket is pretty big, except for here. Cricket is pretty. I watch cricket. I like watching cricket. Yeah, I saw there's a pickle. I think it was on Pluto, right? One of those. I I, I think Roku. I, wonder, I saw the. Uh, was it Roku or Pluto? There's a pickleball channel. Yeah, it's becoming popular here. Yeah, I know pickleball. Oh, you don't like uh, you don't like cricket? Man, really? Well, I'm surprised. Only soccer and motor racing. Okay. Yeah, I watch soccer too. I just don't watch it all the time. I I, I watch it when they, I watch it. usually when the World Cup. That's it. I watch it. I watch it like for that. Uh, cricket. I haven't watched it in a while, but I I, I watched it. I I seen. I watch cricket. I got to understand the game. Uh, rugby, um, I seen it. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I used to watch a little rugby here and there. The Australian Rules Football. I first heard about it from that Australian Rules Football. It's rugby. It's just uh, and I watched that because you know I love uh, American football, so I kind of relate to that rough sport. Hockey, I don't watch much. I used to watch a lot more hockey. I don't watch hockey much anymore. 
Especially now today's NHL hockey, I don't watch it that much. I don't watch it at all. I barely watch hockey now. Although the Rangers are doing very well. New York Rangers are doing well. So, but they've been disappointing me the last couple of years. They Stanley Cup final, they lost, and then I said, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Let me see what else. Let me read up up here. Yeah, I know the camera tipped over. What's the last thing when I bloop? Exactly. That's why I, it's not scripted what I do here. It ain't scripted. Yeah. So the, I'm telling you, so not only over the air, but I have like streaming stuff. Plus, you got Pluto TV that's free. You have Pluto TV that's free. You have, uh, if you have a Roku, they have free channels there, right? Got Roku. If you have a Roku TV, I have one in the other one that's Roku. That one has free content already. So not only I have my over the air, I have free content already on Roku. And you can add apps on Roku. So I could have added like the uh a few apps that I had in there. Then I have the fire stick. Of course, that has movies I could I got movies and I can watch from just from just from Amazon. Because I have the uh, Amazon account. There's movies that are already for free that I watch. Well, they're not, you know, they're included in the uh, Amazon Prime. I watch my, the Yankees, I watch them on, on Prime. Uh, NFL, when the NFL, you know, NFL, uh, Thursday, I think Thursday Night Football. Uh, Sometimes I, but Thursday Night Football was on Prime. I watch those games. So with the Amazon membership, you get all that. You get a lot. You you get a lot with Amazon membership alone. With the Amazon membership alone, I we we had Netflix. With the Amazon membership alone, I canceled my Netflix years ago. I didn't need it. Once I got my Amazon membership, I didn't need Netflix no more. And I I, I gotta look at the Samsung Plus. I don't have that one. On my phone, I see it, but I don't have a Samsung TV. I don't have a Samsung TV, so. But yeah, exactly. You got Samsung TV, you got that. That's a lot of. There's so much. There's so much content out there now. It, I don't know who will pay to watch stuff now. It really, you don't have to. You don't have to. Between this and I watch Pluto TV, and I have these channels in Pluto TV that I watch. Uh, there's one called Airy TV. A R A I R Y. I think it's A Airy, like Air Air Y. Dot TV. That's another one that's like Pluto. They have channels in there too. They have a whole bunch of channels. Those are free. There's so much content that's free now. So I mean, I don't have to, you know, use this app. But those are for international channels. You know. Like my wife watches the Indian TV because she watches like Indian television stuff. You know, uh, that stuff is, you know, obviously that stuff, you you know. Uh, Zumo, I try Zumo. I've seen Zumo a few times. Yeah, they got the local news. There's an app called local. I have an app on my Roku called local news. Uh, Bobby said, I got a Vizio, but I also got O&N Android TV box connectors. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking about buying one of those O&N boxes for this one. Because I have one upstairs. I want to keep that one upstairs. It, plus, that one is older. So maybe it's time to get a new one. Every time I go to Walmart, I'm thinking about picking one up. It's like $19.99. I forget what. It's like $19. I saw one. It's like $19.99. Under $20. Bucks. It's very cheap. Maybe I'll pick one of those up. But, or I'll pick up another Fire Stick. Because I can watch also what I have on Amazon, you know. It looks pretty good. It looks, it looks pretty good here, you know. I mean, they throw, I, they throw, I guess they, when they throw out the screen, it's because it's kind of old. It's a really thick TV. It weighs like 57 pounds. Nothing wrong with this TV. They just put it out on the, on the curb. But it looks good. 
It looks fine. I need to adjust that time. That time is wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it looks good. No, not me. I don't. I, I, this don't. This don't look good. That looks good. Not this. This doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I seen that one. Haystack News. Yeah, I have that. That one I have on my uh, Roku. He has a lot of local and uh, national news. Uh, King Lewis, I watch local newscasts from across the country on Roku's live TV app. News on, that's another one. Yeah, that one. News on app, that's another one that I I, I have. I have that one too. I, I That one I know, news, uh, news on. And Hearst, very local app. I'm not familiar with it. I need to look that one up, the Hearst one. I don't know what that one is. As well as apps from a few stations owned by Gray. Okay. And so yeah, I know Haystack. That one I know. Haystack News. King is such as W B A Y two Green Bay ABC, W S M V four Nashville NBC affiliate, K F D A ten Armadillo I'm Armadillo Amarillo, Amarillo. Excuse me, CBS affiliate and W M T V fifteen Madison NBC. Cool. Yeah, I see it looks that's a screensaver right now. I got a screensaver out. There's a screensaver. But it looks good. RCA TV is good. Of course, this is the last RCA model. Because they don't make no more television. Now they make Roku. So the TVs after this RCA, this is the last RCA television, period. This was made in 2010, I believe, this model. I looked it up. So this TV used to, this TV, used, this TV at one time was $1,299. This old TV here, 42 inch. It still works, still works well. After 14 years, it still works well. I don't know why they threw it out. I was surprised. I mean, it's, it's, it's no scratches, no nothing. I just don't have the remote. I can buy the remote for this. I'll probably buy the remote eventually, but it looks good. Has a whole bunch of inputs. Has three HDMI inputs. It has a PC input. It has a bunch of analog inputs. Our only rope RCA makes Roku TVs now. That's it. They have a co-branded RCA Roku. So those are the, the only RCA TVs that are new now are Roku's. I guess they bought the brand. Roku bought the RCA brand for the TVs. So I looked it up. They do have a, they have like 55 inch. I believe that's a 65 inch RCA. RCA Roku TV. So all the new RCAs are Roku. So, but this is the last RCA TV period. This one that I have here. After this, they, then that's it. Then they got sold off. They were out of the TV business until they came back with Roku. So they just bought the name, basically. It's like Vizio. Vizio, um, Walmart. Walmart bought Vizio. So now, now uh, the Walmart TV now is Vizio. You know how Walmart has the O&M brand? But they, Walmart didn't, didn't have a TV that was branded, like a Walmart branded TV. So now Vizio is going to be Walmart. Walmart exclusive uh, TV. Vizio. This one right here is a Vizio. The one that I'm using right now, this one, that's a Vizio. This one I have since 2000 and I believe 2007. This Vizio I have. This is a 35 inch, the one that I'm looking at right now, this one. This is a 30, a 37 inch. Excuse me, this one. Best Buy has Insignia, exactly. 
So, yeah. So I guess Roku uh, for TVs, they, you know, they also have other like my Roku TV is a uh, High Sense. My fifty-five inch, the brand is called High Sense. It's chi it's from China, High Sense. But that's a Roku TV, High Sense. So RCA now, if you want an RCA TV today, it's a Roku TV. It's a co-branded Roku. Um, let me see. He and this are her stations, WCVB5 Boston, KHBS40 Fort Smith, KHOG29 Fayetteville, Arkansas, 40, uh, 29 in particular. Okay, or ABC. So yeah, Bobby. So oh, RCA today, RCA TV today is Roku. Yeah, Merrick VX, the RCA is like a legacy brand here. Uh, last time I saw something, RCA was in the 90s when they used to uh, publish music CDs, yeah. Yeah, RCA doesn't, I mean, like I said, only the TV they, because of Roku. Um, and they, they, I think they're out of the business for everything else. I think they still make a couple of radios. Like kind of like those Bluetooth radio with the CD player. I might have seen a couple of those. Like RCA type, you know, that's it. And of course, antennas. They do make uh, antennas too. Over the air antennas, they do have a few. I seen a couple of RCA antennas. The one I'm looking at is RCA, actually. He's a Yagi RCA. Uh I don't know what else what else RCA does make. I have to look it up. Uh Keegan DX, uh, I had an RCA solid state black and white TV from the 1980s, used around the early 2000 to 2007. Yeah, Best Buy has insignia, another one insignia. Okay. Keegan DX, I have insignia 20 inch color TV for 2005, a trash find. In or near a ditch in 2018. Okay. I want uh Tasso, I wonder who made Kobe. I seen TVs. Yeah, Kobe made uh, Kobe's been a bunch of I have clock radios that are Kobe. I have the uh you know that you remember that little music play uh the little AMFM over oh, uh, that's Kobe. Um yeah, I seen some Kobe. I don't know who makes this interesting. I, I need to look that up. Who does own Kobe? Yeah. Yeah. Getting this, I see. I had a few of the Kobe five inch black and white TV radio sets. Oh, cool. Also, Panasonic brand with the same design. Okay, Panasonic. Yeah. Yeah, I have a few that still work. Oh, cool. Panasonic. I heard that Panasonic. That TV up there, the one that I think the one that Tesla mentioned. That one. That's a pro Protron. I uh, that's a 27 inch. I found that in the trash a few months ago. Actually, not a few months ago. Excuse me. A few months. What am I saying? Uh no, no, no. A year and a half ago. I found that one in the trash down the block. I put the legs on it. It had no, it had no feet, no, no leg, whatever. It didn't have a stand. So I bought these long legs. I put them in the back, and but I have no use for that TV right now uh, because I have all of these now. When I had that TV, I didn't have any of these. So that's a pro, uh, pro. Not a. Uh, I, at first, I thought it was a. a what do they call that brand? I thought it was a pro scan. Because I remember pro scan. That one says Protron. So I had no idea. I looked it up. It was not the best TV. And that one doesn't have no HDMI. That's before HDMI. That one only has a component. And it's S-video and stuff like that. So that's a 27-inch. And it works. I, I hooked up my... Uh, I hooked up my Nintendo GameCube to it and it works fine. 
So originally I was gonna use that one for gaming, for retro gaming. But now I have the do I have the sharp 32 inch upstairs? The one that you saw for the Super Bowl? That one is upstairs. Trash can fine. That one works very well. The sharp. Uh, that one I have the remote for that one. That one I have to I bought the remote for that one, the sharp. And then I have a Westinghouse TV that's a 32 inch. That one is a few years old. My brother uh, actually found that one and he went and given it to me. And I need to make a video on that. With that one also, I actually used it for uh, that was my second PC screen for a while. 32 inch Westinghouse. But that one, the stand is kind of wobbly. So, and that one had the, it didn't have the, the proper screws for it. So, I'm thinking about taking that one out, put that one on a wall mount in the boiler room, and hook that one up to a PC. I think that's going to be my, one of my computer screens in the, in the boiler room. 32 inch Westinghouse. It still works, and I have a remote for that. So, and I bought the wall mount for it. It's in the it's in the boiler room. I need to anchor it into the brick, and then I could uh, put that TV. Because it has a stand, but it's wobbly. It, it the screws that they put in it is not the screws for it, so it's kind of wobbly. And I'm thinking about getting rid of that stand and just wall mount it. I think about actually wall mounting it here and use it with the server, because that one has a PC input to it and all that. Maybe use it with the server racks. Okay. The server rack. <laughs> Gotta go like this. Yeah. Uh, let me scroll. I'm sorry. So let me see. Sorry. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, King, I have a Kobe radio that has AM, FM, weather band, and TV sound. Yeah, I, I know. I have a couple of I have a couple of radios that have that TV sound. VHF two to thirteen. Since two thousand six, my first Noah weather receiver. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, I was those multi band radios. I have a couple of those. People ask me all the time about them. Where do I buy them? A lot of those multi band radios, like the. Uh, the Rhapsody one that I show videos on, eBay, $35, $40. I wouldn't pay more than that. The old multi-band radios that have the police, the old police band. It has the, uh, you know, VHF, a lot of VHF. Um, You know, the air band and all that. A lot of those radios, you can get it on eBay for like $40. Because people were asking me, oh, okay, how can I fix mine? I said, don't don't, don't spend your money trying to fix it. Just buy another one. You can buy those on eBay. They're all over the place. You know, not the Radio Shack brand. Those are going to be more expensive because they're Radio Shack. But like the Rhapsody brand, the there's one of the Reader's Digest rebranded radio. Those radios that have the TV band all that, those radios, you get them on eBay for like $35, $40. I wouldn't pay no more than that. And they still work, you know, and they're old. So, you know, I, I would have, because somebody was asking about that, that. He has one. And should I take it to go fix? I said, no, nah, I wouldn't spend money to fix it. I would just get another one. You know, because I, I see them all the time on eBay. Multiband radios. Uh, I don't have, because I'm, I'm, I'm down here. You know which one, the older multiband radios that I have, like the ones that have the CB radio bands. It has the stroke wave bands. It has the aviation band. It'll have the weather band. That's the one that has all those multi bands. They're from the 80s and 90s. Uh, you know, eBay. I will get them on eBay. <clears throat> I'll just shop around and get one on eBay. And I, I, the ones that I got, they still work pretty good. But I'm not gonna take them. I'm not gonna oh, spend money to fix them. No, I'm not gonna do that. They work. They work. I make videos on them. Uh, I'll, go, I'll make. I'll make videos in the future on them. 
But if they break down, that's it. I'll just keep it for parts. You know? Tassel, a, a Kobe Electronics Corporation was an American manufacturer of consumer electronics headquartered in Lake Success, New York, with offices and factories around the world, including the United States, Mexico, and China from Wikipedia. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you for looking that up. Originally from Maspeth here in Queens, but Kobe closed in 2013 after moving to Lake Success in 2008. Okay. Still doesn't say who made them, so I guess they were independent. I guess so. Yeah. Keegan Dix, I remember traveling with the Kobe 5-inch black and white TV in the car on long road trips in 2007 and 2008. From Arkansas to Wisconsin to visit family. Oh, cool. Various stations from... Oh, I skipped all of this. Various stations from Springfield, St. Louis, Missouri, Peoria, uh, Peoria, uh, Illinois. Excuse me. Yeah, Peoria. Madison and Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, I know that's TV. I know. Good old days. I have a couple of, in the next room, I have a couple of analog. Uh, what are the? They're not 5 inch. They're like uh, 12 inch, maybe 12 inch green. I have two of them. They're in the window in the other. The, they're analog, of course. So you're not going to be able to pick up anything. Yeah, I remember watching, uh, Keegan, I remember watching Letterman on CBS on for UF, UHF affiliate somewhere in Illinois. Guessing Peoria. Yeah. Most CBS stations I pick up were VHF. Okay, Not notably KOR, KOLR 10 Springfield, Missouri, and WFRV 5 Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay. I know, right? I wish I had a camcorder, too. At the time, I mean, I do have them now, but I wish I had them back then. Well, I wish I had the sense to record it back then. Who would have foreseen that YouTube was going to be around in, in the future? We could have been, we were going to be able to showcase all this stuff and talk about it. <clears throat> you know? That's why I got back into these hobbies. I never thought about Diecast collecting. I never thought, you know, when I was a kid, I was one of these things. But you know, as a kid, you know, you don't have the money for it, things like that. Now that I, you know, I'm okay now. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. What I mean by that is like, you know, yeah, I can buy certain things. Uh, you know, I can indulge in certain hobbies now that I couldn't as a kid. And I'm having fun. Actually, I'm having fun. Some people call it, some people call it, you know, uh, I forgot somebody call I don't I don't want to say what they call it. It's silly. My sister-in-law actually says that by her husband. Because he like he collects all those stuff. He's been doing it for years. He doesn't have a channel, but he does. And she says, Oh, he's suffering from Peter Pan syndrome. I'm like, what the hell is Peter Pan syndrome? So, you know, but then again, she's not a she's not a fun person to be around anyway. I mean, I, I I actually feel sorry for the guy sometimes, <laughs> but at least he has a space where he collects all that stuff, and he wants to pass it off to his kids, you know. But yeah, so let me see where I'm at. Okay, the CBS UHF signal from Illinois was likely WMBD. 30 Peoria and ABC from KDNL 30 St. Louis and WBAY2 Green Bay. All right. Remember the X? I had a multi band radio from the 80s. It was a steeple tone. Yeah, that's another one that I see a lot. The radios that I have, some of them were rebranded. Steeple, steeple tone. That's another one. That receives police, air band, marine ships. It was really good. Yeah, so those radios, you can, they're all over eBay. A lot of those are all over eBay. 
for like thirty dollars. I've seen them for thirty-five dollars, forty dollars at the high end, maybe fifty bucks. You know, and they when they start some of them, I, the ones that I have, they work good. But I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna go crazy if they get that if they like because the guy was asking me a lot of questions about that. He was like, uh, like he wrote a long comment on one of my videos, and I told him I said, no, nah, don't 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 spend your money trying to fix it. Just buy another one. There, there, there are a lot. There are a lot of them out there now on eBay. You know, just like uh, you know, a lot of my portables. Uh, some people go out of their way to fix them. I'm not gonna do that. I got so many portables. If one gets damaged, or one gets, I just buy another one. If I need another one or whatever, you know, I'm not gonna uh, open it up try to fix it. I'm at the point in my life where I don't have time for that. You know, I just don't. It's time management. I have so much time left before you know my time is up. <clears throat> uh, Keegan, I also remember at one point watching Everybody Loves Raymond syndicated broadcast during one of my trips or one of the trips. Okay. Uh, Tasso, don't get me wrong, digital is nice, but only when the signal. I know. Otherwise, Pixel 80, as you can see. Uh, like you said, Danny, with the leads forming, yeah, I know. It's, it's, exactly. Now, uh, in, in that particular area, the trees are already uh, budding. They're already, they started to bloom. By the end of May, it'll be completely covered. Uh Yeah, Keegan, exactly. It's nice with the additional channels, but now when it's pixelating, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Remember the day, so the steeple tone was my scanner, exactly. Before I got the, you, you, I, I can't pronounce this one. Let me see. I'm going to try to pronounce it. I do like that radio, though. Uh, UP Teru, which blew me away how much I got. Oh, I got to, I, I got to tell you something about that. Uh, there's another YouTuber. Let me find them. Because you might be interested in this antenna. Mario the Uh Let me read a couple of comments and I'm going to find that, that that guy. He's a he's a YouTuber. His name is Eduardo. Let me see. I'll tell you right now. He has that scanner that you have. But he bought, he has an antenna. He has a mini whip antenna that he put to it. Is he calls it the mini whip? It is the same. You know, remember the AM ferrite antenna? The same guy makes an antenna for the scanner, and he I think has a battery inside. Is I think I don't know if it's charged. Anyway, let me find this video. I'm gonna find because he has, I believe he has the same scanner you have. So the YouTuber's name is Eduardo Eduardo Power. I'm gonna put his channel link first. Yeah, I'm, I, I need to. I need to. I know I have that. The, the Quan Shan. Yeah. So let me paste the channel first, so you can go check out his channel. And then the video, the video, I'm going to put the link to the video right now. Let me, I'm going to click on the video and then I'm going to put the link on the video. On this. So, you, yeah, it's an amplified BSP. So let me pause it. Anyway, that's antenna. Let me, oh, sorry. Let me, let me, let me fix this right. Let me um put the let me put the video link on the this uh let me let me paste the video link. And hello James Farley, I hope you're doing well. So that is that you know remember uh the same guy, but of course he passed away. But I guess he still has the inventory. They're still selling those. I was looking at this antenna once. But I don't have a portable scanner. So 
So he was using it. He was, he was doing a demonstration on it. Okay. Let me go to uh, his. So it's a, it's a rechargeable BNC amplified antenna. From 10 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz. And I don't think he's going to mind playing the video. Yeah. So he has a scanner like yours. The you per you you per you you peter whatever I can't pronounce it. You per to whatever. <laughs> I think he pronounced it here. Yeah, I think there's a. I think they have another version too, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. That that this is only for HF. It said VLF to HF. So yeah, oh, okay. So I thought me, you know, you pay, you pay you pay Teru, you pay Teru. <laughs> so let me forward it to. I want to forward it to where. Um, I don't know. I don't know what model you have, but anyway, this one. It was a medium wave. All right, let me stop it there because I don't want to. I, I don't want to. Um... Yeah, so I was looking at because I'm thinking about. I, I like that scanner because I don't have a. I don't have a portable scanner. Like of course the Quang Shang, you know that's eventually, but I want a real scanner. I don't want you know I know the model, you can modify the Quang Shang. I have the coin shank, but I I, I want to get one of these scanners, either this one or Uniden, because I, I seen there's a Uniden that I'm looking into getting also, but I may look into this one though, because I I know you like yours, and now I'm thinking about this one, so maybe my next, because I I didn't buy the uh the TV antenna and all, and and I was looking into the other, but because uh. I had contacted a company and they, you know, I'm they they might send me this radio. I don't know yet. Which was, we're going back and forth on that. One of those, uh, you know, there's two radios and one of them is that the one that everybody's talking about. I may buy that one and review the other one. The other one they want to send it to me, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm. You know, we still the uh, you know the one with the uh, but I heard it had issues, so I don't know the Chong Yong LC ninety. That one seems to be having issues. Remember, I said that it was kind of gimmicky with the internet radio stuff, but I heard this firmware updates on it because it, it didn't have single sideband before. Now they have a model. That it does sideband. There's a oh, there's a firmware that it could do sideband now. So that kind of got my interest. So I want to know how good of a receiver that is. Because the internet radio part, I don't care about it. Because that 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 can one day be. Boom. Of course, for review, if they want to send me the radio, I'll review it. But I'm gonna be fair about it, you know. I'm not gonna lie about the radio because it is expensive radio, it's not cheap. I believe it's two hundred dollars that radio, too. It might be the 250 range. And I looked at it, there's actually several models now. They have they have a mini one, 
And then they have the 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 because uh, they, they they have all these firmware updates for it now. So now they have one that does sideband. So now you can do sideband on that radio, which is so that radio if it's like that and uh, and I believe that radio also has that chip. The same chip that the TEF 6686, what the one that you have and the Qdosin. The Qdosin, is it Qdosin? You pronounce it Qdosin? The the one that's 286, whatever it's called. They all have that same chip. That's from a that's a car chip. That's a car radio chip. And it's supposedly it's very good on FM. It's very good on FM, but I heard it's okay on, on medium. I think it's good on medium wave, but I think it's very good on FM. So, but it's a car chip. It's, a, it's a, from a car. It's a car radio chip. That's where it comes from. They all have the same car radio chip. So I think that LC90 also has that chip. So if that's the case, then I will be very interested in that radio for review for FM and maybe for... The 20 does not have SSB, I know. But this one, the LC90, the LC90 has a firmware update that has SSB now. So, and I believe that one also has that chip. I, I'm not sure. I I need to look it up more. So, you know, I, you know, we've been in contact. So I don't know if they want me to review the radio. You know, give it a good, you know, not one silly review like the other guy did and call it the greatest radio ever, whatever. No, I want to give, I want to, I'm going to run it through the ringer. I believe Jill's is also might receive that radio too. Uh, but I think they're making a new batch of radios for that. So let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Because um, when I, they, 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 uh, they, they, I believe they're right now they're they're behind. I don't think they have any of them in stock right now. But there's a whole bunch of when I went there, I saw the uh, they have a whole bunch of updates on it now. So they have one that does single sideband. Because I believe originally, originally, that radio did not have single sideband. But now they incorporated that in it. And that radio also, um, with the internet radio part, uh, there's a few more updates that they, they did on it. Because at, at, it has, it has Wi-Fi, but I also, I think they also have 4G. I don't know how that works with the 4G. I don't know if you, if you have to put a SIM in there or something. Uh, so that one, not only when you're outside and you can't get to Wi-Fi, it actually uses 4G, which is interesting. I was like, wow, really? It is. It is. When I started reading up on that radio, it's a lot of stuff that thing has. It's like, a, <laughs> it's crazy. So not only is a radio, of course, it has Bluetooth. But it also has, uh, it also uses a SIM card. I believe SIM card or or something with a SIM card. I don't know if it has a built-in SIM in there. And you, I forgot. <coughs> There's a lot of stuff they're doing with that radio. Like this is like the toolbox radio. Like this is supposed to be like, they want this to be like the ultimate emergency radio. It also has uh, air band and weather. I believe now. So it has weather and it has everything. Short, uh, medium wave, FM, short wave, weather, air band, <laughs> internet radio. <laughs> like, what the? Single side band. So I'm like, you know, of course, you know me, I'm going to focus. I want to focus on the reception, on the performance. I think also they have firmware update that it narrowed the bandwidth too. Because that was another complaint about it. I think the bandwidth was too wide. So they, they're always making firmware updates for this radio. So this is one of those radios that, this is one of those radios that it has a lot of firmware updates. Like the Quan Shang, it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, what they call, it's like an open source. So, I, so you know, I, I know I said it was gimmicky. 
but I want to give it another. I'm, I, I would want to give it a look if they're going to send it to me. I'm not going to buy one. But they told me, you know, we, I said, yeah, you, you, send it to me. I'll take a look at it. You know, and we'll see. And I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you, if it's worth two hundred dollars, I'll tell you if it's worth two hundred dollars. I'm not gonna, you know, just because they sent it to me doesn't mean I'm gonna tell you if it's worth it. Yeah, I haven't even done one mod on the quantity. I'm so behind on that. I'm because I'm doing all these projects out here now. Uh, I would like to because and also, did you know? But the quantity also has a. You can hook it up to your computer and use the computer to pop, to, to tune and all that. You can use a computer to tune on it. Like uh, they even have like it looks like an SDR. So you have the Quan Shang hooked up to the computer, but you can do everything on the screen. And it even has a waterfall and all that. They even have, they have I forgot what it's called. They have so many things for this Quan Shang. It's amazing. It's amazing. This little radio is amazing. But I noticed they're doing that with a lot of radios too now. They're starting to build, make more radios that are firmware upgradable and all that. So you've seen that with the PC. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can transmit on it. So you can probably do FT8 on it, on, uh, you know, because it, it, you can open up the bands on it. But you have FT8 for, you know, for what? Uh, I forgot what bands can it go up to. I mean, maybe it's six meter. I don't think it could do six meter. I, you know, not. I don't think a broadcast. I don't think it's transmit a six meter. I, I there's so many. I, I lost track of it. There's so many mods on this thing. It's crazy. Yeah, but that two eighty six. I believe that one is also. I think that one. I don't know if that one is for. They could up the. They go upgrade the firmware on that too. I don't know because these these because uh, that's this, this new generation of radios. This new generation, I could, that's what I'm going to call them. The new gen, the, this new, new generation of radios now. There's so many things you can do with the firmware now. So, because remember, the 286 was based on. The 6686, Meredith DXF. But this one, I have to look into the LC90. I don't know if that one is based on these. And because it's the it's a it's a chip. I don't know the name of the chip on the top of my head. It's basically a car chip, it's the car radio chip. It's what they use in modern cars today. I, I forgot the, the the chip. I don't know. I'll, I don't know the name of the chip at the top of my head. So James Farley, uh, I'm sorry, Mister. No, I've been out since uh, about one o'clock. I went outside, saw the eclipse. Uh, you know, you know, everybody went outside and saw the eclipse because it's all about the eclipse. You know, I have my uh, Devo. My Devo glasses on. <laughs> so, no, I've been out for four hours and 37 minutes now. Because, uh, you know, obviously Saturday, uh, he had his live stream. I didn't want to do a live stream. And then yesterday, I, I decided to do other things. So I said, let me come out today and do the, uh, the Eclipse thing. So, yeah. So that's the model, the MVT seventy one hundred. How much? Let me see how much. Let me type it in there. Let's see. Cause I was looking at that one on or Uniden. Okay. Oh my God, what's going on with my uh, 7100, right? I need to get a keyboard over here. Seventy one hundred. 
Yeah. You got the 7100. That is one from home. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little over the place. I seen one for one. Oh, no, that's a 7,000. I don't want the 7,000. 7,100. That's the one he has, too. MVT. What is it? M. Oh, I lost the yacht. Oh, my God. What's the yacht? Oh. You be. Teru, you be Teru. So the seventy one hundred, okay, so that's the one to get, okay. <clears throat> so the seven seventy one hundred, let me be all of them. Let me see. 180 on eBay. There's a 7300. What is a 7300? 185, 7300. I don't know what the 7300 is. So I said 180. Uh, 180. Yeah, I seen a 180, 180. Let me see. 185 for the 7300. What is the 7300? What's the difference that one? Let me see. Let me just click on that one. Let me see what that one is. So that's the 7300. No, some people did, uh, James. I, I didn't because I was out there. You know, I didn't get to. Um... Okay. Uh, no, no. Can you not put this on now, bro, please? No. That's a 7300. What is that? Uh, what's the specs on that one? Okay, he has no specs on it. Okay, I, I can't. I have to look that one up. But a 7100. Yeah. Anyway. 7100. Anyway, I'll go with the 70, 7100. Let me see. Three other signs. 100% positive. Okay, 504. Okay, 7100. Let me make sure it's a 7100. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, no, I'm sure. So there's a used one. So let me see if he wrote anything about it. I have to look at it. Bought from UK, rarely used, comes with USB. This item is not okay. I'm not nah, forget it. It's okay. No, nah, I'm gonna pass on that one. When it says when it's not saying it's not returnable, I, I I already got red flag, bro. <laughs> When he said returnable, not returnable, uh, nah, bro. Nah, I, I'm going to skip you, bro. Where he's located at? Oh, he's outside the U.S.? Oh, he's in Tokyo. Ah, uh, nah, bro. I don't, you going to break my leg with the shipping. So this guy's from Japan. Okay. Hey, well, I'll look around. I'll look around. That's 7,300. I have to see if that's, uh, you know, what you said. Never had a 7,300, so I cannot tell if it's good. I have to look that. Right now, he has no info. But it's odd. But anyway, it's in Japan, too. Yeah, okay. I'll say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems like these are more popular in. It seems like these are more popular outside of the U.S. Now I'm gonna look around for the seventy-one hundred. I look around. 
I just did a quick look. I know if I look around, I'm fine, you know, because it, it seems like there's a they're all over the place. You know, if I go to uh, let me see, let me just copy and paste it. If I just copy and paste this. Paste. And then search. Yes, yes, best. Uh, that heart is in the way. I can't read the rest of the thing. It's a heart. So keep looking as uh, as you can get the 7100 cheaper. Yeah. Because if I do, uh, let me see. I like to sort of shipping lowest first price. Let me see. Okay, now I'm getting the antenna stuff, the manual. I don't want all that. Let me see. The car, car, char, car charger thing. Okay. Uh, desktop stand. I guess a 3D printer stand somebody made. A lot of it is UK and Japan so far. Shashmi 22 okay, that's Japan. Surge distributor. 235, but that's Canada. Okay, I, I don't want to go that high. I don't know. I'm already looking at Uniden now. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I, I'm gonna look. I'll look. Yeah, a lot of it is. I see Jap Japanese seller. They'll kill me with the shipping. Or best offer. Well, this one got a good price. So one is selling for one forty eight ninety nine or best offer. Okay, now you got my interest. Even if it's from Japan, even if it's from Japan, if I want to sell it for one twenty two. Oh, that's a thirty. Oh no, he said it a thirty three hundred for one twenty two fifty five. For one twenty two fifty five, he has twelve watchers. So that means somebody's gonna snatch that one. This one. And somebody's gonna snatch it. Tested working from Japan, pre-owned, uh, blah blah blah. Or best offer. Man. But I don't know about the third. I I I don't I don't know. I, yeah, a lot of it is Japan. Japan, Japan. I mean, these are these are all not the, the one I'm looking for, but yeah. My right, seventy one hundred is right here. This guy. No, not even. And this one. I was looking at this one. Let me see. Shipping, I don't know what the shipping is going to be. It's not going to be that much, but still, it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be that much. I'm sure it'll like it. Uh, I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on the watch list. When you put on the watch list, when you put on the watch list, sometimes you get an offer. So I could make an offer. I could say, hey, man, I'll give you 125 and they'll come back with a counter offer of 150 And then I say, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> but I'm going to put it on the watch list first. Because he might send me another, he might send me another offer. When you put on the watch list, when you, I, I don't want to make it because I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, I don't, you know. 
I don't have the funds available for it right now. But if I had the funds available, I would have made an offer right now. I would say, you know what? Uh, I would just go low 125. Bam. Now, of course, he's not going to take 125. He's going to say, uh, maybe you take it. Maybe not. He's going to come back with 150-something uh, or, one, or 160. Then I'm going to say, nah. But if I do watching, you'd be surprised. If, I, if I'm the only watcher, he might give me a better offer. He might say, for 48 hours, 125. Here, take it. Then I got 48 hours to, I could counter it, or I could say, yeah, I'll take it for 125. So I'll put it on the watch list for now. I'll leave it on the watch list just to see. Because the other one, that 3,300, I don't, you, you, you don't know what it is. I'm not going to, I don't want to go that. I want to go as low as I can with this one. So I, I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into that. Because I, I don't have a portable scanner, you know. And I like the I like this the, the ones you guys have. That's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice one. Cause I don't want to break the bank and get something, you know. And you know, cause I'm going by what you guys recommend. Cause yeah, I can get a unit then, you know. But this one goes all the way down to uh, what is it? Medium wave and uh. What's the band on this? I forgot what's there. This one goes all the way down. The unit that doesn't go all the way down. Unit that is going to go up to 25 megahertz. That's it. Unit that only goes down to 25 megahertz. So this one you can do short wave, medium wave, uh, long wave, right? Unit that you're not going to be able to do all that. 25 megahertz and, and up. That's it. So that's why I like this one because I want the lower. I want the lower. Right, but what it goes up to a uh, tank 100 kilohertz is it 100 kilohertz up to what is 100 kilohertz up to what 1.6 gig? Oh, uh, hello, Glenn Dassler. Uh, just got home, we'll watch part of the podcast I miss at James Father. I did have a great reception on 20 meters. During the class, yeah, I uh, a couple of people have some uh, medium wave catches. I did not because I was outside and I'm watching the eclipse. I was going back and forth, and I only I only have the uh, HD tuner hooked up to it. Yeah, I figured that too, uh, Mary DX. Just be aware that the uh, UP Teru. Works best above 24 megahertz. Below it, that is loses sensitivity and it's too wide. Yeah, I figured that. Of course, it's not gonna be like uh, he's not gonna be uh top notch at that. At that, I figured that. I figured it's gonna be a compromise. But I would like to have the option of yeah, I can listen, if I want to listen to all in one, you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the LC90 looks like a nice radio, but a bit expensive. Yeah, I know. But, you know, I'm talking to them, see if uh, they want to do this. You know, I'll look at it. Because Jill's, Jill's announced that they're going to send him one. They're going to send him one. So, so either uh, based on his review, I I may go ahead. I don't know, but if they send me one, then you're gonna get my review too. But I'm not gonna buy. It. I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, I prefer that you know. Uh, but if Jules gets it, you know he's gonna do a review on it, and he's gonna he's gonna tell you like it is. And so either way, you're gonna get a review. You're not gonna get that other person review the uh world's greatest or whatever that's just not that's that's not gonna cut it sorry because this guy's not known for he's not a real he's not i don't know i just anyway i'm not gonna go by his review 
because I read some of it and they're having issues with it. They were having issues with it. I think I think that's what happened too. I'm gonna say here we go. When they have issues, and then they start reaching out to people like us. Like, oh my God, like sales are not, you know, even though, okay, mm -hmm, here we go. Even though the, the guy, that the first guy that posted a video on that radio, the LC90, he has almost 80,000 subs, but he's not, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that about him, but he's not known for, for reviewing shortwave radios and all that. He's. He's known for something else. He's like a, you know, he's like a farmer type, hobby farmer. I don't know you want to call it. He just happens to have radios. He's not the same as you know your your you know whatever you know. It's just, and when you do titles like that, clickbait titles, you know, because I noticed he's been reviewing a lot of radios, and I think they're sending him a lot of radios because he has eighty thousand subs, whatever. Doesn't mean that his word is, uh, you know, because some people review and they'll give it a good review just for them to keep, keep sending him stuff. You know, as you can see recently, Radio came out with another radio. I saw from another channel. They didn't even contact me about that radio. So I think they know they're not going to get, they're not going to get a good review from me. Because I'm sure that radio is not the best radio either. That's not the radio. I told Radio, I said, I'm done. If you send me another radio, it better be top notch. Or oh, I'm done. I'm not going to keep reviewing junk either. I don't want to waste my time on junk. So that's me. Now with the other fellow, the one that, the you know, 80,000 sub guy, whatever, uh, they're going to send him all the junk. He's going gonna to say they're good. That's it. He's going to say it's a good radio and blah, blah. That's it. You know, I'm, that's not going to be me. So they can send them all the junk you want. So I heard this radio has issues. And there's several firmware updates that they're trying to fix it. And I this is it's starting to become like the Eton HD HD radio. It got a lot of hype on it. But I think now it's falling short. And I think they need people like a couple of us to try to bring it back up to like. Okay, uh, it didn't resonate with this audience. Now I need to go to a real radio channels and let them review it there and give it a because you know me, I'm gonna put multiple videos on there. I'm gonna try every band, I'm gonna put it on every type of scenario. You know, I'm not gonna you're gonna send me the radio, I'm gonna review it tomorrow. No, no, I'm gonna play around with it for weeks, at least a couple of weeks before you get a review. I'm gonna put it to the ringer. Especially if it's two hundred fifty dollars, yeah. I'm gonna put it to the radio because I don't want people to say that because of you, I bought this radio as a piece of junk. No, I'm gonna tell them. So I think that's what's happening. I think they they're not selling as many as they they're not selling as many as they anticipated, and I think now uh, they're reaching out to radio related channels more. So, you know, because I noticed the TEF picked up a lot of steam. A lot of people bought that radio. The Kidosin, a lot of people buying that radio now. I haven't bought it. I'm not buying it. A lot of people bought that radio. So this LC90, I guess a lot of people are not buying this radio yet. Because there hasn't been a real in-depth review on it from a radio channel guy because i don't consider him a radio channel i'm sorry i don't <clears throat> so until someone like jills or me or someone else makes a real review on that radio i don't think that radio is going to sell it's not going to sell as much it's not going to sell because I, I i my or my my live stream my audience they, they're smarter than that. We're too smart. We're too smart for that. Because at $250, I'm looking at Texas. 
At that price, I'm looking at Texan. I'm looking at a San GN. ATS 909 X2. I'm looking at that. When I'm looking at that, I'm looking at that. I'm not looking at that LC90. Nah, bro. If you want me to put $250 on the LC90, you better blow me away. And I think that's the part that they've, they're missing the mark. That's my observation. And they started reaching out to people. I say, yeah, they're not selling. They need help. Because they went to him, Mr. 79,000, 80,000 sub guy, and they couldn't sell. They didn't sell, they didn't sell them. So that's telling me. And then when I started reading all the, uh, I went to the site. I started reading all the stuff, all the firmware. Uh, I said, man, this radio just came out. It already has all these updates. When you have a radio that just comes out and it already has a few updates, that's a red flag. To me, that's a red flag. I read the comments. I when I go to a website and I'm going to look up and I look at a radio, I read the comments. I sit there with my cup of coffee or whatever you want. I sit there and I start reading comments. I say, okay, this is the real story about this radio. So now that's what they now they're reaching out to. Don't be surprised they reach out to uh, any anybody. Oh, we would like you to check review this radio. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, yeah, you need help. In other words. You need, you need, you know, you need the word to get out more. It's not getting out enough. Okay. But remember, his audience is a bunch of, you know, preppers and all that, or whatever, you know, farm guys, whatever, you know. But they're not, they're not us. They're not us. They, I'm gonna say, they're not. They don't know one. They don't know Diddly Squad from Diddly Squad when it comes to radios, quality radios and all that. Okay, that's what happened. So you know, it's different. You know, yeah. I was doing research today on the Malahe V5 clone, and there is there was someone on Reddit. It is the best radio ever. They say it does not have noise when you touch the screen, but I know it does because one, uh, sorry, because my V2 radio, I mean, my, my V2 version makes noise when you touch the screen it sounded like a seller who created a threat yeah yeah exactly that's another thing you know the same people they just they make a fool people you know they make a thread and they start saying all this saying it's the best radio ever yeah exactly you know when when you when they start saying stuff like that i'm already suspect i'm already like yeah okay so, you know, that's what happens. That's this, that's this guy, you know. He, he did a couple of reviews, but I noticed his, his reviews are like, okay, it's very generic review. You know, you know, like like when I tell you, when I tell you that, like what Meredith Dixon just said, uh, the Upiteru, Upiteru, he got really specific about it. He said below 24 megahertz. He's going to be, like he said, he's a little sensitive. He's too wide. That's something you're not going to say unless you know about bandwidth settings. That you you know about radio. When you start talking about bandwidth settings, it's too wide or whatever. or you know, Then I'm going to believe you. Like when I said the radio on shortwave is unlistenable because the bandwidth is way too wide. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say, oh, because I can, hit, I can hit two shortwave stations, it works. I said, no. If the bandwidth is way too wide and there's no way of, then it's not it's not good. That's it. And this guy's not going to say that because he doesn't know all that stuff. He doesn't know all that stuff. You know? And I, and, that was, and, and right away, that's, I read that right away. When I went to the LC, the Changyang website, Changyang. I think it's changyangradio.com or changyang. Anyway, I don't know. 
the URL. I, I went in there, I started reading all that stuff. And one of the big complaints they had was the bandwidth was too wide. So the bandwidth was already too wide. So that's the issue already. If the bandwidth is too wide on short wave, on medium wave, then that's a big red flag that you know a real short wave listener, medium wave DX is this way is junk. It's not it's not for the price. Nah, bro. You know? Exactly. I, exactly. Married the excess. I think in some cases they don't know about that stuff, but they don't want to mention it in fear of not being sent any more free stuff in the future. Exactly. That's what that's this guy. I would never put that. I would never put the best radio ever. No, I would never put that. I would not put it. I don't care how good the radio is. I will not put it because the, there's, there's always going to be another radio one day. And I would not do that. I just wouldn't do that. that wouldn't, that's just clickbait. You know, be honest. That's what I tell people. Be honest. Be honest. Because it's a, feed, it's a feedback thing with me. The W, uh, the SX data, D608. Was actually not even the SH data D109 WB was a direct result because of who? A few of us, including me. Because I said in the review, I said, why they could have put air band or weather band on this? It would have been better. And they listened to me. I'm tuning my own horn. I was one of them that said that right away, not, like a month later or so, they came, they, they approached me. They say, oh, uh, we listen to what you got. We, we listen and we want to include no weather band. And we want you to test it out. I said, great. Because I, I I didn't I they I guess they thought I was gonna give it a, a five five out of five stars. No, I said, no. I said this radio is too sense, you know, this radio is too prone to uh interference. It overloads. I said all that. And I said, and by the way, why they couldn't include air band or a weather band. So they went ahead and they tried to prove it on the next model right away. And they, they did a little better because they listened. I didn't lie. I could have said, all right, the greatest radio ever. And then they would have not done anything, not done any improvements on it. So, you know. So that's what's happening with the LC90. I think a lot of I think they saw his video and oh the greatest radio ever. Everybody went and bought that radio. And now they're stuck with a radio that needs a bunch of firmware updates on it now. You know. And you know, and that's the problem. That's why you radio makers out there, you need to stop going to these sites, to these channels, and go to real radio sites to review your stuff. Stop going to these other people. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. We know what we're talking about. So stop doing that. You're hurting your own brand by doing that. You're hurting yourself. And I said it. Did I not say back then that the LC90 was a gimmicky radio? And, and, and look, because they reached out to this guy. Now they reached out to him. It's kind of insulting, to be honest. He is like the biggest shortwave radio channel. They could have reached out to him first. They had to reach out to this other guy, this farm guy. Are you kidding me? They reached out to farm guy and gave him the radio when they could have given it to Jill's. Me, as a radio company, I would have went to Jill's first. I would have said, Jill's, you're the top radio, you're the top shortwave radio channel. We want to send you this radio. You're the first guy. You're the absolute. If people if people believe you, they're gonna buy the radio. They should have took a chance on him first. Or go to Oxford, or or you know, or then work down the line. Maybe you know my channel, whatever. But they went straight to a, a non-radio related whatever. And <laughs> You know, that's what happened. 
and stop doing that. You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. Stop it. <laughs> it's just true. They, they hurt themselves. But now that radio looks like nobody wants to buy the radio now. I see. Go to the, I'm telling you, go to the, go look up that radio. Go to their website. Just read up all the stuff on it. It's flopping. They don't want to send me one. That's why don't send me one. But I got to tell you like it is. You need me more than I need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. You need me. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> now you want to reach out to all the radio channels now. Should have done that in the beginning. Stupid old. Douche. You know? <laughs> Tassel, I hate that clickbait. Oh my God, the greatest radio in the history of radios. Hello, give me a break. Exactly. Yeah, James Farley. Um, that's that seems to be the second. That's the uh, the the newest generation of radios now. They're starting to put that car chip on radios. And I take it for what it is. They're fine. I still like Texan. I I still like to go with those reputable companies like Texan. Saying G and you know, right now, yeah, it's like I don't want to say the gimmicky. They uh, people seem to like them. I don't own one of those radios yet. I can't tell you. That could be also it. Um, James Farley, do you think they're putting car chips in radios because they anticipate cars won't have radios anymore, and they have a lot of uh, extra chip and uh, like supply? I don't. I don't know if that's it. Maybe, oh, maybe you got a point there. Maybe right now in this country we're safe. And by the way, the electric the electric vehicle. It, 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 see what happened? They thought that they were going to sell a lot of electric vehicles. Um, look what happened. Uh, they're actually losing money now. Uh, Tesla actually. Uh, there's a lot of instances where electric vehicles are not. People want to shove it down our throat, but it's not. It's not. It's not. You gotta understand, electric vehicles are very expensive. You know, the Honda that we have, the Honda Accord, we had it since 2010, and it still runs fine. Has over uh, what is it, close to 70,000 miles now. Um, the sticker price on that car in 2010 wasn't, it was not that expensive. Try to get a, any electric car now. It's, we're talking about $60,000, $50,000, for a, an electric car. Like, no, that's too much money. We cannot afford that. No, I, I don't want to, I can't, we, we can't spend $50,000, $60,000. Sticker price, car payments on a car like that. Now. On a $60,000 car? No, we can't afford that. We cannot afford that. So, and of course, the, the thing with the cold weather, remember the exit happened in Iowa with the, uh, the caucus a couple of months ago, a few months ago, Iowa caucus. It went below 40 in Iowa, and a lot of EVs, uh, they, got str they were stranded. So that that all that stuff, you know. Yeah. Mary the best radio ever equals lots of views, Sally. And and yeah, he did he did get a whole bunch of views on that video, but I mean I, I guess he didn't get a lot of sales. Or or because uh, I don't know, maybe they didn't get sales on it initially. But my thing is with these companies. They use you going to the wrong people asking them to review your radio, even maybe to even market the radio. Because you know, to me, I don't I don't market the radio. If I really like the radio, if I really like the radio, I'm gonna tell you I really like this radio and it's worth you know worth spending the money on it. That's it. You know. 
Because when I when I saw that when I saw that radio, I looked it up right away. I saw the price on there. I said, nah, bro. I say this thing better wow me. When you get to about $250, you, you need to, you need to wow me a lot. Because I'm that's that's to me, that's 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 some to me, that's uh, hey, to me, it's, it's, it's enough money to, you know, a lot of these portable radios are under hundred dollars or hundred dollars, maybe that's it. Two fifty. Now we're talking about Texan, you know, nine ninety price range, nine ninety X, excuse me. Uh, you know, San nine oh nine X two price range, H five hundred one to Texan H five hundred one. Now we're talking about that price range. So you better be you better be just as good as them radios, because those are all good radios. Those are all good radios. You cannot be no Mickey Mouse reception radio. You gotta be up there with them. That's a that's top notch radios. So you know, and when you're gonna do something like that, you you go to these this channel. What is wrong with them? What is wrong with you guys that do that? Like you need to fire that guy. That marketing guy, fire his ass. Sorry, you fired. Get out of here. Fire that guy. You didn't go to you didn't go to Jill's channel. You didn't go to Danny Shortwave and Radio DX. And you went to this guy. You're fired. Fire that guy. <laughs> you didn't go to this guy with over a hundred live shows. You didn't go to that guy, and that guy, SX Data, is sending him radios every other month? You didn't go to that guy? You didn't go to this guy? You went to this guy? <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you, bro. Because they don't understand that, that. Not only I make the video, SA Data knows that. They get it. SA Data gets it. I give credit where credit is. I give SA Data all the credit for that. They get it. They get it. Because SA Data knows, because I told them, I told SA Data. I said, listen, not only you're going to get a review chat, not, not only, not only you're going to get reception videos on there, you're going to get a review video. And every time I come on live, I could spend minutes talking about that radio every live stream. Because somebody's going to ask me. I'm going to have the radio right here. Oh, you want to talk about this radio? You want to talk about this radio? All right, let me see. Where is it at? Oh, it's upstairs. I'll bring the radio. Bam! Right there. So they're getting all that free advertising. Every time I come on live, somebody's going to ask me about this radio. And I'm going to say, here it is. Bam! Bam! That costing them a dime. They're getting all that stuff. Plus, I put it on TikTok. Plus, I put it on Instagram. Plus, I got I said my blog. What is wrong with these people? And they go to this guy. This come on, bro. What is wrong with this company, yo? See, SH Data, they get it. SH Data, they get it. They smart. They even have their own Facebook group. They got their own channel too, by the way. SJ Data has their own channel on YouTube. And they have, you know, it's a it's a nice, it's a good channel. Because they, they have, you know, uh, but they also have their own Facebook group. This people, they, they're gonna come right out the box with a $250 radio. That's their only radio, and they're gonna go to one guy. Oh. Oh. But anyway, you know what? I hope they watch this video. I, I, I'm going to be surprised if tomorrow morning I get an email from them. Okay, we're going to send you a couple of... We'll send you. Yeah, okay. Good luck on that. <laughs> Whatever. They're not, they're not selling. I know they're not selling right now. They're not selling because... 
you know, you got to reach out to the main. Me, I, I have a list of channels. I, would, I say, yeah, if I was a radio maker, I would go, okay, I'm going to go see this guy. Uh, I'm going to go to Jill's channel. I'm going to go to Clint's channel, Oxford Show Wave, Marietta DX, uh, T, T Radio 1972. I'm going to hit his channel. He got 2,000 subs. I'm going to hit his channel. Tyler Burt, I'm going to hit his channel. Danny Short, we're ready there. I'm going to hit his channel. Right there, you got, that's a lot right there. Bam. No, they went to farm. Farm guy. I don't get the logic, but why, what the? And they wonder why, and they wonder why they're not selling them now. Yeah, you're fired. There you go. You're fired. Fire that marketing guy. Get him out of here. He's like he's, he's like Eton all over again. This radio. He, I don't say hey, no matter how many bills and whistles you put on a radio, if you got a crappy marketing team, or you go the P, the PG radio out the window. If you got a shitty marketing team, and you go to a channel that has nothing to do with radio and. His review is going to be the greatest radio ever. That's it. That's his review. You think you're not going to, you're not going to sell. You're not going to sell. You're not going to sell to my audience. My audience is smart. I got the smartest. I'm trying, I got the smartest. I got the smartest people on the internet right here. If you combine the IQ of all this shit, if you combine the IQ of all this shit, that, all these, all this channel, right? Everybody in this channel is, is a, It'll blow you away. It'll blow you away. These are not farmers. They're not preppers. These are smart geeks. These are geeks. Radio geeks. You, you know? They're going to nitpick that radio like nobody's business. You understand? This my audience is gonna nitpick the shit out of that radio, and they're gonna tell me this radio sucks. This this radio eats this. This radio works good over here. This radio is not worth two hundred fifty dollars. They're gonna pick that shit apart. All right. They're gonna dissect that shit like a frog. All right. They're going to dissect that shit like a fucking classroom frog. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna carve that shit out. Okay. Bet, 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 bet. <laughs> no, they go to the fucking farm guy. Get the fuck out of here. Now it's pissing me off, these fucking people. They're really pissing me off with this fucking back and forth messaging. <clears throat> That's why I like Antenna, man. He'll just smash it. Yeah, I don't think I will. I don't I want to smash it, though, because I'll just give it to somebody, you know, like, like the, I have the Gradio. You know the Gradio with the wide-ass bandwidth? I have it in the boiler room. I use it for WABC. I have it on top of my water heater. I just leave it on WABC. That's what I use it for. So I want to smash it. I have that one. And that, that's to me, that's one of the worst radios I have here. That is one of the worst radios that I ever own. I didn't buy it, by the way. They sent it to me and they wanted me to review it. I reviewed the shit out of it. But it's a piece of junk. <laughs> yeah, junk antennas. Yeah, that's true. I think it's uh, Well, I have the one right there, the one that he doesn't, you know, the one that he. But yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, he, 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 it's probably around time he needs to get another channel. Because how many antennas are you going to review before he gets old? You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When, uh, remember the said, when I was car hunting a month ago, I asked the salesman how good an EV car is for mileage. And he told me it depends on, it depends a lot on the weather. If it's hot or cold, never the same. For me, it was a warning sign not to get one. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. You know? I'm telling you, my wife, Honda, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, now, but I'm not, I'm not going to pay my Honda. Hondas are one of the most reliable cars you can buy. I'm, we we can tell you that. Oh, that's all we is for the last 20, 20, 25 years, nothing but Hondas. And they all exceeded our expectations. We have a Honda van in there. It's a 2002 Odyssey. It has 200,000, uh, 215,000 miles. 215,000 miles, and it still runs. But we're going to finally donate it because, uh, you know, we have, I don't, you know, we're done with it. We're going to get it. And, of course, we got the Honda Accord 2010, and that thing has 68,000 miles. Hondas, you can't go wrong with a Honda. Can't go wrong with Hondas. I, 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 everybody that knows that I own a Honda, they can tell you. You can't go wrong with Hondas. I know people that had, uh, you know, Chevys, uh, Kias, they all had issues. Honda. Just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Very little. You go through the warranty, no issues. Even after warranty, very little. Very, I've been, if, as long as you, as long as you do proper maintenance on it, it's gonna take care. It's gonna, it's gonna look out for you. Hondas, I'm telling you, Hondas. Yeah. Tasso, especially for the price of some of these radios, yeah. Marity, they went to to the snake oil channels. Yeah, of course, that's what that's what happened. They just look at the guy. Oh, eighty six thousand, eighty whatever thousand subscribers, and he has a you know. But you know me, um, if if I'm a radio company and I'm trying to uh, push out portable radios, I'm gonna go to the channel and say, I'm gonna go to not only the number. I'm gonna see if the guy does uh, live streaming, if he does in depth review. Not just some generic stupid review. You know, if he if he has audience, if he has a reach, if he actually if people actually engage in his channel and he even replies, you know. The celebrity print, yeah, PG went out the toilet, exactly. Throw it out the window. Yeah, Hondas, I'm telling you, they are tanks. Yeah, uh, Tassel, true. I saw in Tenement Branch, you know, different Tyler, uh, Tech Tyler, I think called it. I, I have to look into that. Yeah, at some point, that's another thing. When you have a channel that's like that niche, you can only talk over so much about TV and then it gets repetitive. Like, how many times are you going to review different antennas? They don't all so similar. It's a television antenna. That's it. I mean, yeah, some are better than others, but there's so many facts. I mean, don't get me wrong. I learned. I learned quite a few things from his channel. I did, but it's gonna run. It's gonna run to the point where you know it's just gonna be, you know. Same thing. We're just reviewing radios. You know, there's only so there's so many reviews you can. There's so many reviews you can review, and then it gets, you know. You know, that's why I do live streaming too, because I can talk about other stuff. We did the solar thing today. We did all that. Five hours and twenty eight minutes in the books, and I'm still not tired yet. Cause I had the beats, baby. I had the beats. I got the energy, baby. Look. It's gonna be one of my sponsors. Hey, you want to sponsor me? Here we go.
I'll be like Rudy Giuliani, uh, life king. He's always at the, was it balance of nature? I'll be total beats. You gotta have beet juice for your, widen your blood vessels and all that. So I'm energized. Right now I'm energized with the beats. <laughs> the beat goes on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <clears throat> Five hours and 29 minutes in the books, baby. That's why I have more than one channel. Because this channel, is, I, like, I, like, I enjoy this channel. But there's times where you're going to be, uh, you know, like I say, they reach out to me. And I reach out to say, but, you know, they, they want to do this back and forth. See, I'm not doing that back and forth stuff. I thought I'm going to say, you know what, I'm moving on. <laughs> moving on. Uh, so I think he said that YouTube was giving him a hard time changing the name. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Brother. I don't know. He mentioned something a long time ago about the, about the word. Uh, I think there's a company. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I saw that in one of the community posts. Okay, Mary D. I I own a Honda and they are tanks. Yep. Uh, I'll look into. I'm gonna. I'll see what that Tyler Tech is. <clears throat> Yeah, but it's very niche, uh, Tassel. At some point, you're going to run into a... a, a, a uh, that's the problem with niche channels. After a while, you're going to run into a... If there's a, you know... Uh, how you say? I have an example, my radio DX and I. I started with shortwave reception. And I started doing... Uh, and I bought myself a scanner. And I started doing... VHF, UHF, even though it's in my channel. I said, because if I only do shortwave channel, it would just like run its course. It wouldn't, it would after a while. And then medium wave, yeah, medium wave DX, but as you can see, Mario DX, I can tell you, they're shutting down medium wave stations. And then he started doing, he got his license. He's doing amateur radio stuff now. Just like I'm starting to do amateur radio stuff. You branch out, you, you evolve. The problem with when you're doing an antenna, a TV antenna, a TV related topic, TV, the problem with TV tech, uh, I should say TV technology, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't move a lot. It doesn't move a lot. They had that digital thing in 2008, 2009, whatever it was. It hasn't moved a lot. We're still talking about AC, AT. A, ATSC 3.0 is still not out yet. They've been talking about this for years. It's very slow moving attack, whatever you want to call it. The antenna that you had 35 years ago, you can still use it today. It's nothing, not, it's not revolutionary what he's talking about. So you're going to run into this creative block and it's going to get. Repetitive. You're gonna run out of antennas to review unless people are sending you antennas all the time. And again, even if people give you antennas, they're sending you antennas, it gets repetitive. You see what I'm saying? There's only so much you can do, and then it gets like this, dull, and then and then it starts. So he seems to be a tech savvy guy. I would have had another channel already lined up doing another stuff. Yes, you know, because you, you know, especially he's on like every other day. How many antennas can you review? It gets, I guess it gets I, I don't watch it no more because it was entertaining for the first year. Then it gets the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. It's just a different antenna. That gets Repetitive. It gets kind of, I'm gonna say, it, kind of boring. 
you know? Uh, especially me, I'm a tech-savvy person. You only got to tell me once or twice that this internet is junk, and I, and I know that this, maybe uh, I need to, like, now I know what to do. So I'm not going to be going to his channel, and, and there's nothing new that he's going to add to it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't know about the two-edge thing. I learned that from him. I didn't know about, I mean, there was a few things that the, the virtual channel, I didn't know about that stuff. And I learned, once I learned that, that's it. I don't, I don't have to go back there anymore to learn anything else. Because there's a couple of things I did learn from him. But everything else I already knew. Some of it I knew because of radio. You know, like we all know that the longer cable run you run, the longer cable run you have, the greater the signal loss. That happens in radio and TV. Doesn't matter. So that, that I already knew that. That you know, I already know about that. But in terms of like you know indoor, like because I already, how you say it? Like I said, there's a couple of things you can learn in it, and then once you learn from it, if you're not gonna be putting anything new, that's and it's hard because it's TV. TV hasn't changed. Hasn't changed much. Hasn't changed. You know, it's just uh, it's, since 2008, they're still talking about AT, ATSC, whatever, 3.0. And, you know, <laughs> that, that may not come out to another five years. 4K TV on over the air. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so. That's the problem with niche particular channels. Yeah, you can only go so far, but then it's going to be, you know, uh, you know, so yeah, he should do a tech channel or something. He should have been done that. You know, um, same thing with Robbie Strike. He was doing he was doing only satellite content, but now he, he's doing other stuff because satellite content has not changed in forever. There's only so much you can talk about uh, a particular, you know, same thing with the shortwave and all. There's so, so much you can talk about, and then it gets kind of, you know, it does. I, I, I mean, say it like that, but it's true. And I watch all those channels, but I, I don't watch every freaking chat, every freaking video that comes out of those channels. I can't. I'll put me to sleep. You know, it, it would. You get what you get out of it, and then you go move on. That's it. It's very hard to, to be successful at a niche channel. You have to be like him. He's at the he's he's entertaining. That's that's so that's it's his thing too. He's at the, he's a funny guy, he's entertaining. That helps a lot. You know. But they get to a point where it gets, you know, okay, another TV antenna, another TV antenna, it gets old. It gets old. It's, you know, there's so many different, uh, you know, it's just me. I don't know, maybe it's me. I, maybe I'm too, uh, I'm, <laughs> as a user, I did, maybe I ask for too I'm not, I don't even ask for too much because I, I did learn stuff. I didn't learn from, I, I, I didn't know about the two edge thing. When I would look at the TV full chart, I was like, what the hell is 2 edge? What the hell is Tropo? I didn't know about Tropo. I didn't know about, I learned that from some of you. I learned that from you guys, the Tropo. The 2 edge, I learned from him. You know? Because it kind of intertwined the radio and television kind of intertwined on some, on some things. Yeah, exactly. My radio DX is spot on. I'm branching out. If if I only did shortwave on my channel, I would have easily burned out a long time ago. Same here. You have to you have to you have to branch out. You have to try diversify and all these things. You know, if you if you're too rigid on one particular thing, you, you, your 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 channel is gonna go flat. Not the one. It's gonna go flat. It just is. It is. I, I, <laughs> but like you said, you're going to burn yourself out. 
I have so much stuff. I have, like, remember we talked about it. I have the coin shine. I still have to work on that radio. I have so much. I got the DMR stuff I haven't even set up yet. I got a transceiver on the other room that I haven't set up yet. I got so much stuff. I got so much content for years to come. So I'm not, I'm at the tip. I'm at, I'm at the tip of the iceberg. Exactly. You find it boring after a while. It's true. And I'm knocking, I'm not knocking any channel. I'm not knocking any channel. But I, after a while, it will get kind of repetitive. Remember this, it's not you. I am the same. I like seeing and trying different things. Exactly. Doing the same thing all the time, I find it very boring. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So me too, for instance, propagation. I did not I didn't know what that was before watching Jill's channel. Exactly. You know, you get you learn from bits here, bits there, and you know. You know, and some of them have a loyal friend. There, some of them have a loyal following, and good and good for them. You know, um, for example, um, again, that's just me. I'm not going to spend 30 minutes reviewing a piece of junk radio. There's some channels that do that. They spend literally 30, 40 minute video on a piece of junk radio. To me, it's not worth it. I'm not going to do all that. That's too, too long winded. That's too long winded for a small radio. I'm sorry. It only has a few functions. You got the uh, you turn it on. You you have a tuning knob. You have a few bands. You, know, you should have taken you forty minutes to review a radio that small. I'm sorry, that is too long winded. But if that's your stick, and you have a loyal following that loves that forty minute video, I don't. Me, my time is too valuable. My time is way too valuable to sit there and watch a forty minute video on a radio that costs maybe twelve dollars. You see what I'm saying? So some people got that shtick that they can do that. They can, good for them. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. I just can't do that. I'm not going to sit there for 40 minutes to review a $20 radio. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through every little thing. I'm not doing all that. No, I just can't. I can't. It's just can't. You know, I, I, I got to come up with a, with this saying for that. It's like a <laughs> time to cheap radio ratio. If the radio is worth $10, you're lucky you might get 10 minutes from me on a review. That's it. If the radio is worth $20, you might get maybe a 20-minute video. And that's it. You're not gonna get a 45 minute video on a $20 radio. It's not what you, you now you just you just trying to fill up, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I I, I there's a couple of channels that do that, and I and I, I the first couple of times I, I and I can't watch them no more. I said, no, I can't, bro. I can't, bro. You too you too long-winded, bro. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't do it. You know. There's not that many. Jules is one of the few cha channels that when he makes a review, I watch his review. And he doesn't take that long. He doesn't take that long. He takes maybe 10 minutes. That's it. 10 minutes. Not 45 minutes and, you know, tuning the band and doing all this and, you know, no, 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 I can't. I know it does. I, 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 I'm a DX. I know. Just tell me your opinion on what this does on this band. I want your opinion on this band, this band, this band, this band. Tell me what you don't like about it, what you like about it. Is it worth the price that they, they're asking for? And that's it. That's all I care about. I don't want to hear you tuning every single... I can't, I can't. Not for a $20 radio. You see what I'm saying? He, 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 got, he, got, he got, people got following for that. That's, I can't waste, I don't have time like that. I don't have time to waste like that. I'm sorry. 
I can't. Well, I, I usually forward all the way to the end. Okay, what's your conclusion? Okay, all right, that's it. You know, that's it. Forward all the way to the end. Okay, all right, there you go. Or maybe read the description if it's in there. That's it. <laughs> Cause I see people. I, I don't know how. I don't know how people could sit there forty-five minutes and for a cheap radio. For I've been talking about uh, say a radio that I probably review that I could tell you is a piece of junk, and he could sit there forty-five minutes and sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. He'll find one good thing about that radio, no matter what. It could be a piece of junk. He'll see it, but at least it's, I can't do that. I can't do that with a straight face, but I can't. I can't. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to do that. That's just crazy. That, that was, I, I started doing that because I, I did a couple of videos that I said, damn, did I really spend 30 minutes on this radio? And I said, I ain't doing that no more. I said, no, no, I'm going to go to... I'm gonna, I'll make reception videos before that. For the review, I'll, you know, I'll, there's a time I said, no, I'm going to give it this much. I'm going to edit it. Do, 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 of course. But I'm not going to sit there and tune all the bands again. I ain't doing all that. That's too much. I tell you, that's too much fluff. That's just, you know, too long-winded for me, bro. So, you know, that gets old. And I guess old too. I've seen a few a few videos of a uh, channel like that, and then I say, ah nah, I can't I can't sit through this. Especially when you know that the radio is not that good, and then he gives a you know, nah. Yeah, let's chat in more review of my opinion, exactly. <clears throat> Be right back if not 73. Okay, bye, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, I can't watch a 40-minute review, especially if it's... Exactly, you shouldn't. But you shouldn't, though. You got you to gotta put it into perspective. If it's a $10 radio or a $15 radio, you shouldn't spend no more than 10 minutes on it. That's it. You shouldn't. It shouldn't be 45 minutes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Not every review should be a 45-minute video. That's just ridiculous. It's, it is. I'm sorry. It is. You're going to lose me. After a couple of videos, you're going to lose me. I'm going to go like this. I'm done. Do not recommend this. Do not recommend this no more. Please. Boom. 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 You know? Nah. Time is, is too valuable. Time is too valuable for me. You know, it's like, you know, because they don't, some people don't understand that you're not, you're not putting me in suspense. I could just forward the video and see it anyway. You know, you're not, you're not putting me in suspense. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you take 45 minutes to review a $10 radio, you're not putting me in suspense. I could just forward it and I'll see what your opinion is, what your review is. But some people actually sit there and watch the whole thing. And I'm like, why would you do that to yourself? Why subject yourself to that? Like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but some people like that. And they're very diehard people. I see the comments on some of these forums. I see comments on some of these groups. And, I, and some people write, yeah, it's too long-winded for me. And I'll be like... I just shake my head like I agree with him. The other guy's like, oh, he does great reviews. No, he doesn't. He just goes on and on and on and on about the same thing. <laughs> you know? It's just nuts. Yeah, if it has a lot of functions, I get it, you know? Like the D808, when I did, I made the review about the D808. Um, that radio could have easily had three, uh, three separate videos. 
He has so much functions. I, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I still had to, I kept it down to a certain number. And I said, you're going to have to, he has all, is this is the social, the rest, you're going to have to go to manual. If I go through every function on the end, it'll be like a two hour video. The D in a way, if I were to go to every function on that radio, it'd be like an hour and a half. It'd be like an hour video at least. You can't. I'm not gonna do that. You can't. I'm not gonna do that. And that radio is a hundred dollars. At least a hundred dollars. Yeah, I like those. I like those. I like those uh top uh quick questions too. Quick questions. That's good. Yeah, but even if I, even if I was retired, uh, I can't spend forty minutes on a on a on a, on a ten dollar radio review. That's just ridiculous. You gotta weigh the two. You know, you have to weigh the two. You know, you know. Now, if you're talking about a scanner, like for example, uh, my unit in scanner, the BCT. 15x that one has so many functions. Um, that one the learning curve is ridiculous on that one. I could spend an hour on that radio and you still there's still there's still way much more than that radio can do. That scanner. There's no way. You know, there's no way. You see, there's at some point you gotta say, you know what? You gotta refer to the manual. Do the you you just do the best you can, unless you really want to sit there for two hours and go through everything. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Cause you gotta weigh the two. You know uh, how many times you make a video, how many times you made a video that you thought was gonna be the most, the best video you ever made, the most meticulous video you ever made, and it got no views. And it got no views. Yet, you could have made another video that you didn't think was going to do that well, and it does way better. That happened to me many times. You know? That's why I, I don't do that no more. You know how many times I wanted to do a, a review and on a particular radio and go through every function, especially like the scanners? But it would be like a 45, an hour, it would be like an hour video easily. But it wouldn't get views. It wouldn't get views. Because who's going to watch that video? Only the people that own that scanner. That's it. Or they're thinking about getting that scanner. And that's it. It's, it's not going to be, you know, for the, the average person to see. So why would I want to waste my time doing a video like that? It's going to take it's gonna take too much production time out of my... It's going to take too much time to produce that video and edit it and all that. And put it out there. And then it gets no views, you know? Because we, we as YouTubers, we, we want numbers too. We want numbers. We don't want every video to be like 20 views. That's it. Or 30 views. Or, or if you're lucky, woo, you got a couple of hundred views. No, I'm not, I am not. don't strive for that. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. So it depends on how many functions of the radio it has in it. it need, yeah, but there is a limit to that too. They should do all the 10 quick questions and answers like me, yeah. I know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed those videos actually. The uh, question and then you give them the answer. Those are kind of, I like those, those videos, those are cool. Um, I really just, I suppose to I suppose those who enjoy forty minute reviews are retired people and have too much time. Even if no, yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I would watch it. Yeah, I wouldn't watch them because I did that in the beginning. You know, to support it, to support the person's channel, I saw a couple of videos, but then I noticed that all the videos was like that. On um, really, not the best radios. They were like. Now, okay, now this is ridiculous. This is like regurgitating. It's like a script. Like this is a different radio, the same script, the same, you know, gimmicky thing. Like, you know, anyway, I said, nah, bro. 
you lost me after the fifth video or whatever it was. I said, nah, I, I can't. Good luck on that. My time is valuable for that. Yeah. Tasso, they need to get to the point. Don't spend extra time. It's about the quantity of minutes, but the quality of the review. Yeah. Yeah, and don't sound like, you know, like everybody else. You know, that's not thing. Everybody else, somebody trying to sound like, you know, say how you really feel about it, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. You have to think of your audience. If your audience that watches the whole video, then I'm dumb. Yeah, if they like that stuff, yeah, but I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I don't know. I <laughs> just can't. Five more minutes and then I'm going to wrap it up, I think. That's it. Six hours. I got to do six hours. Bam. Solar Eclipse Special is going to come to end. Uh, 7.02. So six hours, going to be six hours in the books in about five minutes. About what you are reviewing just doesn't have to, just doesn't have to be just a radio. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Um, like I said, tomorrow gonna be 70 degrees out there. I'm gonna see if I do that. I'm gonna repair that end fed. So I should have a video on that soon. I still have it. I have one review that I have to do. I keep putting it off. I need to finally reread this radio and be done with. And then, uh, like I said, we'll see about this other brand. There's a couple of them. And I wanna get that FM, uh, FM antennas up there. I'm gonna get that up there. Yeah, I know that's another thing. Uh, I guess he gets a lot of adverts, but you know, at some point, I want you know, at the expense of what? You know, you, you got already all this other stuff. You got, you know, I don't know. No, and I and I like I like the person and all that, but I think he lost his luster after a while. Too many, you know, long-winded, you know, I guess, I guess, you know, I just, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to uh, shout people out, but, you know, that's one thing about, I'm going to say you guys, you guys are the best, you guys are the best, because I'm going to tell I'm, all you guys that are watching that, that, that are subscribed to my channel, these are the smartest people in this chat. And in my channel, these are the smartest people I ever come across in recent. Okay. So there's a lot of knowledge here. Okay. And maybe that intimidates, maybe that intimidates some people from maybe having more people on my live stream. But I'm gonna tell you, these are the most, these are the these are the most smartest people. That I come across on you guys. Seriously, I say, but look, smart people. These are smart people here. So just take, yeah, I remember that. These are the smartest people here, and that's why I'm, 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 I'm glad I have smart people like this. They make me look good, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. So yeah. So good night, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna wait two more minutes. I wanna hit. I wanna see six hours. Yeah, you know I was gonna destroy the PG rating after a while. I waited a long time before I destroyed the PG rating. Tasso, thanks, Danny, for a great stream. I was able to watch the eclipse today and join the stream. Yeah, we have fun. I, I saw the eclipse too. I got a couple of pictures, but they're not the. I'm gonna look at them later. I'm gonna go through the. I got a video, but I don't think I'm going to post it. Not the best video. But we have fun, and I have fun. We all have fun. Eclipse, solar eclipse is now history. 
We have fun. Everybody got to see it. You know? It was fun. You know, it was fun going out there. You know, I, I keep it rolling. That's why, you know why? I let it roll. There's no script here. I let it roll. Let it roll. I went outside with my son. My son enjoyed it. He, he didn't want to go outside. He's like, ah. I said, no, come on, come on. He put his glasses on. I show. He was like, wow. He couldn't stop looking. He was looking at the whole, the whole time. And then, you know, he enjoyed it. It's not scripted, you know? It's fun. You have fun. I'm waiting like uh, 40, 40 more seconds before I wrap it up. I want to see six hours. So 16 likes, thank you, five people watching. And I'm about to wrap it up in about 30 seconds. So I'll be back soon. Um, check out my other channels uh, on my links page. Dot com slash Dan the one. I got my uh, DIY Danny. I just did a whole bunch of planted a whole bunch of shrubs there. Danny's diecast collection. I got 20 subscribers there now. I, I hit 20 today. Uh, of course, I need to do retro gaming soon. Need to do that. I'm thinking about having to set up in the basement now for retro gaming. Because that way I could be going later at night and all that. So I'm going to see if I can set up retro gaming here too. And then, of course, Danny Finance. I'm going to be uh, in a few days. I'll be back with that. Danny Show. Uh, going to do a live stream soon on that. So all my channels. Subscribe to all my channels. I even got Danny's watches now. Danny's watch collection. I'm going to showcase my watch collection. And I'm going to be collecting more watches. Why not? <laughs> So, all right, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Paul, VT Radio, about to sign off now, six-hour mark. And everybody enjoy the solar eclipse, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.